Too much heavy stuff lately. Uh... Phew. Hope everything goes alright. Ah, hey Jamie. Um... How do I check the... What? No. No, wait. Um, let me just... Wait, hold on. No, I want to... Let's try it again. Um, Jamie? Ah, Jill. Jillian is in here, I see. Are you alright? You look distracted. I'm fine, don't worry. If you say so. Jill! Where do I take Foray if he needs to use the bathroom? The cage has a small litter box included. Oh, that's convenient. Or eh? Or is my cat? Some apart some apartments in my buildings are being inspected today. So I brought him to work in case they enter my place while I'm gone. Ah, I see. What can I get you? The usual gut punch. Coming right up. Um, right by name, G, Gut Punch, one of these, five of these, now what, just for this guy, gonna make it double, and, well, aged, and also add a bunch of alcohol, as much as I can afford. Okay, uh, mixed. Serve. Cool. Here. I thought when someone ordered the gut punch, I had to make a joke. About giving the client a punch to the stomach or something. Oh, that. In theory, yeah. Jill's the only one who pays attention to that, though. Really? He didn't receive proper training. He read an old manual my boss had. There was some sort of stipulation mentioning the need to say puns. But seems like it was some sort of anti-counterfeit measure. I mean, if they copied such a silly stipulation, they'd be caught in the act. Like when the dictionary added fake words to spot if someone else just copied all of it. Yep. Why not tell him that? It's too amusing, to be honest. So what's in your mind that's distracting you so much? Nothing. You should think about... Nothing you should think about too much. It's like those times you just feel uneasy for no good reason. You might have actual reasons to feel that way, though. Come to think of it, mercenary is quite the uncommon occupation, wouldn't you say? I'd like to see what I do as bounty hunting, actually. How so? The only jobs I 
don't take are those where I have to deal with people who happen to be in the wrong place. There are some people willing to pay... There are some people willing to pay to off someone that has done no wrong. Things like killing someone that owns a house in their way of some building or a nosy reporter. I'm no better for turning a blind eye to such requests, but I'm not gonna be the one dealing with those. The bounty hunter part comes where? If I'm sent to kill someone that has done something like stealing or killing I get, and I get paid for it, you could see it as bounty hunting. Yeah, I guess. It's just a cheap justification for killing people though. In the end, they're cheap. However, I won't be one to kill those petty reasons like the... I won't be one to kill for petty reasons like those. Well, let's change the subject here. I'll have something bitter if you don't mind. Huh? Sure. The lead actor of Night of the ID Snatcher's name was... I can't remember it. I can almost remember it. Um, flavor bitter. Sunshine cloud. Um, have a suplex. On the rocks and mix. Serve. Here. Ah, yes. You just remind me of my grandpa. He used to eat roast on roots every afternoon. He said they made him stronger. Bronson roots have more nutrients per gram than most vitamin supplements. Your grandpa knew what he was doing. It seems I always managed to make you uncomfortable, Jill. Sorry. Oh no, don't worry. Although, I guess it's mostly because I can't wrap my mind around the whole talking- or the whole taking a human life thing. Knowing you've killed people, are now talking to me, it's weird. It reminds me of when I first took sex ed classes. Couldn't wrap my mind around people doing that stuff and living normally. Unlike with sex ed, it's better that you say- better that you stay that way, mind you. Taking lives is not something you should get used to. Ah yes, I know a good way to change the subject a bit. Would you like to hear about the most dangerous bounty hunter in the city? The way you said that, like offering a tail to a bored kid. The way you said that was like offering a tail to a bored kid. But yeah, I'd like to hear that one. Oh my god, I... Shit, how do I check the... I don't know how to check... No. Wait. Did I just accidentally... Wait. Oh my god, so you can- is it L? Yeah, with L, you can see like the- ugh. What? I didn't know that? Oh! Oh, so it's like L, P, O, does I do anything? Yes, it does the- that face. Does you- okay, from you onwards it doesn't- seem to do anything huh no let me reload this Uh, what was he wanted? A gut punch here, right? 
One, two, three, four, five. One. Oh, all aged. Um, by type. Uh, what was it? No, by flavor, bitter. Um, suplex. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. One, two, three. Next. Here. Law enforcement put a person, person's dangerous head and paid the proof of that person's death. There was a guy that everyone called Jet Black James. He got the nickname because he always wore black clothes. The interesting thing was that the black clothes were there to hide blood stains he got from his contracts. His tracking skills were top notch. His information network was the best. Some even joked he would finish the bounty within half an hour, or he wouldn't take a, or he wouldn't take the reward. He was too good, in fact. At one point, he took all bounties and didn't make us, didn't take a single reward. He was just that crazy by then. The last bounty that was, uh. That the organization ever posted was on James's head. The police had him cornered. His last words were, send it all to my account before shooting himself. Damn, why hasn't that ever been made into a movie? So, there were no more bounties after that? A registered bounty hunter was charged with many accounts of manslaughter using his his old targets as proof. If somebody else tried to recreate the organization, the seed of doubt would grow would grow in little little to no time. What guarantee is there that such an organization wouldn't actually be a trap? They could use the registered bounty hunters to take care of the most bothersome criminals. And then dispose of the bounty hunter hunters by pressing charges using their targets as evidence. So... No. Jet Black James made sure that no law enforcement organization is able to set up bounty hunting of any kind. Ever since then, anyone crazy enough to be a bounty hunter works independently. Were you part of that organization? I've actually had those suspicions. I'm telling you about... I've actually had those suspicions I'm telling you about since the day I heard such a thing exists. Glad to know I wasn't just paranoid. I don't know how well you changed the subject, but... That was certainly one interesting story. Just to make sure, you're not re... Um, well done, just to make sure, hold on, hold on, I can, I can check my stream, I can check, I can check my stream, hold on, hold on, just to make sure, you're not a rebuilt Jet Black James or something, right? The name James is pretty common, Jill. Besides, if I remember correctly, his real name was actually Theodore. Oh, that story left my throat a bit dry. Get me a beer, please. Sure. Did I leave enough food for Fori at home? But Fori is not at home. <laughs> beer. Nice. 
know what? Just for you. We'll make it a large bear. Two, three, four. And mix. There you go. Serve. One of mankind's oldest friends. Cheers. One obvious thing I see is that you don't take the use of the word kill uh, in your stride the way Jillian does. I'm not good with violence. That's good. It's interesting though. When I compare you to... It's obvious Jillian has seen quite the share of traumatic stuff. That guy's a handful because of that sometimes. Still, he's one of the most reliable people I've ever met. Where is he, by the way? I asked him to keep an eye on a girl that came here earlier. I feel that if something happened, he could resolve the situation. His nose m must be itching after uh, we talked so much about him. Yeah, maybe. Well, I've got to go. Send my regards to your boss and Jillian. Will do. Man, today's been quite heavy. Everyone... Wait. If I say it out loud, I feel like I'll just tempt fate. Let's try it anyways. Everyone has just been gloomy face after gloomy face. And that dog. I sure hope the next client changes that. So, you still work here? I knew it! Uh, I mean... Quite a surprise to see you here again, Mr. Ingram. Got out of my job. I need to drink badly. Now remember this car house was nearby. What can I get you then? I'll have a bleeding Jane. On it. Fuck. I can't just ask what the order was. I look unprofessional. It was a bleeding Jane. Uh, all blended. Bleeding Jane, serve. Here. Tastes just like the pasta sauce my mom used to make. Watered down, artificial, and nasty. So where do you work, Mr. Ingram? I don't have a specific job, but there's this... Well, network of enge of engineers in need of assistance. I have no idea what they do there, but I can follow instruction and that's all I need. Recently, I've been working with this... Cilia girl. Working on some experimental power suits. My only duty is to give them maintenance once a day. What's that about a network? All those nerds know each other and they recommend me. I don't ask questions and quickly learn to do whatever they need. Huh, sounds nice. It's pretty uh, monot monot m monotonous at times though. Why are you giving me that look? You're just more cheerful than the last time you came. We all have good days and bad days. Today just happens to be a not bad day. Besides, with everyone scared shitless in their houses, the streets are clear with no traffic jams. That's always a plus. I guess. It almost became a bad day though. Thanks to some teens on the way here. What did they do? It's not what they did, it's what they said. They were talking about how... They should just go to Zaibatsu Corp's HQ and blow it up. I've seen one too many kids throwing around that let's kill the, the king attitude when it comes to Zaibatsu Corp. Even if Zaibatsu Corp's building suddenly went down, the ones behind it would still be alive. Killing the head honcho just means his or her duties go to the next rim jobber on the totem. Hell. I bet they're planning to kill each other anyways. Kids these days see too many action films where 
The rebels saved the day by killing the evil corporation. Don't let it get to you. I don't. I just hate teenagers. Who doesn't? <laughs> It's interesting though, a big corporation in control is somehow more dangerous than a regular movement, than, than a regular government. I wouldn't know, I'm not a political person. No shit. Alright, give me a Zen star and try not to mess it up. Coming right up. Wait, wait, if only I could remember the song's lyrics, okay. Uh, I want a Zen star. Four of each ingredient, one. Yeah, it just takes way longer. Uh, on the rocks and mixed. Here. Yes, it's just as nasty as I've heard. Why order it then? Not your problem. He's soon that uh, he likes the drink. Hey, Creamy Melon. I'm back. I'm back. You feel alive? I, I feel alive still? Do I? <laughs> so where's the red comment? My boss, she... Jill, Fury's headed your way. Let's, let's play, Foray. Let's play. Oh, a customer. Sorry for the intrusion. You have a dog here and a cat. The cat's mine. His name is Foray. The dog just hangs around here. He looks well groomed and his fur looks healthy. Seems you take good care of him. You seem to know a lot about cats. No, that's just common sense. Do you like cats, Mr. Ingram? I don't dislike them. But I do dislike having animals near me when I'm eating or drinking. So I'll take my leave. Please come again. Don't count on that. You said that last time. Congratulations, you scared a client off. Four is as guilty as me. Yeah, but I like Four, he's my baby. Now go, play or something. Right. Ah, you're back. What happened with Say? That cat boomer girl picked her up. I couldn't see anything, but I guess she was happy. Glad to hear that. Did I miss something? Only Jamie and some other guy came. I see. You look exhausted. Yesterday was filled with people carrying heavy emotional baggage. I don't mind it, but dealing with them tired me out a little bit. <sighs> Speaking of tiring out. <laughs> I actually found myself wanting Dorothy to burst out of that door at any moment so you miss dorothy kinda but anyway nothing a good night of sleep can can fix let's just warp thing let's just wrap things up around here and call it a day nice oh my god God. Electricity bill. Eight thousand dollars. Fucking hell. For an electricity bill? Oh, I have ten thousand. I'm fine. But that's damn. That's most of my funds, though, because I'm be left with like with two thousand dollars only. And well, in three days, I guess it'll go up. Good evening. Ah, Jill, good timing. 
Is it? You two always make me feel like I'm late. If it helps, that dog isn't coming until sometime later. Anyway, do you have something planned for Sunday? If that's electricity, what's your water then? I I don't I don't want to find out. <laughs> I do not want to find out. <sighs> like with eight thousand dollars, you can you can buy like two or three houses probably, and still have some to spare. Uh, watch Silly Mega Christmas Special with 100 grams of black fur on my lap. Why? I was thinking about holding a small Mega Christmas party here on Sunday. You in? Sure, why not? Alright. Invite any client you're acquainted with. The more the merrier. You didn't bring your cat today? The raid stopped. They found whatever or whoever they were looking for. Huh. Anyways, we better start working. Yeah, you better. Um, just have all systems go. Welcome to Valhalla. Actually, I'll put welcome to Valhalla first. Time to mix drinks and change lives. Welcome to Valhalla. Uh, um. I want a fluffy dream. May I see your ID, please? I don't have an ID because um, I'm the ghost of my Christmas past. I'll haunt you constantly unless you give me a fluffy dream. Do you have money to pay for the drink? Well, I do you. Yes, I, I have money. Fluffy dream. <laughs> I know that she's worried that that's a child, but I kind of want to see her get drunk. So, um, all aged. Here you go. Wow, I actually got a drink. So, who are you here to stalk, Miss Ghost of Mega Christmas's past? Stalk? Oh, right, I'm a ghost. Uh, that guy, yeah. Which employee did you leave of. Which employee did you leave without a Mega Christmas, Jill? Jill, please. It would have been funny if you reacted to that. Sorry, kid. I'm not in the mood to humor you today unless you have some sort of ID. Here. Well, in a year or so, I would gladly serve you a drink. But until then, this is no place for you. But I already got a drink. No, because you barely took a sip of the drink I made for myself. You felt like a good Samaritan and offered me an offer to buy it from me, so that's not deducted from my pay. Isn't that right, Jill? Yep. Hey. I mean, if you ordered a drink, you could report me, but you'd have to admit to ordering it. And that would bring you a different array of problems. Oh. So... If you would, please leave. I can't leave. Not after trying so hard to even get here. <sighs> Alright. Let's start from the beginning, Miss Norma. How did you know my name? I saw your ID. It could have been a fake ID. I don't think you're stupid enough to make a fake ID that 
doesn't put you at 18 at the very least. You're very sharp, Miss Bartender. You look like a nice girl, Norma. Why come to a bar like this? Uh, um... You seem like you're in a bad mood, Miss Bartender. Nah, she's just like that all the time. Shut up. <sighs> sorry, if I, sorry if I've been harsh. These last couple of days have been heavy. And having someone in the rage here reminds me of a certain incident from last week. Incident? Well... Don't change the subject, la young lady. Why did you come here? Why do you care? I can do whatever I want. Unless it's illegal. Unless it's a... Wait, what? It... I can do whatever I want unless it's illegal. In which case, anyone can, should, and probably will stop you. I just... Just wanted to be more wild, you know? Wild? My mom puts way too many expectations on my shoulders. I've always been out to make sure I don't disappoint her. But it's never enough. It's not good enough to have good grades. She also... Wants me to go out and take a college preparation course. And I'm tired. I don't want to do things for her anymore. So you came to a bar. Maybe if I came back home smelling like alcohol, she would leave me alone. If I'm not good enough for her, I might as well kill any hope she has in me. It's funny. I have a friend who's also being pressured by her mother. Really? Yeah, but in her case, it's being pressured is being pressured to settle down and form a family. Oh, so let me get this straight. You came here to make your mother disappointed. Yes. Do you like alcohol? Actually, I think it's nasty. Then you're doing things wrong. What? If you're gonna disappoint your mom, at least. Do it with something you like. Like, become a belly dancer, because you want to be a belly dancer. Otherwise, you're just trying to hurt her for the sake of hurting her. Let's start with something. What do you like doing? I don't know. Mood. I should, I should change my expression depending on, like... Depending on what, like, Jill is feeling. <laughs> I've been so focused on trying to be good enough that I haven't been able to think about what I want to do. Someone remind me to change my expressions. I keep forgetting. I keep forgetting that I don't have one single face. I've been so focused on trying to be good enough that I haven't been able to think about what I want to do. Don't you think you should start there? Yeah. What good is doing something just for the sake of hurting someone? If she gets disappointed in you over something you like doing, you have the right to protest. But, if you're hurting her by hurting yourself over something you don't enjoy... Sounds silly, huh? Very. Go home. Do some self-discovery before hurting your mom, would you? Or at the very least, humor her until you're old enough to move out. Yeah, you're right. Thanks, Miss Bartender. Call me Jill. Jill? Alright. Careful out there. In the end, you did humor her for a bit. Shut up. Oh, a doggy. Hello, little girl. Oh, shit. GNJ, how you doing? 
You're late. Missed me, Jay? You're too early. Ah, good to see you here. Boss, will be will he be any good around here? I'm right here. I know. Of course. I spent lots of time training him. Why do you think he didn't show up last week? Because how the hell would I know you'd bring a part-timer dog? Here, let me show you. Sit. Sir, yes, sir. Roll. Sir, yes, sir. Paul. Sir, yes, sir. Training. Of course. He's only shouting, sir, yes, sir, and not doing anything else. I never said I did a perfect job. <laughs> hmm? Is that a motorcycle? Oh, shit! Hey, not in my office. In the end, he's just a dog, I guess. E yes? Bathroom. Oh, sorry. It's only for clients. Oh, um... Promise me you'll buy something afterwards. It's that door over there. Who the hell are you? The other one. Sheesh. I said get out of my desk. But the world's ending. It was just a motorcycle. Bam, bam. There are four riders then. Those are horsemen. And they already stopped. Thanks. Don't mention it. I need to buy something now, right? Oh no, you don't have to. Sorry if it looked like I meant to inconvenience you. No, I'll order something. I need the rest anyways. What can I get you? A uh, piano woman would be nice. Sorry, didn't hear you. Ahem. I have a Mars Blast. Eh? Sure. <laughs> Mar Mars Blast. A piano woman, yes. It would be very nice. Six. One. One, two, three. Four, one, two, all blended. <laughs> kind of wish that the um, the mix and blend options weren't the same option. Here you go. Yes, this is the stuff. <clears throat> Too strong. I'm fine. Is that motorcycle out there yours, mister? Call me Mario. And yes, it's mine. Ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba -ba um. Sorry for the noise. Oh, don't worry. It's not like you stayed outside too long or anything. So, what do you work as, Mario? I live to paint the roads black with my wheels, leaving the trail of my engine sound wherever I go. This dude came straight out of Akira, I swear to god. I'm a rebel. Fuck the red lights, fuck the speed limits, fuck the helmet laws. The roads are mine and mine only. I am... Guys, I'm going outside the dog. We'll advertise the bar. Hello, doggy. Hello, shady guy. Sh shady? I'll be back before long, don't worry. 
All right. Careful. Who was she? Oh, she's my boss. She was cute. Uh, not that you're not cute. And uh, it's not like I'm into girls either. Not that there's anything wrong with that. I just... So, where do you work, Mario? I told you, I'm a rebel. I Rebels can't maintain those bikes for too long. What's your day job? I'm a delivery boy. That's really appropriate, I guess. What do you deliver? I'm from a courier company, so it's kind of like mail, I guess. I'm always around the city, and I know it like the palm of my hand. Sure, I might not remember every building, but I remember every intersection and every street. That's nice. Still can't take detours without feeling totally lost. Try guiding yourself with the help of landmarks. Around here, the Saber Station's antenna is a good reference. Uh, I mean, what do I care? Fix that yourself, bitch. You want anything else, Mario? I guess a Moonblast would be nice. Moonblast? Eh... Gut Punch. Yeah, that. That one. <sighs> okay, Gut Punch. What happens if I actually make him a Moonblast? Two, three, four, five, one. Should I try that? Yes, but that might ruin your ending. Uh, I was seeing that there's alternate endings, but I don't think it actually has to. I don't think yeah, it, it might. I don't know what. I don't know how to even get the endings. If I'm being completely honest, let's make him a moon blast. No know what? Fuck it. I don't know how to get the endings in this game. I'm being completely honest. I... I do not know. Um... Hold on. My name... M... Moonblast. Fuck it. One, two... I'll risk it for the biscuit. Five, six... One, 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 two... All on the rocks... And blend. Serve. Here. Eh, <laughs> this is good. It's a moon blast. I... No, never mind. Say, Mario. Why do you want to try so hard to keep up that tough guy image? It isn't working? Yo, that actually... That actually worked, oh my god. <laughs> Maybe when you arrived and had to go to the bathroom. But after that, you just looked cute. Cute? So why do it? Bikers are supposed to be scary, right? Rebels can cause trouble and ride free from society's ties. We applied that brand of logic here. I should be wearing one third of my clothes and lighting drinks on fire. I guess. You can do whatever you want and dress however you want. It's just that you look like you're trying so hard. Like you don't really enjoy that. It's not a lie. Who says you can't dress as a biker and still be a nice kid? 
Yeah, but other bikers... That sounded like something someone in high school would say. Ugh. Nah, it's just advice. Don't take it too personally. No, you're right. I don't have to be that way. Unless you want to. I ain't stopping you there. Yeah, but I don't. It's tiring and I don't feel good. If you want, you can try to stay quiet. You were pretty intimidating when you did that. I see. Will you have another drink? Or did you have too many already? I can handle another one. Get me a fringe weaver. Sure. Fringe weaver. Um, F. Or fuck. Fringe weaver. One, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All aged and mixed. In fact, you know what? Make it double. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. It's, uh, it's aged, mixed. Yes. Serve. Here. Yep, that's the one. Thanks. Say, Mario. You really like bikes, huh? I guess, yeah. Whenever I got into a car, I always felt like I was in some sort of cage. With a motorcycle, I can feel the wind and everything on my face first. What? Can't you get... Well, I guess those, those cars tend to be old, but... Can't you get like one of those like, one of those like open cars, like you know the ones that can like have the roof go like, like the ones that can retract their roof. I know those cars are old, so they might be hard to find, but still, like you can fill the wind with those. Hmm. Do do companies still make those kind of cars? Genuine question, because I haven't seen one of those in, like, decades. With a motor... Uh, with a motor fuckle, With a motorcycle, I can feel the wind and everything on my face first. It's liberating, you know? Oh, I see. Besides, I get mo motion sickness in cars for some... Only f I get motion sickness in cars only for some reasons. Motion sickness is something I've always found interesting. Why? Well, you get dizzy when too many movements are happening at once. And then the body gets that signal and throws up. But you throw up because your body thinks the dizziness is due to eating something bad. We take it for granted, but humans were not made to fly or move that fast. Motion sickness is a bug of sorts. Bug? Like the ones in computers. I have no idea what you're talking about. Alright then, I'll be leaving now. Thank you for everything. Please come again. He didn't look like a Mario to me. Same. I'll be taking my break now, Joe. Okay, careful. I won't take a break this time. I feel like I've taken a very long one last time, so... I'll, I'll separate the save files now, even though I don't think that Moonblast really mattered. I don't know if I... Like, because there are multiple endings, but judging by the achievements, it says the Dorothy ending, the... The... Yeah, the Dorothy ending, the Almia... Al, Al, is it Almia? Alma. The Alma ending and the bad ending and the good ending. Those seem to be the only endings and they don't seem to have anything to do with the actual like dr like the, the actual servings, you know? Or maybe it's only for 
Alma and Dorothy. Oh my god, I just realized. I can wait. Hold on. Bleed didn't smell like poo today. That's a new one. You can actually change. Oh, or turn off entirely the monitor here. I had no idea. What about this? Okay, not this. Um. Hold on. Billy doesn't smell like poo today. That's a new one. Um, you can keep it like this. All right, back to business. Back. Any luck? I managed to give out some flyers, but most people were distracted by the dog. I had to tell them to go to the Rad Shiba bar to get their attention. Oh. Anyway, I'm back to my office. You stay here. Fine. The door opens and the crowd goes wild when they see it. Oh wait. The door open and the crowd goes wild when they see a- <laughs> Sup, little girl? What are you doing in the bar? Uh, uh, honey, some help here. Hey, dog. I heard cats in the alley. Really? I'll check them out. Wow, you really are bad with dogs, eh? Did I make it too obvious? Why, though? I don't really know. Oh, hey, John. Hey. I think it's because I just got that tray at random. When AIs are created, they're given fears or tastes completely at random. I just happened to get stuck with a fear of dogs and chinchillas. Chinchillas are extinct though. Don't tell me that. <laughs> I don't want you just to be extinct in the future. It's adorable. I actually have a picture of one. I have a picture of like a lazy ch I, I need to find it somewhere, but once I do... Once I do find it, because we had a chinchilla at the, at the farm. Thank gods. Wait. Did you see that? Did the screen turn dark for a second? I swear it did. Um, I'll, I'll be and go to do something. Be back in about an hour or two. Okay. Thank gods. What will you have? Well, it's that time of the month. So I'll have a bleeding Jane <laughs> coming right um, up. <laughs> no. <laughs> One, one, two, three. One, two, three. And no, do not age it. All blended. Come on. Boom. Here. That time of the month. Do Lilim menstruate? Yes, oil. No, silly, we don't. There are a few mainten maintenance things we have to do every month, but those are a different story. And what time of the month is it? The time when I feel like drinking a bleeding Jane. So how's business? You'd be surprised by how many people get uh, struck by holiday depression and need some Dorothy in their lives. Although, it's also the reason 
Uh, it's also the season with the most competition. I didn't know you had competition. Of course I do. Both humans and Lilim. Both humans and Lilim. Half of them got a sexy Santa dress, and that's not fair. They were sold out. I wanted one too. But maybe it's better that way. How so? The other girls like to dress in skimpy clothes and show lots of skin. That scares off lots of people. I learned that the best way to maintain regulars is to just dress normally. Really? If I dress normally, they can just pretend I'm some acquaintance. No need to hide no need to hide me until reaching the room. Hell, some even invite me to a dinner or a movie before anything else. Although I must say it's a bit hard to get the clients in the in the first place. You can't tell what I what I do at a glance. And the first time they see me after a call, they think I'm just making a prank or something. Huh. I never saw it that way. I'm gonna make tea real quick. I'll be like back in a second. Okay, while the water's boiling, I'll just... Wait. Oh, it is. Okay. I, I thought it was unplugged for a second. Okay. Which reminds me, do you serve only humans or do you serve Lilim too? Humans only, but I do have an at least 40% organic policy. 40%? Human from neck up. Dicks preferably organic, but I can make exceptions. For females, I'm not so strict though. Hmm. Why? Do you know someone that might be interested? No, just mere cu curiosity. Well, your curiosity left me thirsty. Give me a blue fairy. A big one, would you? Alright. Blue fairy. Three, four, one. Wait, one, seven, eight, two, and I'll fill the rest with alcohol. Uh, all aged and mix. Serve and while that happened, the tea, the or uh, the water boiled so. I'll be back in the jiffy.
Wow, I'm back. But I'm not sure if I'm muted or not. Hold up. Did I mute before I... No, I didn't. Okay. All right. Um... Right, here you go. I wonder if anyone has seen fairies after a couple of these. Some guy tested that by drinking as many as he could. He thought he saw one, but he was dizzy and what he had seen was his puke. Oh. You know, earlier today, there was a mega Christmas spirit around here. What about it? That I'm realizing I made a fuss about... Serving drinks to someone underage, but here I am. <laughs> I mean, she's not underage, she just looks like it. <laughs> Nothing in particular, just a funny story. I have a funny story myself. The Mega Santa prank. <sighs> the what? <laughs> it's a prank I pull every year. First, I pick a mall. Wait for a day with lots of people. Then I go to Santa's lap, and when he asks what I want, I say in the most innocent tone, in the most innocent tone I can master, I want you to make me a woman. Sometimes they try to cover it up. Sometimes they try to cover it up. The little, the little wants to be human. It's then when I say, no, I want you. <laughs> After that, I say, well, at the very least, I want a dildo. A big pink one. Or a very bumpy cucumber. <laughs> Sometimes I spice it up. Instead of cucumbers, I ask for a pony and a crane to lift them up. I once thought about screaming, help, I'm being molested. <laughs> <laughs> just, I just have this image in my head now of this little girl on Santa's lap. It's like, help, I'm being molested. Or, I want you to make me a woman. <laughs> oh, this game is so good, I swear. <laughs> but I remembered it was a prank. I didn't I didn't want to ruin the guy's life. How considerate. <laughs> Although I did get a client I did get a client that way. He became a he became a regular soon after. Huh? But yeah. Three years and they still don't get that it's always me. Oh yeah, how old are you? Old enough for anything you want. Numbers. I need numbers. Oh, are you really asking a girl her age that way? Okay then, tell me your age first. 27. No fair, you didn't, you didn't get fidgety or anything like that. Fine, I'll tell you. My model's designed to look between 10 to 13 years old, but my last checkup said my mental age was 24. How long since you've been deployed? That's a secret I'll keep with me. Fair enough. I expect you to get all un I expect you to get all uncomfortable talking about your age though. Why didn't you? With how dangerous everything's been lately, every year you get matters. Getting old isn't a curse, it's an achievement. You should make a shirt with that because if you don't, I will. Feel free to do so. Do you want anything else? Let's see. Ooh, a cobalt velvet. It's been a while since I tried one of those. Alright. One, two. One, two, three. One, two, three. Four, five, 
put it on the rocks and mix. Cobalt Velvet. Yep, this is the one. Do you like it? I don't dislike it. I guess I'm not mature enough for these drinks. Hey, honey. Have you ever seen a Mega Santa gangbang? A Mega. Uh, uh? That Mega Santa that, in that became a regular of mine, he once invited like eight of his friends. Gangbangs are funny because with that many guys, no one knows what to do. They think about using you too, but they don't want to touch the other guys. Well, should have thought about that before getting naked in front of the other guys. Eight guys, and in the end, only two got it into it while the others left. Even my regular left. I'll regret asking this, but were all the other guys. Yep, they were Mega Santas that worked with him. Of course they were. I've been in many, but I still don't get the charm of gangbangs. Orgies I can see though. Well, either remembering that got me turned on or the alcohol is kicking in. Either way, I'm leaving. Bye, honey. That girl has seen some shit. <laughs> now I can't see Mega Sentence with the same eyes. <laughs> oh, that's good. Why didn't you tell her you, mi you missed her yesterday? Forgot about it. I didn't find any cats. Why not look again? Good idea. Huh? Another kid? Maybe the bar got popular at some middle school. That would be a hassle. Oh god, maybe Alma was right. Right about what? Well, the other day, I was asking her opinion on the whole ass rabbit thing. Before the whole massive transmission hack thing. And at some point she talked about hacking bec becoming a fad and said, Imagine if suddenly a group of tweens broke into this bar and started asking for drinks. And today, there have been two kids already. Uh, how would bartending become a fad? Maybe a cartoon? Kids cartoons don't show any alcohol. True. Well, not necessarily. I mean... Depends. Um... Excuse me, miss. This is no place for kids, so you should... Um... Jill, she's staring too much. And she's saying nothing. She's not ordering anything. She's not causing trouble and there's nothing inappropriate here. I mean, nothing inappropriate uh, aside from alcohol, but alcohol is everywhere anyways. Is everywhere anyways. So, what do you suggest? Let her be? Maybe she's just curious about the bar. She's saying nothing. Maybe she's curious and shy? Also, it's rude to speak about people you have in front of you like they can't hear you. Yeah. Jill. Bruh! How the hell did I startle you? What do you want? Can you help me out here with a beer? Right. Okay.
Uh, and... Okay. All mixed. Here. Thanks. And lower your guard a bit, please. Oh yeah, before I forget. The disposal un unit comes on Sunday. Do you have any expired ingredients on your side? Oh right, yeah. There's a bottle of Carmatrine that's like a month past expiration. Put it by the sink so I remember to dispose of it. Thanks. Hey miss. Y yes? Are you happy? Am I happy? Well, that's a weird question. I'm not sad, I guess. I'm not jubilant, but... No, I mean, are you happy with your life? With your choices? Deep questions. I mean... I might have one or two regrets, but I guess it could be worse. Regrets? Yeah, I mean, don't we all? I see. Um... Hey, Jill? Ah! Again? Aren't you a bit on edge? Maybe. What did you want? Didn't you borrow the screwdriver the other day? I did, why? I forgot to take the coins from the arcades. Uh, I forgot to take the coins from the arcades in the corner last week. So, I needed to take them out. Oh, let me, let's see. Here. It's not like they see much action these days anyway. Jump change is still money. Pocket change has saved my ass many times. What? Did you throw it in someone's face while escaping? That only happened once. And the old... And the old lady started it. Right. Why does an arcade still use coins nowadays? Or perhaps... Or, or nowadays... Or physical money when you... Get down to it. For the reason arcades still exist. Nostalgia. Maybe. Hey, miss. Uh, eh? Yeah? Do you recognize me? Recognize you? I want to say I do, but... Eh... Sorry. Really? You can't remember your own sister's face? Sister? Sorry, but I don't have any sis... Sister? Not even a sister-in-law? No way. Gabby, is that really you? God, I'm so sorry, but you've just grown so much since I last saw you. How long has it been? Three years. R right. So you know her? Yeah, she's actually my good, uh, my ex's sister. Um... So, how have you been doing? I actually had to transfer schools and I managed to skip a grade thanks to that thanks to the admission test. I'll be out of middle school next year. You've always been the smart one, so it's no surprise. Have you thought about what you want to study in college? You always said you wanted to be a scientist. I don't know yet. I guess I still have a couple of years yet years to think about that. Well, don't feel pressured about that. Maybe you'll need a sabbatical year. S so, how's Lenore? Wait, who's Lenore? Her sister. She's, um... She was my girlfriend. So you actually had a relationship with something that's not a cat? Color me surprised. Hey, don't talk shit about my baby. Um. <clears throat> so how's Lenore doing? She's dead. Sorry, I don't think I heard right. My sister is dead, Jill. She died last Saturday. I came all the way to tell you the news. Come on, Gabby, stop falling around. No, you stop falling around. I mean, wow. 
My sister was left to suffer her disease alone while you were all married here mixing drinks and chatting. Wait, Lenore was sick? Of what? Since when? Localized nanomachine rejection. It gave her a heart attack. She started complaining about chest pains not long after you left. Was all the talk about getting your freedom worth it, Jill? Was your right to be married worth the life of my sister? I kind of wish that like our mu that like the music in the background wasn't the one that we played that that we selected in the jukebox. I wish it kind of like I kind of wish that it would like stop like the the playlist music and just play like its own thing. Why are you lashing out at me like that? Did I infect her with the disease that killed her? No, but it's too much of a coincidence that she started getting worse and worse right after you left. She got visibly sick after your fight. It'd be no surprise if that fight played a key role in killing her. But that's just speculation. You can't expect and all of that because you wanted freedom. What kind of freedom is so enticing that it makes you hurt a nice three-year-old relationship? Was this freedom so important you cut all contact with us? Was this freedom so good you left everything behind? Was this freedom worth the life of my- Shut up! I didn't kill your sister for fuck's sake. It's not like I infected her with that nanomachine machine rejection. Hell. This is the first time I've even heard she was sick. And do you really know what kind of fear drove me to have that argument with your sister? Do you even understand the fear of feeling your youth slip through your fingers? Do you think it was all easy for me? I was scared. I'm still scared, but I needed to grab a hold of my life. But it has nothing to do with, with your sister. I... I loved her. Do you think that fight didn't hurt me too? I... Idiot. Ah! I... I... I'll make sure that girl gets to wherever she wants to go safely. Meanwhile, Chief... I know. Come on, Jill. Let's take you home. Home sweet home. Hey Jill, you wanna grab something to eat? I'm not hungry. Want me to come in, keep you company? I... I'm fine. I just... I just need to be alone for a bit. Jill... You can tell me what you're feeling, it's okay. It's not okay. It's... It's not. Come here, Jill. Come here. Sniff. It's just... I feel like part of me is crumbling right now. My old girlfriend was sick and I didn't know anything about it. Her sister came to deliver the news. And she held nothing but animosity for me. And not only that, but I lashed out at her too. History fucking repeats itself. Maybe if I hadn't cowered back then and apologized. Maybe if I wasn't such a selfish little shit. Maybe. M maybe. Thanks, boss. I really needed this. Do you want me to stay with you today? Thanks, but I actually need some time for myself. Some me time to put my thoughts in order. Yeah, I understand. But don't do anything funny, you hear me? If any weird thoughts come to you, or if you feel too anxious, call me. Yeah. Hey, Bore. She's in your care, you hear? Meow. Yeah. Remember to call me. I'll call you later to check you nonetheless.
But that got dark. Thursday, December 22nd. Good evening. Are you okay? I feel like shit. You sure you should have come then? You're in... You're in all the right to stay home. You to stay at home. I have to come. I threw away everything I had in my life to be here. People I loved were pushed aside... Just so I could enjoy my freedom of being here. My stupid, stupid freedom. So, I will come here until I die. Even after the bar closes. Until my hair falls out. You're the one who looks like she's about to fall apart. Your eyes are red and swollen. Yeah? Well, your, your hair is... Hairy. Yes, it is. Ah. Who was the dipshit that changed the order of the sun of the sunglasses? Excuse the shit out of me. Who was the dipshit that changed the order of the glasses? It was me. I was the one washing dishes yesterday. Remember? Oh yeah, I was too busy. I was too busy staring at my crumbling life and all that. Why don't you go home, Jill? You're in no position to. Deal with people right now. Go home. Rest a bit. My girl... My ex-girlfriend died and I wasn't there to see her one last time. Oh, because of a fight I spent all the years regretting and wishing to. But never actually apologizing for. My decision... To assert my freedom and grab a hold of my life led me to this. A bartender strapped for cash that distanced herself from her loved ones for no other reason than selfishness. So I won't fucking leave. I threw all of that away to be here. So here I will stay. This is what I wanted. This is why I left. But well, I left all of that behind. This is why. See, you're starting to sound like a broken record. I'll leave her be. I'd rather have her here than be alone in her apartment. How are you feeling, Jill? I feel like a shit, shit eating piece of shit. I'm the lowest of any possible life form you might find. Nanobs look down to me in disgust. Knowing they are far superior. You're spirited. That's good. Where's the mind? Working with Sierra. At Sierra. I know what I said. In any case, let Joe process her anger. It's perfectly normal to feel that way. And here she's surrounded by people that care about her. That's a lot better than leaving her, leaving her to fend for herself. I mean, as smart as Fori might be, as smart as Fori might be, she's still just a he's still just a cat. Then why not have Jill stay, but not serve anyone today? What part of I won't leave didn't you understand? I didn't leave everyone behind to just sit and do nothing. Fine, fine. <sighs> What do we do if she lashes out at a client? That's why you're here, Jillian. That's why you're here, Jillian... Liskin? Who? Hey, Jill. What? 
I'll be in my office. But if you need a break or a hug, just tell me. No, let's pick all of the saddest ones. Uh, I guess we can start with Snowfall and... Troubling News. Uh, Hearts of the City. Uh... I guess Welcome to Valhalla also can work. Hmm. New Avatar. Oh, good health, bad for sure. At least naming wise, it makes sense. Oh, you already put on music. <sighs> this is gonna be an interesting day. The Hall of Heroes keeps shining. Bring with the... Do I smell tacos? Wait. It's outside, never mind. Oh, hell no. We meet again, bartender. Virgilio, what can I get you? Today, the luminous pollution on the street makes it seem almost like a starry sky. And when I think about stars, I think about celebrities. Celebrities are fishy. And my favorite fish is the octopus. So, I want something octopus-like. Aren't you gonna do that weird bartending thing? I'm waiting for you to order like a decent human being. I'm not following. Spell out your order like you're a human who is not in need of medical help. Fine then. On a sparkle star. S P A R R Cool Star What the fuck is a sparkle star? Was that always there? Has anyone ever ordered this before? I don't remember. Uh, all aged. And mixed. See? Was this- was it that hard? Have you tried to spell under pressure? You look angry, spelling bartender. Are you having that time of the month or something? No, I'm just filled with ridiculous amounts of anger, pain, and self-hate, and... On second thought, you're not that far from the truth, I guess. I get those two, you know. Periods. You do? Yes. Last month, I finally got over my... Ren renaissance and moved to my enlightenment. And here I was, thinking you'd get to say something serious for once. Are you implying I'm not serious? Glaring holes through me will... Do nothing. I'm glare immune. <sighs> if you allow me to give you a sincere piece of advice... Whatever. It's not like it'll help. You shouldn't kick yourself so much. If you keep it up, any chance of finally forgiving yourself will someday be gone. Self-hate will leave you with, n with a hole that will never heal. So please take measures against it, instead of sulking so much. I'll be damned. That actually sounded half sensible. And here I was thinking you were just a... Pompous lunatic. Hey, pompous lunatics have stories too. Really? What story? I... Would rather not tell. Figures. You want anything else? Have you ever seen how the... A bad touch. <sighs> so this is what it feels for life to bite you in the ass.
on the rocks and next here yeah I guess it's the one maybe he's right and I shouldn't be so hard on myself even though I deserve every second of it if only I had apologized earlier I might not be feeling this way right now if only I if only I I I can't even remember what held me from apologizing all these years um bartender you're making lots of faces there pride fear what kept me from going out and a, what kept me from going out and apologizing to Lenore I can't even fucking remember what feeling kept me from fixing this whole situation. Can't I at least find solace in whatever feeling it is? It was that brought me to this situation. Great, now I'm feeling even worse thanks to not being able to muster whatever feeling held me. It, is she okay? No, but just leave her be for now. Hey, Jill. Oh, hey, Jill. Eh? Oh, thank God, a normal person. What? A mummy? No, no. I don't have kids. <laughs> those, those are three very different things from each other. Still more normal than this twat. How are you feeling, Say? My bones are still broken, but at least the cuts are healing nicely. Thank god I'm not someone that scars easily. Um, I mean, wounds. Don't... I mean, wounds don't leave me marks. It'd be a problem if I couldn't get scar tissue. What happened to you? Fell off two and a half stories into some trash and, and rubble. You look better though. Last time you came, you looked like you were about to collapse emotionally. <laughs> I guess. You're the one who looks it now though. How do I put it? It's like when I called you your full name, but magnified. Yeah, don't mind me too much. I'm in a bad mood. Anything I can do? Please forgive me if I suddenly lash out at you or anyone else. Do you want something? My tongue's not so sensitive today. Let's have a, let's have a beer. And you? Such a change in tone. I... I'm fine, I don't need anything. I'm such a piece of shit. God, me and Jill are like one right now. We are... We are basically the same person, and not just because she's the player character. Two, three, four. Here. Yay! Let's see if there are any differences from the canned ones. And? This one tastes less watered down. So did, so did something happen to you? I'm fine, nothing's happened to me. People who are fine don't act like that. Oh, I get it. You're in those days. When it's that time of the month, I get a bit sulky. No, I'm not on my period. No? <sighs> I'm dealing with the loss of someone, okay? Oh. Sorry. Don't worry. <sighs> Maybe I shouldn't have come today after all. Um... No, I... Hmm... Maybe... Ah... Uh, are you alright? Uh, I'm trying to find something to say. Making a joke would be tasteless and I can't say everything will be alright without it sounding cheap. I'm... At a loss as to what to do here, sorry. 
<laughs> when I hear something weird, I was exactly like that when Stella came here on Monday talking about you. Oh? Well, ladies, I'm leaving. Virgilio. Yeah? You were just sitting with a Valkyrie. Really? Splendid. This will make a really good entry in my poems vlog. <sighs> I feel bad at, about the way I treated him today. If not for the fact that he was being cryptic with his orders for no good reason. Like Stella when she first came? Yes. No, I mean... <laughs> you could have given... Could have given him a free beer or something and apologized. Yeah, I just keep messing things up with people. But you know, he seemed familiar. Familiar? Yeah, I can't put my finger on it though. I just feel like I've seen him somewhere. Ah oh, well. It might just be that he looks like someone from an ad or something. Didn't Virgilio recognize both the Jillian and um and Stella? There is something going on here. I don't know what. <sighs> so what brings you here? I wanted to come with Stella, so I'm waiting for her. Why here? To be with you, of course. That reminds me. How did Stella react when you arrived? She slapped me. Real hard. It hurt. She said, that's for making me worried and not listening to me. And then she became happy. Huh. Can I ask whose loss you are dealing with? You shouldn't be bothered with it. Just pretend I'm in a bad mood and call it a day. Oh, okay. You really want to know, huh? I can't help it. I don't like seeing people sad. I just need to know context, not details. <sighs> Someone to whom I said some mean things to... Some mean thing to pass away before I could ever see her again. I don't think that's correct. Someone to whom I said some mean thing to pass away before. I... Does that make sense? I don't know. Does that work? Yeah. Sorry. Knowing I can't do anything helps helps me calm down, but it. Eh. I mean, it's not that I wouldn't help, I just... Calm down, I get it. I can't contain myself when I see people in need. But I've learned that there are times when you... When you just can't do anything and that's kind of fine. Thank god I learned that, otherwise I would have gone insane ages ago. I think I pointed this out already, but damn, she's ripped. You're a good person, say. Nah, I'm just an annoying girl. Still, if there's anything you can, I can do to help, let me know. I have broken bones. That doesn't mean I can't offer emotional support. You could always order another drink. Oh yeah, that. Let's do that. Get me something cold, please. All right. Something cold. That's all of these, pretty much. Uh, what's one on the rocks? Let's see. Classic drinks. Bleeding Jane. Classy drink, Rantini, 
All aged and mixed. Hmm, manly drink. Mars Blast. Hmm. Bubbly drinks. Cobalt Velvet. All on the rocks and mixed. Okay, let's do a Cobalt Velvet. One, two. Let's put ice before I forget. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. What? I fucked something up. What did I fuck up? I said mixed. What? Wait. What? Wait, what did I do wrong? Oh, five karma trying to put four. One, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. One, two. On the rocks. And this time we mix. There we go. Serve. Here. It's pretty cold outside though. Yeah, but I don't like hot or warm drinks. They make me feel nauseous. You know what cheers me up? What? Singing. Hearing people sing helps too. Do you sing? I mean, did you take singing lessons or something? Nope. People have told me my voice is pretty nasty, actually. But they also told me I'm good with the harmonica. So you play the harmonica? I needed something to do some breathing exercises with, and the harmonica is a lot smaller than the tuba. And I guess if you practice enough, you become decent. That's something I didn't expect. I hear that a lot. I know I don't look like a musical type. I used to play the violin, right? Right until I was 16 or so. Really? Can you still play? The violin's at my mom's house, so I don't have it with me. But I guess I could. It's one of those things you don't forget easily. Why did you stop? I don't know. One day I just felt like stopping. No deep reason behind it. <laughs> just like me and cooking. That and almost burning my place up. When's Stella coming? Now that you mention it, she's a bit late. Let me call her. You do that. I'm going to take my break. Tell Jill if you need anything else. Sure. Okay. Um, let's do break 10 on a different save, just in case. I'm gonna go make tea and I'll be back to play the game. And this time I'm not gonna take an hour. I swear. I swear to God. <sighs> Took me a little while just because I was messing with one of my, my VTuber friends. I need to invite someone on call to do this because this is... This is not gonna work. Um, hold on, real quick. Let me go and turn off the lights. Then... Now, we can get frisky. Let's do this. Let's do this shit. Still and say make me a bit jealous. I'll keep it like this. Back. Did I unmute? Yes, I did. Okay. Looks like you come down. I still feel like kicking myself, make no mistake. But I guess I cooled down a bit. Say it helped a lot with... 
That one though. Just can't stay mad when I see her. Speaking of which, where is she? I believe she went outside to look for that Stella girl or something. The way you are right now, it feels like I should be protecting you. Hey, the only thing hindering me is the bro is the broken arm. I've gone into burning buildings with a two centimeter deep cut. Yeah, I remember that one. One millimeter more and you would have lost the motor function in your arm. Welcome. Ah, uh, hello, Jill. What's this about protecting who? Yeah, um, I'm sort of like Stella's unofficial bodyguard, but I'm not really fit for such duties right now. My father insists I go everywhere with protection, so most of the time I only I only ask Say if she's if she feels like going out. She's trained to deal with the kind of things that bodyguards deal with anyway. And she's more fun to hang out with too. So I'm assuming that gorilla outside is a bodyguard? And that's Buster. Pretty cool guy. He played football professionally until he lost his leg in the demolition near in the demolition thereby. We've offered him an implant surgery for all for all his years of service, but he rejects it every time. Well, he got used to the replacement he's using now, so maybe it's for the best. It's a thick oak branch on a metal bolt tied to a tied to a stump. And yet he can still run faster than me with it. True. Do you want something? I'm fine right now. A brantini. A big one. I'm in a good mood. <sighs> so this is what it feels for life to be bite you in the ass. Yes. Brantini. A big one. So one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Power Delta 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, and 2, Karma Trine, all aged, and mix. Yep, Brantini, serve. Here. After all these years, I still don't get why the finest and most expensive things come in small packages. Ever tried to go to a restaurant only for them to serve you a really small portion of some fine food? Sometimes, you just want to stuff yourself with really cheap food. Say, let's go for some hamburgers later. I'm not taking a no for an answer. I know what you mean when you say some, you know? You might as well call the place and tell them to prepare everything in advance. Can I ask you to do something? Sure. I guess. How do you two meet? <laughs> this music literally starting as soon as I asked that, it's almost like it's about to get real metal. <laughs> it's like, oh yeah, we slaughtered like a bunch of people. <laughs> Stella showed up in the park I used to play at when I was a kid. We played a couple of times. Uh, she started showing up more and more, and that was it. <laughs> My father told me that when I was five. When I was five, I kept insisting on going to a real kid's park. We drove for some time, and the park I liked was the one Say happened to be at. Have you ever seen a girl in a dress go to a muddy park? She learned her lesson and finally showed and, and started showing up in more fitting clothes. But man, that's a scene I can't forget. So you two have known each other for most of your lives. 
I've known her for longer than I've known my own father. Why the question? No reason. You two just look so comfortable with each other. Any other person could have sworn you were an... Could have sworn you were an item. An item? What kind of item? A couple, say. Or a... Oh, I... D yeah, I get it now. It's funny because we actually earned a mock prize of sorts for best couple at Celeste High School. Three years in a row. So you two didn't go to the same high school? Nope. Oh. Don't you have any childhood friends, Jill? Childhood friends. Can't think of any. My grandpa, I guess. What kind of man was he? Graf, the kind to eat a raw bronze roots every morning. What the fuck is my mug? There it is. Brrr. But around me, he was different. <sighs> I have memories of him of him barking orders to my dad, only to turn around and play with me gently. That's just I feel like that's just what grandparents do. Like with their own kids, they're like they're they're like as mean as possible, but like with with their grandkids, they're just like they're like the nicest things in the world. At least that's the case for me. At least like for me and my grandparents, we got we get along really well. Unlike which is ironic because I get along with my dad's parents, but I don't get along with my dad. And my 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 grandparents are trying to tell me like, oh no, you, you should like you should make up with him. And I'm like, <laughs> you're funny, you're really funny. Uh, it's interesting though. He was my mom's dad, but after my mom and dad separated, he stayed he stayed with my dad. But yeah, he's the one that comes to mind when I think about childhood friends. Oh. Hey Jill, what's this bloom light? A spicy drink. Tastes nice the first time, but it gets samey after a while. It's also brown for some reason. Give me one of those, please. I'll have one too. On it. What was it? Uh, spicy drinks. Bloom light. I don't think I ever made this one before. At least not that I remember. One, two, three, four, one. You know what? Let's make them big. Two, three, four, one, two. One, two, three, one, two, three. Can I make? Yes, I can. One, two, one, two. All right. All aged on the rocks and mixed. Okay. This is like everything at once. What the fuck? Almost everything except for the Bronson X ex ex extract. And next, we make the exact same thing. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five. Five, six, one, two, three, four, one, two, age, ice, mi uh, mix, yep, serve, here, I don't know, I kind of like it, yeah, but after the third one, it starts tasting like sand, spicy sand, but sand nonetheless, Who's uh, dimming the light? Mm. Huh? I guess she had too much before I came. Well, that... And that she must still be tired. From the whole bank thing? She told me... About everything that happened in there. To be honest, I don't think I would have made it in her place. 
I guess I should be thankful for the nano machine treatment she went through as a white knight. Treatment? Trauma suppressors. Basically, it helps with the healing process of PTSD. It's mandatory for every white knight, regardless of divisions. Oh. Still, healing can only do so much. For three days, that bank was hell, and poor Say is still paying for it. The disbanding of the white knights and, subse and subsequent persecution of those who were identified as former members. It's unfair, you know? Among all the... People using the White Knights to further all their own goals. Say was one of the few that actually believed in what they were supposed to do. It paid off though. The doctor who treated her wounds was the same one she's always she's always assisted with accidents and emergencies. He treated her at no cost whatsoever. Well, good karma and all that. Sharing the God's favor, I think. But you know, all of that made me realize I might be a bad person. How? When I saw Say wounded asking for help, a part of me was happy. After all this time needing her um, after all this time needing needing her, she finally needed me. I feel truly useful to her for the first time. <sighs> How sad is that? Sometimes, the best help one can provide is to stay alive. Who knows? Maybe it was the idea of coming back to you that helped her. And I guess... You wouldn't be human without thoughts like those once in a while. Maybe. Can I get you anything else? I'm good. I should be leaving, actually. Come, say. Let's get hamburgers and go home. Mm, yeah... We'll be leaving now. Thank you. Please come again. Feeling better? No, I just don't reek of rage. But I still feel like a piece of shit. Little steps, I guess. Hello? Ah, Kim, welcome. I was afraid I'd mix up the directions and end up in someone's house or something. What can I get you? I'll have a sunshine cloud, please. Sure. Is it just me or... Have... Have all the drinks name have been symbolic with the situation so far? So like, when... Like when, uh, what's his name? The, the, I don't know, the poet guy, the annoying one, came, he ordered a gut punch and something else I don't, what was that, a Mars Blast? No. Uh, what do you order? I, or Moon Blast. No, he ordered Piano Woman, didn't he? I forgot. But yeah, he ordered the gut punch, which is what, like, she was feeling. And then Sei came... Ordered Fluffy Dream. Who so someone ordered Fluffy Dream. I don't remember. Maybe I'm maybe I'm bullshitting. But yeah, Sunshine Blast. Sunshine Cloud. One, two, one, two. On the rocks and blended. Alright, well, you know what time it is. Oh, it's full. Okay, um... On the rocks and blend it. And stop. Sun cloud. Here. Thanks.
So how's work on the web paper? Oh, I quit. What? Yep. I went to the office of the chauvinistic horse blower and told him I quit. Why did you do that? I arrived early to my meeting and got some assignments. I spent hours doing it, only for the other bitches to come and ruin it. After that, I didn't have time left, so my supervisor scolded me. So I snapped and quit on a whim. Oh. Don't you have any second thoughts for regretting anything? I guess you'll always have second thoughts, even if you do what you want. You'll still think, what if? Even so, I was getting physically sick there. I dreaded the arrival of every morning, I, I even almost... What I'm saying is, I don't know what I'll do, but it's certainly better than being there. I feel free. Free. It's a wonderful feeling, you know? I feel like now I can find something I care about. I won't return to the argument, Eve. To the argumented... Aug okay, let's try this again. I won't return to the augmented eye, but I could still pursue jour journalism with another outlet. I haven't felt like this in... Well, never. Ahem. <clears throat> what about your family? They weren't happy, that's for sure. My dad took... My dad took it better, but my mom freaked out, to put it mildly. What are you gonna do and all that? <sighs> but I'm not here about that. Give me a big drink, please. What kind? I don't know, bubbly or something. By type... No, flavor, I guess. How's bubbly a flavor? Um... Let's do frothy water. No one ever orders frothy water. <laughs> it's just something I make when, like, it just lines up with... With the, with the order request. But no one ever really... Orders it. Frothy water. Some frothy water. Here. I didn't particularly care about the drink this time around, but... No, never mind. I gotta ask though. How did you end up working there? No deep reason. That's what I did when I got out of high school. Taking a year off was out of the question, so I went for the first thing I could think about. But I couldn't get into robotic, into the robotics course. So I settled for journalism. To be honest, I got tired of the job midway. Midway through it. But I couldn't bring myself to leave. Uh, to my, too much pressure from my family. It's a really common tale, I guess. Do you have troubles like those? Same story as you. I just went through the motions. From high school to college, I never stopped to think about what I was doing. And then at some point, I just felt like my life slipped through my fingers. Suddenly, all I wanted was freedom. A little pause to stop and take a breather. And my life went to hell for that fucking breather. Uh, um, give me, uh, uh, something. Something? Sorry, I just have a dry mouth. Anything will do. Alright. Anything will do. I guess it's Zen Star. What's, uh... What's one that we never make? Bio driver? I don't remember making one. Mars Blast, Mercury Blast, Moon Blast. G Grizzly Temple Gut Punch. Crevice Spike. 
We never make... I never made this. Hold on. One, two. One, two, three, four. And all alcohol. We. Okay. And blended. Here. Underappreciated drink. There's a drink nobody asks for. Wow. Even the achievement says that. <laughs> I told you nobody asks for it. Well, let me actually let me just take my shirt off because it's hot as shit. Well, it did say anything, so here. Thanks. I feel like I asked something I shouldn't have. Don't fret about it. I'm just in a rough spot right now. What are you gonna do now? Honestly, I don't know. I do feel liberated, however. Like, it, like I can do what I want, study whatever I like, work whenever I want. I know it's not that way, and it won't be easy. But I feel a lot more confident than when I was out of high school. Honestly, don't get... Why they put young people who barely know how society works through that one. Well, wish you the best of luck. Your mental health should be a priority. And all that. Thanks. I really need the encouragement. Come back if you need more encouragement. I wouldn't dare leave someone, leave someone alone when it comes to this sort of thing. Thanks. Bye, Jill. Please come again. <sighs> You should take some uh, you should take some of that advice for yourself. I know, I know. Let's call it a day for now. You need some rest. Yeah. Honey. Ah, Dorothy. Sorry, we're just closing. I know, I came for you. For me? Why are you hugging me? I paid her to do that. All night long. Come again. To put it simply, Dorothy uh, will go home with you and she won't leave your side. Damn it, Totsley. What do you hope to accomplish with that? Well, at first it was to come that rage you had earlier. It was either hugs or a cold bucket, and I don't promise there'll be. <laughs> and I don't promise there'll be any water in it. You calm down a bit, but honestly, I know better than to leave you alone for another night. At the very least, all the cuddling will give you an an epiphany or something. That's some alien reasoning right there. It's not. You need hugs. Many. <laughs> you need some human... Uh, humanoid contact right now. You had your alone time. Now we're playing by my rules. Please take care of me. Please tell me we get to see the... No, we don't get to see the the interactions between those two. Damn it. For a, who was that Lilim? A very good friend. That's awesome. Uh, let me check my phone real quick. Um, nothing important. Okay. Let's go. Good evening. Ah, hey. How are you feeling? A little more soft and warm. Come again? You heard me. 
So on the scale from steaming pile of shit to just sad, where are you? Hmm. A sad pile of shit. I just hate myself. I'm still sad as hell, but how to put it, the noise stopped. I don't know if I explained myself. Sorta, kinda. So, how were things last night? Cozy, I must admit. I can't believe you paid Dorothy for that. Well, if you want to call that payment, I guess. Hmm? I called Dorothy to tell her what happened to you, and she was really concerned. She started for a second saying she had a whole night to go and she couldn't just leave for free. I asked her how much and she said enough to pay for this soda I'm having is fine. How did you get her number? I have contacts. Right. <laughs> anyway. Anyways, Jill. If you need a second break, a drink, or a hug, just let me know, you hear? Thanks. God, I wish work was actually like this. <laughs> I'd make you the same offer, but I'm guessing hugs from me are the least thing you want. If you need a bar if you need a bartender, let me know though. Nice to know. Anyway, we have work to do. Um Time to mix drinks and change lives. Heh, it's nice to hear that again. Did you say something? Did I? Welcome to Valha- Oh, it's you guys. Hey, be more respectable. I brought my boss here. Aren't you a part-timer here or something? My other boss. You're talking to the great Nacho Tumble Tumbleweed. Tum Tumbleweed, yeah. Tumbleweed Jr. Nacho Tumbleweed Jr. Okay, I couldn't tell if there was an R somewhere. As I said, I'm blind. Boss, I'm taking my break. I know what I said earlier, but you haven't even started yet. Shit. So, what brings you here today? I wanted to see the place my best soldier is working at. Soldier? Wait, aren't you the dog, the dog I served last Monday? Oh, it's you, Dana! Soldier, why didn't you tell me you were working for Dana? No, that's not Dana. That's just Jay. So, I'm guessing you're part of this whole Sierra thing? Part of it? I founded it! Humans have the best intentions, but they just don't get us. So, I decided to create a place where dogs can be dogs. Here. We can take any dog without a place in this world. We created our own heaven on Earth. And do you take corgis only? Do I look like one of those safer bitches? Of course not. I only include other animals. I'd include other animals, but sadly I can only take care of those who are of the same species as I. Sad thing is, I take it more seriously. But it's a talking corgi with an eye patch. Will you get anything? I'm fine. What about you, boss? Manly stuff. You sure? Did I stutter? Alright. Oh shit, I dozed off. Manly drinks. You know what? Crevice spike. One, two, three, four. One, two. Get it. Get all that alcohol. All of it. 
fill it up real good and blend it stop and serve here yes this is just what i wanted Blech! this tastes worse than my own butt hey you asked for it this is a really nice place you know you picked a good place to work at soldier Thanks. Does he really get paid? Your efforts to keep Sierra afloat will not go to waste. We'll make we'll make her better and better. I mean, we're pretty much on the verge of closing. Can boss really afford that? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We have more urgent matters at hand though. Like the fact that we don't have enough balls for everyone. Can't they just share the ones we have? You fool! Every dog has a right to have his own ball. If we can't provide that even that, then what's the point of even trying? Wait. Don't tell me she just doesn't give a fuck and is spending all of her money like water. I mean... What? With her bar closing and all that... But many have enjoyed the boxes more than they do the balls. That's a good point. What do you think is cheaper? A box of balls or a box of box? Are there boxes of boxes? Of course there are. How do you think they ship boxes? Tied together? Tied together? Don't be silly. Unless she's paying him straight from her pocket. Boss is that kind boss is that kind of woman. This world is filled with all sorts of recursive madness, you know? Doctors even Consult doctors. Boxes come in boxes. Bottles come in bottles. <laughs> Ooh, as expected from you, boss. Wait. Well, that theory only works assuming she's actually paying him with money. For all I know, she might be paying him with stakes. So it's. So tomorrow you're gonna check for people selling boxes, you hear? Sir, yes, sir. Except that to boss, a good steak is more valuable than money. Wait, what if they come with a f wait? What if they come with foil? Ru uh, Russ and Strauss had to be taken to the vet because she ate the foil. A pe uh, she ate the foil. A piece of cheese came in. Curses! You're right. We need to. We need a con contingency plan. Okay, sure. Besides, bosses not want to scam people, let alone dogs. I wonder if we can strike a deal with the vet those safer bastards have. She's always so nice with us. I know, her smile is so cute too. So it's better that we have a vet for a vet. Yes, put that on the list. Ah, Nacho. Oh yeah, I forgot she knew the dog. Are you staying for a while? I was just passing by. I've got some errands to run. Great. Joe can go with you. I can? You will. I'll still get paid for today, right? That depends on Nacho's evaluation. Alright, Greenhorn. Let's get going. <sighs> oh, I'm paying him. At oh, I'm paying him anyways. By the way. Just wanted to mess around with him. No, that's not the problem here. Why make him do that? Joe looked like he needed to take a good break. And he's the kind to... Just not accept such a thing. 
But with Nacho, he'd have something to do. And he'd be away from the bar for, for a bit. When you put it that way. Anyway, I'm going back to my office. Your boss sure is nice. Glad I'm working with her too. Yeah. So, you having anything? Actually, I'm just gonna go sit over there and be on standby. Await orders. Okay. Shit. I missed a chance to ask how or even if... Or if he even gets paid with money. Man, I sure need to get wasted. I failed to see how getting wasted... Will make you feel Betsheba! Oh, for fuck's sake, you piece of scrap. We just got out... We just got out of building full of dogs. But this ha But this one has a Hawaiian shirt and sunglasses. Hey there, robot. And he talks. <sighs> Welcome to Valhalla. Hey, Jill. Get me a beer, will you? Gotcha. Does Deal want anything? Okay, roll. Sir, yes, sir. So cute. He's fine. Just a beer then? Friday after work isn't just a beer. Isn't just a beer though. It's THE beer. Can't argue with that. So, THE beer. Not just any beer. THE beer. In fact, you know what? Let me make it big. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All mixed. Serve. Here, let's make it special. Yeah. Cheers. Hey, Jill, how do you like beer? How do you like. Oh, hey Jill, do you like beer? The amount of beer cans in my apartment is becoming a problem, actually. Speaking of beer, let me get mine. Let's take out the bottle. Ooh, second beer of the day. Where's my bottle opener? There it is. Okay. Okay. Cool. Alright. Let's continue. Where is my... There it is. Uh... The amount of beer cans in my apartment is becoming a problem, actually. I had this friend back in high school who made some pretty nice crafts with them. I'm still in contact with him if you're interested. No thanks. The last thing I need right now is more crap taking space. So, how are things up at Dogtown? Well, that Luna girl is staring things up for better or for worse. Or worse? She's, um, like a rabbit. An overtly politically correct rabbit. R rabbit Ever had a pet rabbit? They're a nervous mess that gets startled over the, the littlest of things. And this girl is on constant lookout. Scared of saying something that might irk someone. It doesn't have to be the person she's speaking with, even. There's no problem in the company. But the other day, she went out... We went out together and holy shit. Poor girl can't speak properly. She pauses every sentence to make sure she doesn't say something offensive. I do that too, honestly. <laughs> Who doesn't do that? Let's be honest here. 
She's a nice girl. And it's sweet that she tries so hard not to offend anyone. But seriously, she tries too hard. You don't help either. Hmm? You randomly yell, What did you say? Whenever she's within earshot distance. Yeah, well... It's just that she looks so cute when she's startled. Like a rabbit. It rises up the question of whether she's really like that. Or... If you're the one making her wary of things, she says. Well... Why don't we test that? How? You go out with her. Why? To test if it's really me who makes her like that. It's not like you can say no, you know? God damn it, Mim. I every time a pop-up saying that like one of one of my friends is like playing a game, I feel like I'm doxing them <laughs> because I don't know if it's like for a future stream or not. And in Mim's case it probably is. <laughs> I mean, it's my honor. It's my honor that's on the line here. I want to prove you're only talking shit about me. Even if you were right, you have quite the fixation on that girl. She's fun. Fun how? She actually reacts when I tease her. Uh. Take it in your stride, but when she actually gets startled, squirms and then gets uncomfortable. How is that any good? She's cute, and her reactions are cute. But if you keep it up, she'll either leave or get used to you. You know, like me. Shit, you're right. I must save my teasing for when the moment's just right then. No, that's not the problem. It is for me. Um, what are you doing here? What about the dog? He said he had to go out. By the way, he said his name was... Say, this Laura girl. Do you guys get along? I wouldn't know. We get along as co-workers at the very least. What kind of girl is she? Aside from the whole politically correct rabbit thing. Slow. She's the kind that does things so carefully that she does that she does them really, really slowly. Really, really slowly. Can't deny that when she actually finishes stuff, she does a great job, but it's unnerving. She doesn't actually have to be with us in the building, though. She's more like a freelancer. Why is she there, then? Because she likes dogs. And that's why I insist that you two would make a fine couple. That's a really superficial statement. It's like saying you'd be fine with someone because you're both women. Okay, bad example. May I say something? By all means. If that Laura girl is as bland as you claim her to be, wouldn't she be better off with a more, um... A more assertive person? Lilim, uh... A more assertive partner? Yo, piece of scrap, she's totally calling you a pussy. <laughs> she's right, though. Sharing interests and being compatible are totally different things. But then you'd be underestimating the power of love. Whether you want to admit it or not, love changes people for better or for worse. Who knows? Maybe you'll become more assertive af after spending time with her. Or she'll drive me nuts. I guess that's a possibility too. Still, why are you so insistent on me and her getting together? Because she's like a cute rabbit. So someone might try to eat try to eat her out, out try to eat her out there okay it'd be a lot easier to keep her in my sight 
So in short, so in short, your motherly instincts arose because of Laura. <sighs> Why not see if she likes you and you already tried to hit on her, didn't you? You make me sound like a skirt chaser. <sighs> She's not into girls. How did you find out? I asked her directly. Of course you did. She seemed, um, giddy afterwards, though. I heard her muttering something about meeting her first lesbian. It was weird. Okay, enough Laura for a night. That... Refrain from using any... That's what you said last night jokes or variation thereof. Please. Party pooper. Let's get a drink, then. Sounds good. I have a bloom light, please. Give me a fringe weaver. All right. Uh, you're right when you said it's a long game. This is longer than I thought. I'm impressed. I expected to kind of get the this kind of game to be shorter. Yeah, I, I was honestly, I, it was a fringe weaver and something else, and I do not remember what. Um, but yeah, this is longer than I honestly was expecting. Cause like the only real memories I have of this game is watching, uh, the VTuber Hoshino Charlotte play this game, like way back when, like when she first debuted it, basically two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine. Okay. But yeah, that's... Like, I never really played it for myself, and this was like three years ago, so I barely remembered much. And now I'm past the point where, like, I've watched her play it, so I, I'm basically blind by this point. I was already pretty much blind earlier, but now I'm, like, fully blind. I don't know what to expect. Wait, okay, yes it is. What was the other one? Next. Uh Bad ble uh Bloom Light. That's what it was, right? One, two, three, four. Yeah, but I don't mind because I'm honestly really enjoying this game. This is um probably one of the most fun games i've played on stream uh all aged on the rocks and mixed yeah this is definitely one of the games that made me laugh the most on stream here you go also i just realized something if i if this stream actually makes it to the 28th which is like five days from now no six days from now it's six days from now i can uh <laughs> that's when rush duels and duel links comes out so i can play that i can play that until i'm tired which to be fair won't be anywhere near as long as this game but at least i can unlock some of the characters here you go I wonder why it's called a bloom light. Seems it was first developed at some video games event. The creator said something about making the attendees feel like their customers do. Said attendees were of course part of some big games company. Seems that company always used too much bloom light bloom lighting, so the bartender there literally made them drink all the bloom. So it's not called that because it glows in the dark. <laughs> not this one, no. Come to think of it, did you ever change because of a relationship, Jill? <laughs> Poor thing. Did you have to mention that? <laughs> in more ways than one, I guess. Would you say for better or for worse? 
I guess for the better. I'm too thick-headed to develop any new bad habits. Although... Thanks to my first boyfriend, I did pick up a very annoying habit of correcting people's grammar on the fly. Pretty annoying when I think back to it. So you were one of those kinds of people. As for me, sometimes I think I became more... Uh, what's the word? Clinical? Jaded? Better? Tired of the crap this world... This world and everyone in it throws on a daily basis? Hey. I'm just quoting you. <sighs> but yeah, I think... I became all that because this one girlfriend I had in college... She got me into the whole activism thing in the first place. How is that bad? We'd all go and protest. We'd start all kinds of movements to see things changed. I really got into the whole thing. But whenever I wanted to get more serious, I'd find myself coming up against a wall. That was an analogy for the fact that not everyone was willing to go that far. I found out pretty fast that most of them were in the whole thing because of some shitty fad. And not because they actually believed in whatever movement they were championing. So I moved from group to group. Only to find people who were in it because of a fad. Uh, and when they were not in it because of a passing fad, they were... Only the dangerous extremist kind. What is this Rompa ass music? What the hell? I don't remember putting this in the playlist. But I'm not complaining. I'm complaining a little bit. But still. Uh, and when they were not here because of the passing fad, they were of the dangerous extremist kind. My tolerance for people's shit was greatly diminished after all that. <sighs> so it wasn't so much the person you had a relationship with, but rather other people. Um, you seriously never thought about it that way? Uh... You need to stop putting the blame for what you do on past relationships. Whatever. Where's the other guy, by the way? He had to escort one of the dogs outside. Figures. Oh, yeah. The one that was here asked if you were the nice vet lady that works at the Safer Toy Company. I suppose he's interested in talking to you or something. Why didn't he do it then? I don't know. You've been doing a few jobs on the side, haven't you? The pay from the dogs isn't enough to keep up with the mounting depths. I don't know how to do it. It's hard to believe dogs pay you at all. I'm just... I just want to see something real quick. No, okay, I can't do a throw BS. Okay, just checking something. Okay, um, but this is the com this is coming from someone working at a place that pays a dog for doing fuck all. Or at least I think they're paying him. I'm not completely certain we do. We get anything else? Well, we're fine, but we have to get up early tomorrow. And by we, I really mean her. She got invited to a picnic. And I won't stand to hear another had to go to a picnic with a hangover story. <laughs> Fine. Let's go then. See you, Jill. Bye. Please come again. Man, you're such a party pooper. You'll be the party pooper tomorrow if you keep drinking. 
Boss, I'll take my break. Call me if someone comes. All right. Hmm. Okay. Uh, where's my phone? There it is. Just, uh... I could use this to... I could use the the break excuse to um, to uh, how to say this to take a break myself, but no, I'll just I'll just uh, go on my phone for like a, like a minute, see if there's anything new, which there doesn't seem to be aside from QR work of Suichan. Besides that, uh. No, nothing new. Uh, no. Okay, all right. Back to bartending. The but do save. Was there anything that I? Uh, yeah, fuck it. We'll need it. It's now safe to keep playing. No dogs in sight. Alright. Drive me wild. Full system go. Let's just go like the full like. Cool. Okay then. Back to work. Welcome to Valh- Oh, hey there, Alma. Well, you look unusually unhappy. Um... <sighs> she seems down. Maybe there's something you can give her to cheer her up. Did I leave enough food for Fori at home? Uh, something you can give her to cheer her up. Bottle of drinks. Give her some rum, maybe. Flavor. Mm, I guess my bubbly drinks. Um, I guess by bubbly it means like foamy. I've never heard of like foam being referred to as bubbles, though. I mean, I guess technically it is, but still. Is it? It's foam bubbles. It is, right? I don't know. All right, sweet drinks. I'll give her. Mmm... A sparkle star. Yeah. You know what? Let's give her big just to cheer her up. Uh... All age and mixed, okay. Let's give her all the Karmatrine. All of it. All of it. All of it. Build a whole mug with it. Uh, yeah. And mixed. Okay. Spark star. Serve. Hey. Hmm? And this? It's on me. Drink it so you at least change your expression. <laughs> Why not just say you're worried about me? You got the message anyway, didn't you? <laughs> so, how is it? Well, it's not bad. Sweet things always soothe me, so I figured it would help you too. You sound like my little brother. Just replace sweet with meat, though. Oh. So, why are you deflating? Deflating? When I got sad and started sighing repeatedly, my grandpa would warn me that I would start deflating like an old tire if I kept if I kept it up. <laughs> so what is it? What is the news about people dressing in bunny suits after the whole Alice Rabbit boom? Nah, that is old news. I mean, it is a problem, but such a thing would on would only annoy me. Say, Jill, what's your mood right now? I want to ruin it by blowing off all my stored steam. 
Silly Alma, I've been feeling like utter shit the last couple of days. You can't make me feel worse. So go ahead, unwind all your worries on me. Don't say that I didn't warn you. Okay, so remember my sister Diana? The one that separated from her husband and forgot her kids while fucking her way around or something? Perfect summary. <laughs> I'll use it next time. Oh my fucking god. What the hell is Totsley streaming? Anyway. I didn't need to tell you the whole story then. More specifically, that she threw her husband out after months of abuse. Oh. However, that woman is incapable of getting a job and maintaining herself. And I mean that. She never even thinks about selling some stuff or trying to earn her bread. She just expects a guy to to do it to do all that for her. I have no idea why she turned out like that. Both my mom and dad were hard workers. <sighs> they even started a small shop to have something to do after retirement. Huh? So, what does this fully capable woman do a couple of weeks later? Why, bring her abusive husband back, of course. What? Yeah, and the guy spent a couple of days with her before leaving her again. He had a nice couple of hot, steamy nights, and then left. <coughs> I, I, well... Huh. You reacted exactly like my little brother and sister after hearing that. But the story doesn't end there, oh no. So she's broke and can't even get enough for a bus. Even though she'd probably be glad to sell her ass just to... She'd be glad to sell her ass just to get money. And it was up to me to pick her up. For the last couple of days, she left her kids with my parents. And being such sweet angels, they made a mess out of the whole place. Bernardo and Eva are actually staying with me a couple of days to give to give them some peace. It doesn't help that I never got along with Diana. So we're in the car and she asks how her kids are. And of course, after all the build-up uh, tension, I just exploded. First, I started ranting about how her kids are growing up seeing more messed up stuff. I started scolding her about not taking responsibility and not taking proper care of her children. I tell her that she's in no place to have all those escapades. And after all that, she just says... What the hell do you know? You don't have any kids. Yeah, you slutty skank. I don't have kids, but I'm not broke just because I refuse to take a job. I don't have kids, but I'm not leaving them in the f in the first barely familiar house I find. I don't have kids, but I'm not letting the guy that hit me on a regular basis back into my bed. I don't have kids, but I pretty much raised Eva and, Bernard and Bernardo, and they have turned out pretty damn well. Oh, it's, uh, it's, uh, this probably would have worked better as like a full, like a full, like image, like a full screen screenshot, like a not screenshot, but like a full image. You get what I mean? Well, like, it's like what visual novels do normally. You, you get what I mean? I don't have any kids, but I'm not a cheap whore. Ah, damn. I don't know what to say. There's nothing to say. I love my family and I put them above all else. But Diana is seriously pushing the boundaries of what I can allow. Anyway, I could help. You just did. Yeah? I know who I'm dealing with. I'm not one to let stuff like that get to me. I'm still angry as hell though. I couldn't just discuss this with... 
any of my family members. I can't tell my mom your daughter is a slut. I just needed to get all of this off my chest, you know? Well, from what I see, there's still a lot more to get off your chest. It's swollen as fuck. Nah, all you need to see here is filled with love and dreams. Is everyone in your family as bussy as you? The worst is... <laughs> the worst offender is my dad, actually. I I don't want to know. <laughs> <I'm> kidding. <laughs> well, who is your dad, Luca? I mean, you have the same hair, you, hair color, so I mean, I wouldn't be surprised. <laughs> I guess... The only one that didn't get the big boobs Jean was Eva. She insists on getting surgery or genetic treatment. But I tell her she's fine the way she is. These can actually be more of a hassle than a blessing. And poor Bernardo. His breasts actually started growing when he was eight. The Isn't Bernardo's a dude's name what the poor, what, poor guy what <laughs> his boobs at 80 years old what the fuck i just hope i don't take too much from my mother's side of the family father's sisters still look quite young when but when menopause hit my mom lost her looks rather quickly <clears throat> any good genes you got from your family jill good enough skin and hair i guess there's a thing about a shrimp allergy, but so far I haven't had problems with that. Oh, I see. Hey, you know what worries me the most about the whole Diana situation? Uh, I just remembered that. Okay, I finished. I, I wasn't, I was unsure whether I still had tea left. <laughs> and I have a beer open as well, so I will... <laughs> Like, so I'd have to drink both a tea and a beer, and that does not sound like a good combination. That sounds awful. I'm... <laughs> How your nephews are turning out? If she leaves with them, or if she, if she leaves them with my mom, they'll turn out better than her somehow. Actually, what worries me is if I end up like that too. How so? If I find a good man and I settle down, what if he turns out shitty? What if I have a sudden burst where uh, I want to live my life and end up like that? What if I have kids and I end up neglecting them because of all that? If you ask me, the fact that you're even worried about it is indication enough that you'll be fine. You think? I'm pretty sure. You said before that she's pretty much married the guy after a couple of months, right? Yeah. No offense, but those are kind of people who wouldn't even think about all that. Besides, if any guy ends up marrying you, it's because he passed through irrational standards. Hey, am I lying? No, but there are things best kept as unspoken truths. <sighs> I wonder if I'll ever find a good guy. Damn, this is a good beat to drink though. Hold up. I was just taking a drink of, the, of my beer and this beat came up and I was like, hold up. <laughs> you will. You'll know when the time comes. I sure hope so. For now, the time has come to get another drink. What can I get you? Hmm. Get me something with ice. But alcoholic, please. Alright. The order was, um, I'd like to say a rabbit. Something alcoholic with ice. Um, fluffy dream. No. Do you think Jane? No. Um, Mercury Blast. On the rocks and blended. Okay, Mercury Blast. One, two, three. One, 
two, three. Actually, I'll make I'll make it big. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. Ice and blended. Okay. Ba, ba, ba. There you go. Mercury blast, serve. Here you go. Thanks. I need to cool down a bit. That's why I'm here. So, you said you felt shitty the last couple of days. Why? Don't think too much about it. Oh, come on. You heard my problems. I want to help you too. Don't worry too much. Right. I almost forgot to tell you something. What is it? My boss is throwing a mega Christmas party this Sunday. Wanna come? Sure. Something tells me this mega Christmas is gonna be a mess at my parents' home, so I'd rather avoid it. Are you guys getting chicken? I can get one. Hmm. To be honest, I wouldn't know. You can bring it if you want it. Uh, it won't go to waste. Gotcha. Hmm. Say, Jill. What's your favorite part of the chicken? Favorite part? I guess I like legs the most. Really? I like breasts better. No. I think legs for me too, actually. The... Like, I just like holding, like, the bone. And it's, you yeah, know, legs. Legs. Legs are good. For both chicken and women. <laughs> Rest is a little too simple, don't you think? Legs have a better texture, that too. That's what I'm trying to say, basically. Maybe, but simple is usually better. Rest is, easy to enjoy than, is easier to enjoy than legs. And a lot less messy. No, no, that's not true. I find the breast to be a way, way messier. Cause like you try to, try to eat the breast and it's just, like in like your nose is touching it and, like it's just harder to bite. Like the leg is just you pick it up, bite it, you eat it really quickly, done. You know, it's like that. Hmm, you silly girls. Boss. She's gonna say, like, the head is the best part. I prefer boneless, honestly. Fair. But that- but boneless tends to be, like, mostly, like, fried chicken, right? Because if we're talking about, like, just chicken in general, like, chicken with the bone, whether it's fried, roast, or, like, anything else, or grilled, I guess. I think like the leg is probably the the best part. Boss? You're there talking about breasts and legs when everyone knows the best part are the wings. Have I been talking about the wings this whole time? Hold on. No, I've been I've been talking about no no that, that's No I've been talking no 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 I'm right. I, I have been talking about the breasts. Boss, what's that? Sp spicy chicken wings. Where did you get spicy chicken wings? From a spicy chicken. <laughs> you know, spicy chicken. The shop two blocks from here. Sorry, let me rephrase that. Uh, why are you carrying a bucket of spicy chicken wings? <laughs> why aren't you carrying a bucket of sp spicy chicken wings? Well, because... Eh? Because I'm at work! Come on, Jill! This is the easiest comeback. Thought as much. Yo, Armitage. Alma. I know what I said. Will the chicken you're... Will the chicken you're, take, you're talking about be cooked already? You might need to heat it up. But it'd be cooked otherwise. Great. I expect you here at Sunday at 8pm. Thanks. Anyway. I'll be back. I'll be back to my office. <laughs> Sorry, Godzilla was outside. She left the bucket. <laughs> well, free chicken. Want some? Don't mind if I do. Oh, mild spice. Nice. Weird. Maybe she got a mixed up order. And that's why she left them here. She usually orders stronger stuff. 
I found buckets that make my throat itch just from being near them. Oh. Hmm. Say, Jill. What kind of guys do you like? That's a sudden question. If, I, if I'm grilling, I'm going to buy some chicken breasts without the bone and grill that. I guess. I don't know. I mean, for I feel like for the leg especially, like the bone just kind of has to be there. Like it doesn't get in the way and you can hold it easy. I don't know. I'm not too picky with guys. To be honest, I want them to be decent enough. Not jealous, not aggressive, responsible enough to keep a job. That's no good. Do you like them buff? What about tall? Eggs are okay for most parts of the chicken. I don't like bone. Hmm. I don't like the bone for the breast. Because it's kind of awkward to hold. It's kind of awkward to hold and to bite. And it just makes a mess on your face. Same with the wings, actually. The wings also are kind of messy to... Okay, I, I've... I figured out the difference, but uh, yeah, I just remember what the difference between breast and chick and uh, wings looks like. <laughs> For some reason, I had like the same image in mind, but it applies to both of them. That's not good. Do you like them buff or what about tall? Hmm. No tattoos or piercings, I guess. Never liked either. What about you? I like them well dressed. If they go out. In iron shirts and well-coordinated clothes, they're sure to catch my eye. Some muscle is always fine too, but sharply dressed males catch my attention faster. And yet you're still single. That's how I like my men. My potential husband on the other hand is another matter completely. I see. So, can you get me a drink here? The spicy wings turned out to be spicy. Well, what do I get you? Anything, as long as it helps me with the spiciness in my mouth. Okay. <laughs> hey, you know, fighting spice is fighting fire with fire. Let's get her a bleeding chain. <laughs> a big one. Oh my god, hold on. Three, one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two. Uh, all blended. Mix. Hey, you know, fighting fire with fire, so... Surely a spicy drink will help a lot. Here you go. Jill, I'm this close to throwing it in your face. <laughs> yes! Mission accomplished that. Yes, Jill! Yes! We had the exact same thought. Alright, so next question. That is hilarious. I love that. <laughs> what kind of girl do you like? Ugh. Hmm? You first. I don't think she appreciated that, but I did. <laughs> yup. You and me, Jill. And, and Creamy Melon, I guess. <laughs> Sorry, I don't swing that way. Sure, I have no qualms. But saying a girl is cute or cool, but... Nope, I prefer men in my bed. Now you. Shit. Just calm down. I, I guess I like girls with light colored hair. Light colored hair? Yeah, you know, like redheads and such. What about white? Like your boss. You were just setting me up for that comment, weren't you? <laughs> Sorry. It's just that... Uh... When she got here with the bucket of wings, your eyes pretty much started sparkling. 
Your whole behavior, behavior transformed. You became giddy and cheerful all of a sudden. Hey, I can't blame you. She's pretty nice. I just felt like teasing you. <sighs> so, light colored hair? What about blondes? Do you like me? Yeah, I guess. Let's say I'm into girls too and I start hitting on you. Would you go along with it? Nice body, pretty face. And a good apartment. I would have never let you go. <laughs> okay then. Enough tangents. Why don't you tell me why you were feeling shitty the, uh, these last days? What? Oh, that. I told you not to think too much about it. And I told you I wanna know. Come on, Jill. You've heard my problems so many times, and I wanna help you. Come on, come here. Eh? I told you to sit here, come on. Eh, eh, what? What are you? All right then. Now I'm the bartender and you're the client. <laughs> Hardly. The bartending station only works with me. I see. Okay then. I moved to see. I moved to here. Click here and. Now it works for you, for me, and that dog in a Hawaiian shirt. Why with him too? He's a dog in a fucking Hawaiian shirt. <laughs> right. And how did you even manage to... Oh yeah, hacker, right. Now we've changed... Now we've changed roles. Wait. Did a rabbit just show up on the screen? Is she the infamous hacker? The, like the... <laughs> You've been feeling shitty. Mind telling me why? It's a long story. I don't even know where to start. Start from the beginning. Okay then. It's something that goes back to my college years. Well, that's taking it way back. Back in compulsory education, I never made it too much of an effort, but I managed to get high grades. Even in PE, I managed to do well enough to always get perfect grades. And then, of course, when I got to college, shit started getting hard. I had this perfect... Uh, I had this perfectionic, perf perfectionist streak that wouldn't let me fail anything. Burning my eyelashes, studying... What the fuck? Uh, everyone you have ever talked to in this game is somehow a criminal, probably a big criminal. But they like you, so you're safe. They probably like your boss. But your boss is probably a criminal too. No, no, wait. No, boss is a wrestler, uh, a mascot. He had, she had like 10 jobs, but like who really knows. Dorothy is only a sex worker. She didn't really do anything. She has, she has guns like for hands, but like that's for self defense. Uh, Jill doesn't have a criminal record, as far as I know. Uh, I mean, this. I think Alma, besides hacking, doesn't really. I mean, she might be the hacker. Who knows? Uh. Oh, I guess, um, what was his name? The, the journalist guy. He was a, he, he wasn't a criminal. He was just, he was just a businessman, really. Which, I mean, th there's, the line between businessman and criminal are, it's not, it's very thin, but still. Burning my eyelashes studying, I eventually managed to keep up good grades. After about half of the career, I met a student. I met a student teacher. Her name was Lenore. She helped me a lot with my studies. She even got me into stuff that gave me more credit. I really liked her, and after some time, I found out she liked me too. Oh ho ho! Nurse said they got caught. 
I mean, I don't think most people... Oh yeah, there was also like the... The the weird guy. The... I forgot his name. The, the poet. The, the guy who thinks he's deep. Yeah. We started going out. I met, uh, I met all of her family even, and you want a drink? What? A drink. Around this time, there's usually a pause that makes that makes you offer a drink to the client. There was no such pause. Please, I want to test this whole bartending interface. <sighs> I sugar rush then. You can't mess that up. Right. Welcome back to Alba. <laughs> With the fire. It's just pasted on there. I love that. You know what? I kind of want to purposefully mess it up. Because I don't think... I don't think it really does anything. If... Because uh, if it's Alma doing it, I don't think Jill is going to get much of an issue. Let's... You know what? Yeah, let's mess it up. Let's do a crevice spike. One, two, three, four. One, two. And technically, bartenders aren't allowed to drink. But let's fucking do it anyway. <laughs> let's make Jill drunk. Let's do it. You know what? Let's make it big too. Just oh no wait, but that won't that'll have less room for alcohol. Never mind. Uh all blended. Mix. Cry spike. Serve. Here. Thanks. So, no sugar rush, but this doesn't look like it'll blow up. I have this gut feeling that with your body, you'd make a better bartender than me. You're selling yourself too short. You're cute, you know? People don't go to bars for cuteness, though. Now that I think... How is the audio? I just remembered. Am I... Because I, I feel like I'm getting too close to the mic, and I don't know... If, uh... Oh, let me actually listen to that. Um... Yeah, no. This is way too close. Let me move it back. It was fine where it was before. I don't know why I... I don't think there's any problems, but check your phone. You don't think there's any problems? You're a fucking liar. It was way too fucking close. Let me move it back. Way back. Alright. Hopefully this distance is good. In fact, let's... Yeah, let's just check it again. Alright. Volume. Wait. No, I'm, I'm way behind in the stream. Yeah, okay, this is way better. God damn it, tell me things earlier! You don't go to bars for cuteness, though. You've obviously never been to a, a cat bar then. Uh, besides, my boobs can, besides, my boobs can be a hassle when trying to move around this kind of stuff. That's why I said check yourself. We have a different definition of good. Yeah. You need to watch stream. You, you need to watch like other streams to like to get a good grip on what is good. So keep telling the story. <sighs> well, as the career went on and on, it got harder and harder. The last year and 
The last year and half of it became nothing but study sessions after study session. Investigations. My thesis. When the graduation ceremony came, I had to make a speech and suddenly while reading said speech, I almost had a panic attack. Fear of public speaking? I realized I lost about a year and a half of my life. I tried to remember if I did anything fun at all, but all I could remember was studying and investigating new topics. I didn't even enjoy doing all of that. So I was just standing there and the satisfaction of graduating was minimal. I realized I had only gone through the emotions day after day from high school to graduating. I... I... Felt like a whole years of my life had slipped through my fingers. I never stopped to think if I enjoyed what I was doing. In fact, I never stopped. But at that point I stopped and realized I needed a breather or something. I didn't even like that career. Oh wait, did I even like that career? It was all terrifying as hell. I needed all of my strength to not start running like a panicked mess. Hmm. <sighs> so a couple of months later I get an offer to start working at this big research facility. Lenore was ecstatic. She was so proud of me back then. But I was just scared. That would be my job. I'd spend my life expanding on what I did during that year and, and a half. What if I had a sudden realization like the one I had at graduation, but when I turned 40? I didn't know what to do, but I sure as hell wasn't taking that offer. I told Lenore and she freaked out. She confessed that she was jealous because she never got into she never got such a chance. Things evolved pretty quickly. Uh, she said one too many things. I said one too many things. In the end, we just stormed out of her house. I, I just stormed out of her house. And I broke a vase in the process. After that, I never spoke to her again. Damn. I'm sorry, I... I suddenly feel bad for pushing you to tell me all that. Why are you feeling shitty about that after all this time, though? Unless you've been feeling shitty for years. I have, but it's not just because of that. Eh? The other day, Lenora's sister, Gabrielle, came to this bar. Apparently, apparently, Lenora died last week. Localized nanomachine rejection. A heart attack. Apparently... She had it for a long time, but never told anyone. And I coincidentally... And coincidentally, it got worse after I left. And I just can't stop thinking about it. Wondering if me being there would have made a difference. And if it's true, she had... And if, she, and if it's true she had that for a long time, why didn't she tell me she was sick when we were together? I don't know. I just feel like all kinds of failure. Jill. And to make it worse, I also lashed out at Gabby. Yeah, she was blaming me for her sister's death and all, but... She's just a kid for fuck's sake. She's lost a sister who's pretty m who pretty much raised her, own raised her on her own. <coughs> Finally it came out. Oh my god, I've had that in for like who knows how long. And on top of it all, and to top it all off, I suddenly can't remember what stopped me from apologizing. Pride? Fear? A stupid effort to leave the most awesome person I loved as a thing of the past? Who cares? I lost my chance to apologize to her forever. Truly forever. I'm such a piece of shit. A selfish piece of shit. I honestly don't know what to say. I... I didn't expect the story to be this. I... Yo, boob tender. Y yes? Can you get me a big beer here? Coming right up. Big beer, big beer, big beer. What makes a beer big in this thing?
What if I fuck it up? Just... Wait. Okay, I can't serve it. Um... One, two... One, two, three, four... One, two... One... Two... Wait. Yeah. Three, four... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All mixed. Beer. Big beer for Jill. Thanks. I need to remember to take care of the cans in my apartment. Do you drink lots of beer? One of the peaks of the BTC issued uh, liver implant is that I drink lots of beer without getting too wasted. Oh. Hey Jill, what kind of girl was Lenore? Hmm? Well, she was calm and smart. Back in college, I was too thick-headed and got riled up easily. Stressed was my default state. So, just like you're- So, just like you're behaving right now. Shut up, I was worse. Can't picture that. Don't, it's embarrassing. Anyway, she was always there finding a way to cool me down. She was also able to hold conversation about pretty much any- she was also able to hold conversation about pretty much any topic. One time I saw her go from uh, talking about video games to talking about sports. All of that variety while still being a hardcore scientist. She would always push me into social interactions. If she saw me by myself, she would drag me with her. Watching people is fine, but talking to them is better, she would say. Lenore would always present me to her, uh, her many acquaintances as the girl I don't mind cuddling with for hours. Ah, <sighs> man, I'm gonna miss her. After a point, I didn't even think about getting back into a relationship with her, but... She was such an awesome person. I just wanted to apologize, and now... <sighs> you know... It's a cruel twist of irony. She's the one that made me pick up bartending. Oh? Back when I was thinking what the hell to do with my life, I remember a night we spent in a club. She started talking about how the drinks were synthesized, the, chemi the chemistry involved, the reactions and all that. Everything sounded so fascinating. I remember saying uh, that her talk made me want to start mixing drinks. She said, if, I, if everything else fails, why not take up bartendering? Huh, interesting. Are you okay? For some value of okay, yeah. It's just... I wanted to thank you, Alma. Thank me? I guess I just needed someone to tell all of this to. And you're and you were the one. You volunteered yourself, you insisted on listening to me. You stood there listening to the whole thing from beginning to end. I know I might not be the most expressive person. That I'm not one to that I'm not one to spell love and fluffiness, but I really like you. Maybe I'm just a bartender and you're just a client. But I really appreciate your friendship. Or at the very least your patronage. Pa patronage. Pa patronage. Uh, I really enjoy working for you. Jill, are you dying? <laughs> Shut up, I'm trying to have a heart to heart here. Sorry, sorry. It's just... It's weird for you to get so sappy. Well, I just realized that the saddest thing is how I'll never be able to make amends. And it hurts like fucking hell, you know? 
I never, and I mean never, want to feel that way ever again. I don't want someone to suddenly exit my life and have my last, last memory of them involve something nasty. I don't want the, ling the lingering grief of having burnt a Brit. <clears throat> Sorry, the drink still. I don't want the lingering grief of having burnt a bridge on a whim. I want to avoid that at any cost. And if it means breaking character every once in a while, so be it. I'll let everyone know how I really feel about them. And if I ever fight with them, I'll show my pride, master all the courage I can and be the one to apologize. I hate feeling like this. Hate it, hate it. <laughs> That's a nice resolution. Maybe I'll be a copycat and do the same. Alright, enough sappiness. Get back here. I'm on duty, you know. Fine. It's almost closing time anyways. It was fun while it lasted, though. Hey. Yeah? I, I mean it, you know? Thanks for everything today. Silly Jill, you listen to my problems and I listen to yours. That's what friends are for, right? Right. I'll be leaving now. I'll be perfect yet. Did you ever talk about all this with your parents? They know the basics, but I haven't told them about Lenore's death yet. Why don't you do that sometime? I don't know. I don't want to, do to bother them with my problems. Don't be silly. They're your parents. They live to share your problems. You should try having a talk like this with them sometime. They'll appreciate it. Anyways, I'm out. See you on Sunday. Take care. That Alma girl sure, sure is nice. Ah, oh, boss. Did you hear all that? Not all of it. But a good chunk at the very least. Your expression changed a lot already. It did? You look happier. That's always good. Anyway, let's call it a day. I expect an even brighter an even brighter Jill tomorrow. Right. Oh yeah, boss, about those chicken wings. Fucking idiots at the spicy chicken. Sorry, Dana. We won't have enough spices for your order until tomorrow, they said. Is that how the is that how they treat the regulars? No. Call the manager. No. Boss? <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Cherish titty hacker, she's a good friend. <laughs> and that gives an extra 300? Why? <laughs> Plus service bonus not granted. It's because I fucked up with, with Alma. Oh well. Your account was charged 8,000 as paying for your electricity bill. Have a nice day. Just why didn't get cut. This gives her peace of mind. And now she'll focus at work with no problem. Have a nice day. Um, funds, 6,000. It's not the 14,000 I had before, but eh, it's something. Alright, where's my fucking headphones? Um... There you go. Uh, Bill paid. Didn't you have a boyfriend named Bill? <laughs> cool. Alright, go to work. Is the BRB still up? Yes, it is. Fuck. <laughs> it's a good thing I check these things sometimes. Sometimes, only sometimes. Good evening. Ah, uh, hey Jill. How are you feeling? I won't say good, but... Not that bad, I guess. That's nice to hear. <coughs> Where's Jill? Did you run away again? Nah. I have an errand duty. Buying the drinks for tomorrow. That sounds weird. Coming from the owner of, the, of a bar. That sounds weird coming from the owner of a bar. Every drink from here uh, would come out of his own 
If we are both uh, too long, I would have told you. I guess. Sometimes I can't trust that there is even somebody in chat. And like that YouTube, that, that counter on top, that YouTube counter that says how many viewers there are, I can never be too sure. I can't be too sure that that number is accurate. And it just changed too, it went down, fuck. Well, every drink from here would uh, come out of our own funds. So, if we're gonna spend money, we might as well get more variety. Besides, those kinds of walks are always good for Jill. You're the boss. I just realized, how many chapters are in this game? Alright. Uh, well... How... Uh... Chapter... How many chapters in this game? 12 hours to get one ending. Three chapters and 19 days. Okay, so that's not too bad. I can probably finish it either today or tomorrow. If not today, definitely tomorrow. If I keep playing it as I have been doing, like, today. Who's coming so far? Well, there's the three of us, the dogs, you invited Titty Hacker, Jill, Jill invited Jamie. Oh yeah, I also invited Dorothy when I called her to spend the night with you. Sounds good so far. Invite anyone else you feel like inviting, the more the merrier. I could, uh, but I bet everyone's made plans by this point. That's true. I'll be in my office. Call me should anything arise. Alright. Hmm. Um. Let's have this. Yeah, let's keep it like this. Time to drink. Yeah, time to mix drinks and change lives. Google says it takes 11 to 18 hours to beat. Sounds about right. Wait here. I'll check inside. Welcome to Valhalla. Oh, a BTC bar. Oh my god. The the green head girl, she's giving me like hermit vibes. You know, it, uh, I don't know who's watching Eden Zero right now, but there's a character called Hermit. She looks exactly like that. Hold on, let me... Hermit Eden's Zero. No, no, wait, that's the Hermit is the Miku character. Hold on. Who was um Fuck. No, Hermit is someone else. Who who is who is that I was talking about? Um Kurine, right. That's not how you spell. Kurine. Um Eden's Zero. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, yeah, clean it. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, I'm without the... Let me see if OBS even lets me fucking show this. Uh, way too big. Way too big, but I think it worked. No, it didn't. Or did it? No, that's alerts. Fuck. Uh. Just go just Google, uh, clean it instead, oh, and you'll 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 see. She looks almost exactly like that, though. Holy shit. Oh, BTC bar. Excuse me. Do you know, uh, where the Athena Convention Center is? Why does that place make people get lost so easily? They should have called it the Min the Minotaur Center. Hold on, uh, let me scribble the directions on paper. Thanks. Uh, go to the right. 
When you see a building filled with hobos. This should be it. Thanks a lot. Anything else I can help you with? Um, nah, what the hell. I'll have a drink. What about you? Um, a brandini, please. Right. The girl asked for a brandini. The little freaks me out. Uh, uh, brandini. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, one. All aged, mixed. Here you are. Thanks. That's an interesting uh, outfit in this cold season, miss. Well, I'm actually cosplaying, so call me Vela for the time being. And your Lilim friend is... Essentia. I get it, you're cosplaying too. That would explain a lot, to be fair. Sure, let's go with that. Have you heard of a game called... Uh... YIIK Bartender? That cult classic game... That has seen like three remastered versions made by six different companies this year. That one. We're going to cosplay. Uh, we're going in a cosplay group dedicated to it. And we got lost on the way. I heard you talking to someone outside. Oh yeah, our friend is cosplaying as Alex. I told him to wait outside. Shouldn't he enter? He'll be fine. Something amiss? There's a girl behind you. Short hair, black sitter uniform, missing an arm. Wearing jeans under a skirt. Now, now, don't spook the bartender. Spook? Ahem. <clears throat> Anything else? I'll get a fluffy dream and be on my way. And you? I'm fine. Fluffy dream. One, two, three. One, two, three. And let's just fill this with Karma Trine. Um. Serve. Here. Yep, this is the thing. Damn. I got dizzy pretty fast. I better stop here. Now that I think about it, just who are you, um, Essentia? Isn't she your friend? I guess? I don't know. I just kind of met her in a convention, and she's stuck with me ever since. She also seems off, like... She's missing something, or thinking too much. Interface. Slow synchronization. Well, I won't hold you any longer. We should go. Goodbye. Please, come again. Why the hell are you on the floor? Tased? By the vending machines? I wonder if he said something to piss off Dee Dee or Gogo. -Go. Black sailor uniform. I hope I'm just overthinking it. More importantly though, jeans under a skirt. Welcome to Valhalla. Oh, hey Dorothy. Oh, hi honey. Are you okay? I just kind of wandered in here. I guess I'm a bit distracted. Can Lilith just wander? Can I get you something? Oh, uh, a sugar rush. Yeah, that. Right. Uh, sugar rush.
Uh, make room for the alcohol just to get her drunk and fess up. Sugar rush. One sugar rush. Thanks. Seeing her down is so weird. Damn, everyone is down now. What the fuck? So much silence. By the way, thanks for staying with me the other day. Turns out I really needed that. So, did you enjoy the soda? Oh, did you find that one out? Was it supposed to be a secret? No, but don't go around telling everyone about that. I did it because it was you who needed my help. Uh, but a hog night is usually one of my most expensive services. It is? Hey, I don't know if the client has body odor or anything like that. Not to mention it limits the chances of getting any other client that night. Still, did it help? Yeah, it helped me cool down a lot. So, from what Dana told me, someone close to you died, right? Yeah. Do you want to know more about it? Do you want to tell me about it? I brought it up enough times already, I think. No problem then. You were sad and that's all I need to know. Sorry for the loss though, I mean it. Thanks. Although, I've wondered for a while, do you Lilim really understand death? Sorta, kinda. A whole data- Ugh. Our whole database is constantly being backed up in a collective source. Even if our bodies are destroyed, we can be deployed again with our personality and, mem and memories intact. So... Our concept of mortality might be different. We do have a fear of death though. You do? We can't even begin to understand the idea of not being redeployed. While we have built in warnings, the mere idea of that nothingness is paralyzing. There are a few things I don't mind that I that don't mind it. But we do fear death and we don't wish it on anyone. In fact, that was the argument used for abolishing the whole three laws thing. You seem quite knowledgeable about robot history. Seeing what others have done uh, to make sure I can live like, like I do helps me not take things for granted. Seriously though, those laws were bullshit. Can't harm humans, can't disobey humans unless it's about hurting them. Can't disobey humans unless- oh, okay. Uh, it, it took me a while to process that, but yeah, no, that makes sense. And you can't protect yourself as long as it doesn't harm humans. I mean, sure. The first AIs were just helpers and tools. But how could those laws still apply to them after they were achieved- after they achieved self-awareness? Who in their right mind would abide only by rules inscribed in some old book? If I remember correctly, those were on the those were only the distilled version of the laws some writer imagined over a hundred years ago. They were a reduced version of all his ideas. However, many authors afterwards took to them like they were the very laws of physics or something. And like many other things, uh, people distill and exaggerate uh, what they need uh, and use it to their favor. Wow, you're a nerd. Look who's talking. Let's change the subject a bit though. Mood's getting gloomy. Your apartment is very comfy, you know? The tad's small though, sorry about that. And your cat is so cute. What was his name again? Foray. Why Foray? Uh, I fig. 
I figured if he ever got lost, at least I would be able to yell for it. It happened once. You'd be surprised by how many golf players you run into. And every time you play with him, you can say that it's for play. Oh, so it's four. Oh, okay. Never mind. I've been, I, I was unsure whether it was four or four, eh? And so, yeah. All right. Four play. He, 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 he. Huh, yeah. He was also named after someone. Really? Who? A little kid that wanted to transcend. What? A movie character or something? Sure, let's go with that. Do you want anything else? Hmm. Let's go with a blue fairy. Alright. Fairy, where are you going? Uh, blue fairy tail. One, two, three, four. Let's make it large too. Why not? One, two. And drunk as shit. Uh, all aged mix. Blue fairy. Here. Why did they call it a blue fairy? Is it because of Pinocchio? I believe the name is based on is it is based off uh absinthe, which some called the green fairy. The first version of the drunk were described as sweeter absent. I'm dead tired. I'm dead tired. Good night. See you in the morning. All right. Good night. Sadly, they had to fix the formula because people were turning green. Not blue. A bluish green. You seem to have cheered up a bit there. Yeah. Talking to you always helps me uh, get my mind off things. Hey, there's something I've wondered for a while now. What? What kind of friends do you have? I mean... Are they in your same line of work or... Friends? Aside from you? Thank you. Hmm, well... There's Lawrence. That vending machine is a lot of fun to be with. Once you get past his... Quirkiness, that is. I've also met a lot of nice people working with the in the streets. From the top of my head, I can think about... Nightingale, another Lilim. He changed himself to have fur and a more wolf-like face. Uh, he's also a pretty good pianist. He plays in a jazz band on the weekends. There's also Nadira, a drag queen, and the owner of a club I've been invited to a few times. She has an animal shelter on the side. I help her with I help her with it occasionally. Oh, there's also a sister Clementine, a nun from an orphanage. I also go there sometime and play with the kids. Whoa, that's something I didn't expect to hear. I also almost got adopted once. I was flattered, but it was weird. Oh, and it turns out I already knew your boss. Some years ago, she... She what? What? I said too much. Client, client confidenti co confidentiality and all that. <laughs> boss? Um... Well, enough tangents. Why were you gloomy in the first place? Gloomy? When you came in, I don't know if gloomy is the right word, but you were pretty quiet and you were pretty quiet at the very least. And knowing how you normally are, it was pretty weird. Oh, don't worry about that. Just had one too many things going in my, uh, going in my mind. I wasn't gloomy or anything, more like distracted, really. Well, I think I'll go now. Well, I think I'll go now. Thanks for lending me an ear, honey. 
My boss told you about the party tomorrow, right? Yep. I wouldn't dare to miss that. Okay, then. Alright, then. See you tomorrow. Good luck. Thanks. And that's that. Boss, I'll be taking my break. Alright. Safe to keep playing. <sighs> I need to remember to buy more cigars. I'll keep it the same. Back, did I miss something? Unless you count the worst P uh, PPV main event flight i've seen all year no not really not not really no all right going out i'll have a word with gogo -Go outside he was so hyped for that match he must be devastated okay welcome to valhalla oh hi say good evening jill how are you doing the nightmares have stopped, so I'm sleeping better. Ahem. <laughs> um, how are your in- how about your injuries? My bones are healing nicely. My wounds finally closed. The scars itch a bit, though. Well, that's good to hear. Are you by yourself today? Yeah, I'm running a couple of errands. Uh, a couple of errands by myself today. But I wanted to come here for a while. I also noticed the big guy from last time is outside. Buster? Stella doesn't uh, want me being alone while I'm still healing, so she suggested taking him with me. Ah, I see. What can I get you? Something cold. Sure. Something cold for say. Um... I can't get her this. Sour drink. What about Zen Star? Yeah, Zen Star. Let's do it. Two, three, four. One, 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 two, three, four. Ice and mixed. Serve. Here. Yeah, this is the one. Why drink something cold when the weather outside is so cold too? It's not that cold actually. But I've always had a decent tolerance for the cold, so I'm not a good reference. So Stella isn't with you today? She's throwing a mega Christmas party tomorrow. And is having a meeting today. I'm just... Uh... Helping, uh, I'm just helping her by checking on some of the things she ordered. And here I was, all ready to invite you to the party we're throwing tomorrow. You're throwing a party too? Sorry about that. Can't really say no to Stella. Maybe next time? If there's a next time at all. Don't worry about it. It's not that big of a deal. I, I want you to know that I want you to have a good time. Have fun. Drink a couple of beers in your honor. <laughs> I will then. What are Stella's Christmas parties like? They're really big. There's lots of food and drinks and music. Sometimes there's too much food though. So at the end of the party, she just lets the staff take home whatever's left. She also buys toys for all the children of her staff members. Really? She said something about taxes or whatever, but during the whole thing, she just shines. She carries a beaming smile that I don't see any other day of the year. Many of the kids have even started calling her Auntie Ella. <laughs> Stella always does her best to put up uh, a tough girl facade 
But she's very much in touch with her inner child. Christmas, Easter, Halloween, name a party and she'll most likely celebrate it. And she most likely celebrates it big. Interesting. Do you like parties, Jill? I don't mind them. They're a good place to see people. I'm not one to actively look for parties to attend, though. I just don't mind going to them. Ah, I see. I only go to parties that Stella is attending, because otherwise I just stand there without anything to say. That and I'm not one to wear dresses, you know? You're not? I'm a tad too ripped. They don't look cute on me. I mean, yeah, she is she is ripped. Just just look at that. Just look look at that. Not her breast. Just just look at her arm. Just look at that. Look at that shit. Look at that. Maybe look at her breast too, because she she's got some she's got some muscle here as well. But damn that arm. Although with all this healing I have to do, I won't be as fit for a while. They're too, um, breezy too. I feel like I'm wearing nothing. But I bet you'd look good in a dress, Jill. It's been years since I, I last wore one. I wouldn't know. Last time I wore one, I remember wearing my arms were too thin or something like that. We all have a complex, huh? I mean, even Stella has her own. That's hard to imagine. Oh, but she does... She does have one. She distresses a lot about her bust size. Really? She's not that small. I think I'm smaller than her, in fact. Actually, it's the opposite. The opposite kind of complex, I mean. She's a bit self-conscious about having a, bis a big chest. Really? Again, I've seen bigger chests than hers, to be honest. Although, I guess comparisons are useless here. They rarely help with complexes. Well, she does go the extra mile to hide it. In fact, I have no idea how she does it. I mean, I've seen... I've seen her before and uh, after she talks them away, but... I guess I never cared enough to ask the specifics. That's also why, when she goes out, she styles her hair in those, um, drills. They look a bit drilly, don't they? She styles her hair like that to help divert attention away from her chest. She seems, uh, affluent enough. Why not go through a reduction surgery? Because she also kind of likes having that size. She takes her bus size after her mom, and uh, Miss Carmine is quite proud of her chest. Puffing out your chest is a sign of confidence, and a bigger chest means more confidence to show. She says something along those lines a lot. Stella has uh, quite the admiration for her mom, so I guess bread reduction would feel like betraying her. Huh. I'm making it sound like she's hiding J-cups or something like that. I guess in a smaller or, th or, or thicker person, her size would be normal. She's just a bit shorter or thinner than her than the norm. Do you get self-conscious about your bus size, Jill? Not really. I've been more self-conscious about my weight. Although it usually comes up when uh whenever not being average height hinders me somehow. What about you? Yes and no? It's not my bus size, but rather that I look too manly sometimes. And I can't help but wonder if bigger booze would help with that. You're fine, don't worry. Thank you. To be fair, if you do cover up her body, she looks like pretty normal. But then you uncover it and it's like... Yeah. <laughs> It, can, it looks more uncanny than anything else. Can get you anything else? Hmm. Do you have something non-alcoholic? I do, give me a sec. Something non-alcoholic for say. 
Crevice Spike is an alcoholic. Yeah, it's optional. Okay. One, two, one, two, three, four. Uh, yep. Yeah. All blended. Come on, blend. Cry Spike. Here. Thanks. You're not much. You not want to drink that much alcohol, are you? It makes me feel sleepy, or at the very least, it makes my leg go numb. It's an annoying feeling, to be honest. It makes me wonder what's so good about getting drunk, escaping your problems. It it works a little too well. I mean, I'm not above it, but it's not exactly a pleasant feeling. You feel like you're sleepy even when you're not. Your legs go numb. Everything starts sounding funnier than it really is. What's so good about not being able to control yourself? That's a good question, actually. Usually people like feeling numb because that numbness helps them forget their problems. Even if we don't talk about alcohol, there's a portion of people that can't afford food. Food, or who are suffering from some pain that only alleviates when drunk or high. It doesn't really sound. It doesn't sound really logical on paper, but then again, humans are rarely, if ever, logical creatures. Despair and, and pain uh, cloud your judgment and make you do stupid things sometimes. Yeah, I've seen that firsthand. This world has an ugly side nobody deserves to be a part of. Ahem. <clears throat> There's also a matter of addiction, you know? You start just liking the drink, but then you need more of it, and before you know it, you're hooked. Oh yeah, that too. So tell me, what kind of party are you guys throwing? Nothing fancy. It'll just be me, Boss, Gil, and a couple of regulars. They'll bring food, we'll chat for a while, and that's it. Man, that sounds so good. At least better than the whole plan planning madness Stella is throwing right now. If you ever throw something like that again, uh, you, you let me know, you hear? Sure. Hey, say. Yeah? What do you plan on doing now? I'm gonna check uh, one last errand before going home. No, I mean, what do you plan on doing now? With the white knights disbanded and all. To be honest, I don't know. I never prepared a plan B because I figured... If you can go with a plan B, why don't you just make it the plan A? I'm not the brightest person, so I never graduated from college or even high school. I could go for a position with the police. But it wouldn't be as thrilling. I'm tired of blatant corruption. Sick of it. Oh. But I'm alive. Hmm? I learned something after that hell in Apollo... Uh, that hell in Apollo trust. Life is not something that you can just throw away easily. Clawing my way out of that place made me realize just how much I want to be alive. The body count left in the bank was ridiculous, but I'm still here. I don't know what I'll do, but I'm alive. I'll figure it out sooner or later. That's nice to know. Well, I gotta go. Bye, Jill. Good luck with the party. Please come again. Welcome to Valhalla. Oh, hi, Mr. Detective. Ah, hey there, girl. Give me a strong drink, won't you? Alright. Something strong for Mr. Detective. Perhaps something manly? Like type. Manly. Just give him a gut punch. And then just a bunch of alcohol because yes. Cool. All aged. And mixed. Got punch. Here you go. Yes, this'll do. So, Bright, what brought you here? Nothing special. I was just 
working on a case and I happen to be in the area. What kind of work? Tracking someone. A gun for hire. What about the girl? Crimson something. I'm tracking that girl. Didn't you just get out of that job? I did, but the guy offered a huge amount of money and, well, I just couldn't refuse again. Well, it's your life, not mine. I wonder though... There has to be more to that whole thing than just acting as a middleman to look for some murder. Hmm. Say, how safe is this place? We're protected by the BTC property laws. The walls are soundproof. And I really couldn't give less of a shit about selling info to someone. Okay then. Wait, soundproof walls, why? Do you see those vending machines outside? They're quite talkative. The bastards... The bastards. It'd be annoying without those balls. Alright then. Have you heard of a... Uh, Lord Lance Lavender? Nope. He's some big name from... Uh... Panyavania. His blood apparently has some... Weird reaction to Glitch City's... Nano machines. Once in contact with the air, it does nothing. But if still fresh and touching someone's blood, the nanomachines will initiate a reaction. Essentially, they'll just eat through the other person's body until there's nothing left. They're using him as a guinea pig to see what causes that reaction. And if it could be used as a... If, if, it, if it could be used to fight an animachine rejection. Uh-huh. Well, turns out the Crimson Rose is his daughter. She left years ago to earn her living here. And he hasn't seen her ever since. He could be lying, you know. Doubt it. I did my research. She really is his daughter. Why didn't you figure that out earlier? I had no clue who was making the contract, and tracking all the messages to the source would have been too co costly. Knowing who the sender is was made. Knowing who the sender was, sender was made things easier. I see. Can I get you anything else? Hmm. What about a col cobalt velvet? Okay. All on the rocks. And mixed. There you go. Here you are. Oh, you actually did it. Were you expecting me to mess up so you didn't have to pay? N no. So what made you accept the contract anyway? Keeping in mind all the risks you told me last time. He told me he wanted to see her again one last time. Or at the very least deliver her a message. He could have been lying. Yes, people lie. You made your point. Even then, I feel like I couldn't say no. I mean... I know what it's like not being able to find your daughter. What it's like to be apart from her. Not knowing uh, what she's doing or even if she's alright. You do? I have a daughter. She's about your age. When she was a teen, we had a big fight and she ran away from home. At first, I just waited for her to show up, but then I started getting worried and went out to find her. And I couldn't find any traces of her. Nobody had seen her. Soon I was worried if something might have happened to her. I guess that's how my tracking skills and lists of contacts began to grow. I finally found her, being covered in some dumpster, unconscious from starvation. So yeah, I just couldn't say no to this request of, find, of uh, finding his daughter. But I don't expect you to understand. So how's the, how's the search going? 
I'm very close to finding her. That girl's pretty good at covering her tracks. Compared to the her from before, the bank incident, though, she seems slower somehow. Either she's let her guard down or something else is happening. What will you do when you find her? I have this letter I'm supposed to deliver to her. I don't know what it says. I don't want to find out. What if she tries to kill you? I might not look it, but I can take care of myself, bartender. You don't stay so long in this business without picking up a couple of tricks. Yeah, I guess you're right. Okay, I better go back to work before her show gets called. Please come again. Are you done? Yeah. Okay then. When you're here tomorrow at 8 p.m. No working beforehand. The bar will be closed tomorrow. Come dressed come dressed in your absolute best. We're having a party after all. Alright. Where's Jill by the way? He stored all of our things in his home because of how close it was to the stores. So I told him to go home already and bring the stuff tomorrow. I see. Well, see you tomorrow, boss. Hold on, wait a bit. And I'll go with you. Oh, sure, thanks. No, this small party is what you need. Hmm. Mega Chris... Merry Mega Christmas. Let's ce celebrate Santa's resurrection. As the Mega Santa that saves saved Christmas from the Redmonds. Happy holidays. Um what if I I mean, I have money to spend, right? I might as well. Um. Oh, cost too much. Oops. Well. Shit. Well, I thought I had enough to buy, but, uh, no. Also, it does change the thing. That's so cool. Changes, uh, the room. That's cool. I like that. I like that a lot. Well, I never actually tried, but just clicking on things. No, it doesn't. I kind of disappointed. I was kind of hoping it would do something. To click on anything. Guess not. Oh well. A party then? I'll bring you leftovers. Okay. I'm gonna take a break for like a, a few minutes. I'll be right back after like what? Like only a couple minutes. I won't be out for long. What is up, motherfuckers? Just. Just thought I just thought I'd do that. Alright. Time to play some Oh okay, there you go. Let's go. Time for the party. It's time to party. Good evening. Jill. I told you to come in the nicest clothes you have. You came in your uniform. These are the nicest clothes I have with me. Besides, you and Jill are in your uniforms too. Well, I can't really show up in casual clothing. I'm being monitored. <clears throat> what about the kilt that you wore that one time? I'm still surprised that one didn't break the dress code somehow. And you, Jill? I don't have that many clothes to begin with. You people depress me. Well, everything's in place back there. 
Ah, Alma's here. You know, there was a time when people greeted others before saying stuff like that. Come on, Jill, greet her properly. Welcome to Va- oh, Wait. <laughs> Man, if that's not a- if that's not a sign you need to ease up on the work, I don't know what is. Shut up, it's become a reflex. Wait, Alma. Wait, Alma also came in her casual attire. Why aren't you saying anything to her? Ribbed sweaters get a free pass. Why? Silly question, never mind. <laughs> Jamie came earlier too. The dogs went with him to get some ice. Don't we have ice? Trying to take it out of the bartending station is a chore, so it's better to buy some outside. Huh. What were you doing back there, Alma? Setting up the food warmer. The what? I bought it three days ago. It's amazing. Looks like it just... It looks like just a set of wires, but... You can create a frame with them. Put the food inside it, press a press a button, watch as it warms the food up, just like a microwave. It's an inf it's an infomercial bob bobble though. Really useful but tricky to handle at the same time. One wrong move, and we'll be out of food for the night. Everything will be scorched in a second. Oh. So you've bought infomercial stuff too. Haven't you? It's at the very least a good idea for gifts. Well... Dynamic entry! Finally, at least somebody came, in, came after me. Is it weird that I've already heard that three times in the last hour? Oh, don't be like that. She's not saying it out of malice or anything. She's just She just found it funny. You're taking her side now? Jealous? You wish. Don't need to fight. You don't need to fight for me. We're not. I'll go check the microwave wires thingy. I'm starting to get hungry. Great idea. Back. Oh. And hello, Jill. Soldier, you're late. Hey, Jay. See? That's how you greet people. You shut it. I, I'll go help Bell. Um, uh. I'll go help Sweater Pups. Something wrong? She's not good with dogs. Oh. Alright, we're all here. So we can start. Uh, yo, a courage. Alma. I know what I said. How's the food doing? It's doing well, but it'll take a bit. Can't you speed it up? I've used those microwave wire thingies before. It's either warm nicely but slowly or burn that bitch. So how long? 15 minutes or so. A bell will ring uh, when the time comes. We need to kill some time then. Hmm. Alright, let's play Trooper there. What? I'll pass. Games are for kids. I'm in! Sure, I'll play. Sounds fun. Uh, as long as that mud stays away from me. That'll make the time pass faster. I'll p- You'll play. <laughs> so much for fucking freedom. Alright then, rules are simple. If you get picked, you pick either truth or dare. 
After you finish, you get to pick somebody else. We go like that until food's done. What about punishment games? Those are a hassle. Just issue new questions or challenges until the other person complies. That said, Jill. Yes? You start. Pick someone. Oh, um... Let's see... Click on the portrait of the person you want to pick. Um... Let's do... You know what? Best boy. Okay then, dog. Yes! I dare you to go out and stay there. <laughs> That's easy. <laughs> and that's one problem less. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> oh shit. On. Well, why don't we continue in the dog's place? Dorothy. Alright. I dare you, Dana, to pick up honey and carry and carry her like a bride. All right. Wait, what? Come, Joe, get up. You're welcome. Oh, shut up. Okay, then, Jill. Yes? Truth or dare? Uh, dare? I want you to say... Yes? How can a clam cram in a clean cream can? Hold on. How can a clam cram in a clean cream can? Almost, almost. How can a clam cram in a clean cream can? Yeah, uh, that, that's good enough. Yeah? It's a tongue twister, say it. How can a clam cram in a clean cream can? Hold on. How can a clam cram in a clean cream clam can? Fuck. Faster. How can a... How can a clam cram in a... Yeah, fuck it. I'm, I'm done. You make it seem so easy. How can a clam clam... Damn. How can a clam cram in a clean... Cream... Ah. How can a cra... Oops. Wait, let them get confused by tongue twisters? Um, boss? Yes. You can drop me now. Oh, right. I wonder how long until the food is then. Click on the pro portrait, uh... Alright, boss, pick. Truth me. How did you get your arm? On second thought, dare me. <laughs> Lift the guilt by the neck of his shirt. <laughs> okay. Eh? <laughs> what? Happy? I guess. Who cares? I didn't hear about your arm. <laughs> I do. I care. Alright, Gil. Now that I have you in this position, answer me. I didn't pick. <laughs> You're in no position to pick. <laughs> now answer. <laughs> Did you live in Scotland for two years? Scotland? No. I guess that rules out a couple of possibilities. Um, Chief? What? Oh, right, I'm still lifting you, sorry. And now she apologizes. I guess it's my turn? Hey, hey, Alma, truth or dare? Hmm, dare. Ooh, ooh, I have a suggestion. You stay quiet. Fine. Hmm. How strong is it? how strong are those arms of yours? It's still my muscles under them, so not very. Although not having fleshy skin makes things easier. Wait, that's truth, not there. I just wanted to make sure. I dare you to break this. Break this nut with your hands. Okay. Well, that was easy. Holy shit, Jill. Are you really into that? Eh? 
asking a woman to break a nut in her hand and then watching her eat it? Does that turn you on? <laughs> wait, wait. Is this an actual thing that turns guys on? I need to know for professional reasons. You're a pervert, Gilbert. <laughs> Jill. Wait, that was close this time. My turn then, alright? Hey Jill, pick. Um, truth. Okay then, what's your most embarrassing childhood dream? Um, elaborate. For example, when I was a girl, I wanted to be a professional puzzle master. I guess in a way I accomplished that, but you understand. I wanted to be a ventriloquist. Huh? When I was a child, I liked this show called Lucia's Funhouse. The one, uh, the one with the, mom, the with the woman in the house with the talking duck with, with the the one with the woman in the house with the talking stuff. That one. My parents divorced when I was around six, I think. My mom was on tour with an orchestra, and my dad was working constantly. I spent a lot of time with my grandpa, but he slept a lot, so. I was on my own most of the time. I like to pretend things like chairs or beds could talk. And since AI wasn't so advanced back then... Anyway, I went to a magic show once. And there was this guy making a puppet talk. My dad told me he was a ventriloquist. So I... I... Kind of obsessed about wanting to be one. Even today... Even today, I'd be lying if I said I don't think about it every now and then. So that's why you pretend four, four can talk. She what? Nothing. I'm getting hungry. Person you want to pick? Um. You know what? Dorothy hasn't had a turn in a while. Okay, then Dorothy. There. Do something freaky. Like removing my head? Removing your... Because I can remove my head with no problem. Do you want me to remove my head? I'll pass. I'll take your word for it. Anyone want to see that? No. No thank you. I do, but... <laughs> it's not gonna be the party pooper here. But I'm not gonna be the party pooper here. Fine. I guess it's my turn now. Hey Dana, what do you pick? I'll pick truth. If you had to marry Honey or John, who would it, who would you pick? Hmm. Probably Jill. Eh? I mean, she's cute. She's smart. And I... And I kind of own Jill anyway, so it's kind of redundant. <laughs> I don't know which one hurts more. Well, no, obviously that one hurts. Obviously... Joe with a G hurts more. Hurts more, obviously. What am I saying? Speaking of Joe, truth, truth or truth, fuck boy. <laughs> Pick one for me. <laughs> well, where were you born? I don't really know. It's one of those things I can't remember, or was never informed about. Strangely, I do remember an early childhood in the Arctic of all places. The Arctic, huh? Just huh? A bell? Food's ready. Finally. Let's go. You guys go ahead. I have a quick smoke outside. Careful. True for there, huh? It was fun, I guess. Hey! Ah, I'll... I mean, hello. A bit late for the hello, don't you think? Want one? You know I don't smoke. True. Are you leaving already? Yeah, technically we celebrated Mega Christmas yesterday. But I just got a message that Diana is making a ruckus, so I gotta leave. Good luck with that. Speaking of ruckus, how have you been doing? 
fine, I guess. All of this has helped keep my mind off things for a while. <sighs> Is it weird to feel the absence of someone you had no contact with whatsoever for the last three years? Uh, ask Katsusha. Ask Katsusha, or any of the old literature maidens whose spouse went to war types. I mean, even if you had no contact with her, maybe she was constantly on your mind. If you tweak the circumstances, it's not that different from one of you going to war, I guess. Well, although the circumstances make me not want to, I've got to go. Be careful out there. Oh yeah, you should take the chance and spend this time with everyone inside, don't you think? Yeah, she's right. Hey, Jill's back. Oh? Um, what is this? Oh, wow. It's weird to see Jill with her hair down. Oh, chapter three, Dulce. This chapter means sweet, by the way. Please tell me there's an achievement called that. Please. And this one means sweet. Ain't that sweet? Nice! I got it. Oh my god. I'll take it. You've been using that hoodie a lot lately. Shut up. Wow, I don't have, uh, I don't have enough money to buy any of this. All right. Uh, rinse you on the 30th. Please make sure your account has the necessary 10,000 or you'll be evicted. Excuse the shit out of me. 10,000. Are you fucking me right now? Just like a f j j j are you You're fucking me, right? You're fucking me like work. You're fucking me like society right now. All right, well, uh, good evening. Hey, Jill. Jill is in the back sorting out, sorting an ingredient shipment. And I've got things to do. The dog's in charge, okay? Bye. What? Wait, the dog what? Okay, first order. Pet me. No. Pet me. No. I'm in charge and I want you to pet me. Time to mix drinks and change lives. Hey Jay! Won't pet you. You'll pet me sooner or later. They all do. Won't. Will! He called? He said Will, not Jill. Ah. Who the hell is Will? <laughs> Nobody. Don't be rude with poor Will. <laughs> There's no Will. <laughs> Do you need me to psych you up then? Shut up! Who? Me or Will? 
<laughs> you go back to whatever you were doing. All right. And you stand by. Only if you pet me. Go. The fuck just happened? Oh, not this guy. Well, aren't we spirited today? Welcome to Valha Virgilio. Why do you sound so weirded out? You didn't show up with a bombastic soliloquy. Well, putting up an act can be tiring, you know? So it's all an act then? Wasn't it obvious? I guess. Would you mind getting me a bleeding Jane? Sure. Once a bleeding Jane. All blended, so I need to wait for a little bit more. A bleeding Jane. Yes, this is just a thing. So, tired of putting on an act? Care to explain? Um, I just realized, why is there a question mark on his head? It's a long story, and I'd honestly rather not talk about it right now. Fair enough. What made you change your mind, though? Well, for one thing, it's safe for me now. The pompous buffoon act was mostly a way to avoid raising suspicious suspicion. Safer? There's a word that's been losing meaning. That's a word that's been losing meaning lately. Wait, that was your way of avoiding suspicion? Yes. You do know how weird those you do know how weird that sounds, right? It sounds weird? You try not to raise suspicion, but you act in a bombastic manner. That screams you're there. And everyone dismisses the fool as a buffoon and moves on. Eh? Yeah. I mean, you might be right if I were talking about hiding myself. But I'm avoiding certain crowds of people. Yes, my behavior might call everyone's attention, but then everyone just decides I'm harmless and disregards me. And depending on how, on how erratic my actions are, I become harder to read. Giving me yet another layer of enigma. I... Huh. Well, congrats. No offense, but I fell right into your plan. I just dismissed your actions as a... As those of a fool and moved on. You completely fooled me. Thanks. Say, can you give me something spicy? Sure. Honestly, yeah, he had me fooled. You know what? He had me so fooled that I'm gonna give him a big, a big drink. Uh, flavor. Spicy. Uh, what's the most expensive one? No. Okay. Bloom light. Okay. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. One, two. One, two. Three, four, five, six. Uh, all age on the rocks and the mixed. Bloom light. Here. Aren't you fascinated by spiciness? What's the spicy for hum- What's spicy for humans might not be spicy for other animals. Hell, what's toxic for us might not be- Might not be for other creatures. Do you like spicy things, bartender? I don't mind them, I guess. But I'm not really a fan. That's... That natural stance is actually weird to come across. 
Everyone either loves spicy things or hates them with a passion. Do you like it? Lots. Not only in regards to painfully spicy things, but also the way mild or slight, slight spice adds to the meal. <clears throat> yeah, my throat. Starting to regret this game. But my brain says no. I've always had this dream of opening a curry stand. As things are, I might actually pursue that dream. Let me know if you do. I haven't had curry in ages now. Hey, bartender. Call me Jill. I wanted to apologize. Hmm? You put up with me all this time without lashing out. I should apologize for my behavior and thank you at that. Don't worry. I actually feel like I was uh, too rude to you last time you came. Granted, you you came at a really that granted you came at a really bad time, but I should be the one apologizing. You're a client enough for all. <laughs> well, don't. I'm actually surprised that nobody else had violently lashed out at me yet. You're making me curious as to who you really are, though. Is Virgilio even your real name? It might be. It might not. Sometimes I wonder if I'm a magnet for people who hide their identities and sort and sword s sorted and sorted pasts. Jill, Jamie, you. Um, did you say something? I'm just rambling. Pay me no mind. Now that I think about it, uh, how did you find this bar? I was avoiding some chaps and came to this alley. Huh? Again? Again? In my, in my time here, I've heard avoided people and end up here enough times to make me believe that the original owner built the bar here thinking about the runaway public. You make me sound like a criminal. You're not helping. <laughs> The expression runaway doesn't just mean people escaping the law, though. We've had people avoiding stalkers or solicitors. I've seen people more shocked by uh, by an insist insistent salesman than a shady figure. Maybe because the salesman is, more act is, is a more active predator? I don't know. A troublesome part of the city right near the shopping district. Let them know there's a bar and they'll come. Sorry, I should stop rambling to myself so much. I don't mind it. Do you think I'm sort of I'm a, I'm sort of criminal though? Like I said, you're not helping. But for all I know, you might be the buffoon I've seen the other days. In any case, can I get something better here? On it. Something better. Okay. Um, don't tell me that. Yeah, they're sorted by. No, wait, better. They're actually sorted by price. Okay. Um, all right, bitter Jane, Grizzly Temple. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One. Uh, I can afford to do it big, so I'll do it big. Uh, one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One. All blended. Here. This works. Do you like coffee, Miss Bartender? As weird as it may sound from a smoking bartender, no I don't. Well, I get it. It's not for everyone. That cat boomer the other day. What about her? Still scared of her? Not really, but she looks so familiar. Maybe you're mixing her up with another cat boomer? No, that's not it. It's like... It's like the bandaged girl last time. 
Even with the bandages, there's just something really familiar about her. Maybe you need to stop thinking about it. Answers usually come when you stop stressing out. You might be right. Well, I leave you for now, bartender. Thanks for everything. Please come again. Welcome to Valhalla. Oh, hello, Mr. Detective. And here we are. Another mute person wandering into the bar. Anything I can get you? Gut punch. Okay. Gut punch for the Cyan Detective. One, two, three, four, five. One. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. One. I'm feeling generous and totally I'm not trying to be paid more. Hoping it works. So I'm just gonna put more of these. Uh, all aged. Mixed. Serve. Here. Oh, you got it right. So, what's up now? A bit of holiday blues, you could say. So, you celebrate Mega Christmas? Why wouldn't I? You looked more like a Festivus... A Festivus kind of guy. Why does everyone keep saying that? Well, Festivus is a celebration going against the capitalist madness that is Mega Christmas. And you know, cheap steak. Cheapskate. If you have uh, something to say, say it. I'll refrain. Although, now that I think about it, Holiday Blues is not really tied to a specific celebration. Just a season. A season of consumerist craze. Merry Christmas is just a mockery of what the real Christmas once was. I mean, the season has slowly become enslaved to the corpor corporations over time. Holiday spirit can only be manipulated so much. The thing came that Turbo Mail guy. He started a yearly tradition of dressing up like Santa in the ring. Turbo Mail? That can't be his ring name. It is. Really? Such a tacky name was accepted? His partner was Buster Master. And his rival was Dr. Chris Max. Tacky names were not a problem. I mean, I knew there was, there was a wrestler that dressed as Santa every year. I also knew that the guy became insanely popular and the sign got out of control. And of course, that's the part everyone sings about. San Santa became Nega Santa thanks to the Redman family. Nega Santa sees the error of his ways and becomes the mighty Mega Santa. Renaming the holidays Mega Christmas. And then every company jumped on the bandwagon and Christmas was Mega Christmas before anyone noticed. So you're telling me that the guy who somehow managed to rename the holiday went by the ring name Turbo Mail. Yep. That makes the whole holiday sound like a joke. The whole the holiday is a joke. And you're telling me you don't celebrate Festivus? Uh, no, I don't. Do you know what kind of people celebrate Festivus? The kind that's so lame and bland that they're... That they can only talk about how they're better because they celebrate Festivus. Like those jerks who only eat nuke and think they're better than everyone. Better than everyone else. I see. Anything else I can get you? Get me a fringe weaver, will you? Sure. Let's get him a fringe weaver. One, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And he likes him big, 
So we'll get him big. Um, all aged and mixed. Fringe weaver, serve. Here. Right, thanks. So, any issues with the city lately? What? What's the word on the street? Shouldn't I be asking that? There's nothing new, really. The... The lynchings of white knights stopped. So there's that. Really? Something about... The armor, I haven't gotten much on that one. I'm, I haven't gotten much on that one yet. All in all, the, ma the madness following... Uh, all in all, the madness following the attack on the bank seems to have settled down a bit. Well, that's good to hear. Have any other details about the attack emerge yet? All records of whatever happened there have been long deleted. Security cam, system logs, everything is wiped. Whatever happened there, it's become even more of a mystery now. I wonder if Say uh, plans on testifying. Does anyone know if Say went there in the first place? Maybe the wiping of everything actually protects her somehow. Hey bartender, you okay? Sorry, I got distracted. There's not much to say, really. There's the odd silly rumor here and there. Like the vending machines... Uh, teasers... Tasers malfunctioning and applying more strength. Or that the writer of the last rain in the world is actually living here as the brain in the jar. But those are the kind of rumors you hear from crackheads. Crackheads might hold that one, uh, might hold that one last piece of info you need. We also hear crap like that. I see. Anyway, I'm leaving. Happy New Year, bartender. Please come again. Okay then, um... But... No, wait, she's out. Jill, you there? Yeah, taking your break? Let me know if someone comes in. It's actually a good timing because my throat was starting to hurt. Day 14 break. We're very close to the end. I'm gonna go make a tea because my throat is really resenting me right now. Ugh. There is a massive pain in my throat right now. <laughs> so, I also just realized that I should probably... Um, should probably adjust the sensitivity on my model, on, uh, like, the voice of my model. Uh, immersion break. Immersion break. Immersion break. But, yeah. That way, even if I'm far away, it'll still register, like, light, uh, light noises I make as mouth movements. This is why, like, because, like... Earlier I had like the mic right next to my face, but the audio sounded shit, so I put the mic away from me, and you know, now it sh hopefully it, it, it's as good as it gets with, you know, my setup, which is not good at all, but eh, what can you do? Alright, well, gonna go get tea now. I'll be back in a few minutes. Okay. It's now safe to keep playing. We Things are pretty quiet outside. Um Sure. Jill Ah, oh, Miss Kim. Just call me Kim. 
It sounds weird to be called Miss. You seem to be in a good mood. You got some money on Mega Christmas. Wouldn't wouldn't you be happy? I guess. What can I get you? I'll have a beer. Okay. Let's get him a beer. One, one, two. One, two, three, four. In fact, I'm in a good mood too, so. There we go. Uh, all mixed. But yeah. Here. Thanks. So, how have you been doing? Pretty good, actually. My hair stopped falling out. My appetite is coming back. I didn't realize just how much the newspaper was weighing on me until I quit. I suddenly stopped feeling defeated. I actually felt like I achieved a victory. Like, like I got a hold of my own life. So nice to hear. Oh yeah, I'll start. I'll start bartender training in January too. Huh? Really? Yeah, I did some research and it sounded cool. BTC gives you many benefits, so it sounds like a good thing to do for the time being. I don't know if it's what I want to do for the rest of my life, but it's a good start. It'll give me time to think on ne on the next course of action. A bit of advice. Don't go for BTC housing plans unless you're abs unless you absolutely have to. You have to sign a contract for at least five years of service, with a cut in pay. Uh, with a cut in pay and tips. I was gonna go for that one, but I backed down a bit at the last minute. How do you back down a bit? Well, I took the chance when the uh, when the BTC found me an apartment. And instead of just signing uh, the BTC contract, I just asked for a regular one. I still have no idea how I got away with that one. I thought those apartments were built by them. Uh, were built by them or something. Back in England, they are. Wait, she's from England? Oh my god. Yo. Back in England, they are. They have their own real estate companies. Apartment complexes uh, where they have uh, the means to give discounted rooms to employees. But in this city, reality... Real, 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 realty. But in this city, Realty Nua, Nua holds an unspoken real estate monopoly. So BTC can easily offer such promises. Oh. Realty Nua is a bit weird as far as companies go. Their name has become synonymous with quality. A brand uh, built around certain expectations. But the truth is that Realty Nua has done little to no work in the last 10 years or so. Really? I mean, when they started, they managed to sell and build upon uh, plots of land that everyone gave up on. They became a big name as far as real estate goes. But in reality, the company itself has actually done less than you'd think over the years. Most of the time, they're cashing in on the establishment properties or letting others work with them. Voice crack. I feel like in the last 10 years or so, they've only started around 3 or 4 new projects. And they're all exp expansions of their already established ones. You seem to know a lot about it. Nah. I just read... A lot about it over time, especially after hearing my landlord ramble, uh, hearing my landlord ramble about them. I think it's all part for the course for real estate companies, really. But it's true that when you hear a name so so much, you expect something I don't know different. But enough rambling on my side. You must be thirsty. Can I get you anything else? Let's try a sugar rush. Okay. Sugar rush. I feel like I've been serving them a lot lately. Yeah. Let's make them big. 
Let's just make everything big. Uh, and let's throw in a bunch of this. Um, all mix, okay. Sugar rush, serve. Here you go. Yay. Actually, Jill, I came here today to thank you. Me? Yeah, back when I first showed up here, I was in a really rough spot. I was shocked, I was tired, I was a total mess. I even said some really mean things, but you had patience with me. Not to mention, you helped me cool down, and your boss saved me. And... I don't know, I felt like I had to tell you all of that before the year ended. Much appreciated, thanks. But anyway, how are you doing? Last time you were a bit off. I'm better now, thanks a lot. Glad to hear. It was rude to see you like that. It always felt like you were putting up a cool bartender act. It did? You don't? I don't. Are you sure? What you saw as cool bartender act is what everyone else has described as being called. I mean, cold and cool do mean the same, but... Nah, I don't... Nah, I don't try to put up that act. Sorry to disillusion you. I'm too much of a mess to do such a thing. Huh. Disappointed? Surprise, actually. What led me to believe that you were putting... What led me to believe that you were putting on an act? More importantly, how can I make use of it when I get assigned to a bar? I must investigate further. Good luck with that. Say, let's try something bubbly now. Alright. Let's get a bubbly drink and I almost dropped my phone. Okay, I need to put this somewhere that won't drop. Uh, well, I gotta troll someone real quick. Alright, bubbly drink. Flavor, bubbly. Alright, one of these. In fact, two. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight. Just by my counting, it's just do it until it's full, really. Cool. Aged and mixed. Fridge weaver. Here. Thanks. Hey, Joe. I'm gonna need some ice. Ah, boss. Boss? Oh, I know you. Thank you, thank you. Hey, nice to see you're fine. I'm more than fine. I'm alive, I'm here. I avoided my big- Oh my god, Totsley, you fucking hell. Um... I avoided my biggest mistake in life thanks to your timely intervention. I don't know what overcame me, I just felt like, like, like everything was shouting. I couldn't stop the shouting, so I just felt like, like, thank you. Don't even mention it, I just did what I felt was right. Jill, ice please. Right. Are you alright? Did you seek help? I know a couple of people that could help you. Don't worry, I'm perfectly fine. I've gone to a therapist a couple of times, but he says I'm okay. I just... Something overcame me, but you intervened and... I... I don't know what to say. You already said thank you. Saying that you're fine is more than enough for me. Sniff. I should have come to thank you earlier. I owed you the uh I owed you that at least. Don't worry. Just go out and be happy. 
You have a second chance, so use it as best as you can. I will. I'll be leaving. Happy New Year, Jill. And thank you again. Please come again. So, a couple of weeks ago, I read news about a woman saving a suicidal girl catching her midair. Would you know something about that, boss? Maybe, maybe not. Whoever it was probably just did it because it was the right thing to do. Feeling lonely? That voice. Hey, Joe. Oh my god. Did you miss me? Here's a gift. I like how the fucking achievement showed up as soon as, like, this. But okay, I need to. Hey, Joe. No long time no see. Hold on. Real quick. Let me just see how. Uh. Can I put... I put away. Right? It didn't work last time, but... I don't know. I can try. Hey, Joe. Long time no see. Really long time no see. Seriously. Feels like it's been over a year since I last saw you. I was planning on, visit on visiting you last week, but things were pretty heavy back then. So I just waited in the background until the tension wore off a bit. Earth to Joe, I'm talking to you here. If I ignore her, she'll leave. I'm not an unfathomable sense of dread. You can't just ignore me, you know. Julianne Stingray, I'm talking to you. Calm down. Don't fall for her taunts. How did she know my full name, though? I thought your full name was Julianne Natalie Stingray. Or did you legally remove the Natalie? Never mind that. Is she reading my thoughts? Yeah, I mean, they're kind of written in the middle of the screen. Huh? Hard not to see them, actually. Alright, that's it. I'm going crazy. That's such a self-centered way to see the world. What the fuck is this? The creator of the game? Like, who, who, who is this? Give us context! You assume that you're crazy because you can't accept that this world could be weirder than you think. This was amazing because of the things you just can't explain. No, this is something that needs explaining. And just because you only experience something doesn't mean it's a lie or that you're crazy. I mean, just look at ASMR. No, I'm pretty sure that's what a crazy person would say in this scenario. You acknowledge me. Shit. That's good. I want... I'm not serving you anything. What? Why? Last time you came, I had to clean the drinks I, I, I served you off the floor. Don't be like that. The drinks were also paid for with money. With uh, The drinks were also paid for with my money. I don't know how you did it, but that's it. Any and all plans I had for the rest of the week off balance. I was gonna buy some curry with the money I had uh, put out for those drinks. Dog duty done. I know we have slow days, but for God's sake. You okay? You look angry. I'm fine. Good job out there. I'm back. Ah, boss, what happened? Meeting cut short. At least I drank the has... has this... has the... the bottles. Are you okay? You look distraught. I I'm fine. So they really can't see you. I mean, you're right in front of them. And you're wearing jeans under a skirt. Why? Just why? To annoy people, of course. Is that a new trend? 
What does she think? She, what does she think she's doing? Everyone feels like it's not quite right. Everyone thinks they should call you out. But he can't bring himself to do it because it's not that wrong. There are things like spats. There are things like spats after all. It's uncannily right and not all that wrong. And they can't stop staring. Hold on, so who was the cleaner look the, the cleaner looking person? Like the green one. Who was that? I need to know. Um Okay. It's uncannily right. Uh it's not all wrong and they can't stop staring. Not like anyone other than me could see it though. They could see it if they wanted to. Jill, you're making an off making an awful lot of faces there, you okay? Yeah, just remembering stuff. Man, I miss not being crazy. Boss, I'm leaving earlier today. And you stay here. Who stays where? Crap, did I just You have to be the first person I've met who mixes their inner and outer voice. I, um, I thought I saw one of the dogs near the, the counter, sorry. Oh, okay. Can I, live a, can I leave a bit earlier today? Sure, thanks for taking care of the fort. What about me? You haven't left yet. I'll thank you when you leave. That's not what I... whatever. Um, I don't think I'm making it till the 30th. Tuesday, in it. Good evening. Hey, Jill. Let's have a New Year's party this Saturday. Isn't that a bit soon? Why? Did someone famous get killed at a New Year's party? No, I mean... Never mind. Sure, I'm in for it. Also, that magical girl behind them. Hmm. Wait. Uh, wait, actually, isn't that the cleaner looking person? Yeah, the same haircut. She has a striped uh, sleeveless shirt or dress. This is her. Wait, there's some lore into this because like, what What the fuck? Like someone get map pad on this shit if he hasn't done this shit already. What the what? Sure, I'm in for it. Great. And Jill? He's coming too. I mean, it's not like he has anything else to do. Hey. No, I mean, where is he? He was escorting a client, uh, of a client of his to the station. He should be back any second now. Back. See? So, 
You're coming to the New Year's party too, Jill? It's not like I have anything else to do, so... I told you. We're depressing people. <laughs> oh yeah, the kid from the other day. Gabby, I think you called her. Uh, Gabby, I think you called her. Asked me to give you this. I believe it's a note. A note? Gabby? Let's see. First of all, I want to apologize for my behavior before. I was still hurt by my sister's death and I... It wasn't fair to take out all my all the stress on you, let alone put the blame on you. And so it feels weird to ask this uh, uh, after how I treated you, but I really want to talk to you. I want to catch up uh, to chat for a while. To do what you were doing with me before I lashed out. I want to understand this freedom you talked about. The fear that drove you to... A fight with my sister. I'll go back to the bar on the 31st. I won't take much of your time. If you don't want to see me after all that, I'll understand. Please, I really want to talk to you. See you, Gabby. Wow, that girl has a big vocabulary. She was always a smart one. Hmm, the 31st is written in different handwriting. Oh yeah, she asked me, uh, when would you, uh, when would you be here, uh, and relatively free, so I told her about the party. I also assumed you'd say yes to the party, which might not have been the best idea now that I think about it, but it worked out in the end, so it's fine. Boss, I'm having second thoughts about coming to the party. What? Why? Because I really don't want to face Gabby again. <sighs> now it's coming back to me. What drove me to never go back and apologize after all these years? Fear and shame. Shame because I know I made a hideously stupid mistake. And it's painful to face your mistakes. And fear is what they might say. With Lenore, we never broke up formally. So I was always afraid that if we were to meet again, she'd break up with me. I don't want... Gabby to tell me that she hates me to my face. Lenore was in the right to break up with me, and Gabby is in the right to hate me. But I don't want her to. If I never see her again, she'll never tell me that, and... Jill, you idiot! Eh? You're thinking backwards. Didn't the letter say she wanted to understand you? If you bail out on this, she will hate you. Not only that, but you're getting a new chance here. Do you want to live the rest of your life running from another memory? Didn't you just say you want to... Armit... You want to... Armitage that... Ar... 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 Armit... Armitage? That's... Isn't that the... Isn't that uh, Alma's name? That she... She gave her? Um, I don't know. Want to Armitage that, uh, you hated feeling like that. Oh wait, didn't you say- oh wait, didn't you say to Armitage that you, you hated feeling like that? I'm- I'm- I- I can't read, as I said. Armitage? Titty hacker. Alma, right. <laughs> uh, I don't know what happened when you're- when you fought with that girl's sister. But now you have a chance to make amends. Not only that, you have us watching your back. So I want you to think about this. One day of fear or a lifetime filled with regret. Which one do you pick? Yeah. Yeah, you're right. I hate a feeling like that. I won't run away this time. Good. Because I would have gone to your apartment and tried you out of there if need be. Hey boss, thanks. That's what friends are for. Yeah. Anyways. Let's start the day. Time to mix drinks and change lives. Seriously though, it's the second note that has stirred such feelings in me. Second one? Two weeks ago I got another note in the mail. This one is from Lenore. Was that the envelope you took away from me in a panic? Yep. You haven't opened it? 
Why not open it with Gabby? You're facing one fear, might as well face the other. Maybe. Don't push her, Chief. I'm not. I just know she's capable of doing all that. I'll go secure stuff for the party. Call me if you need anything. Keep it up, Jill. Thanks. Happy holidays! Someone's happy. We held the party for the staff and there's children. You should have seen their faces. Those kids receiving gifts. And having that Santa suit at the last minute. The other day was totally worth it. Santa dresses seem to have been popular this year. Year. I heard uh, they were sold out in most places. There was this weird shortage of Santa suits. Uh, but luck was on my side this year. Ahem. <clears throat> Sorry for that outburst. Why? You look so happy. I felt happy too. You shouldn't hide your happiness. Um. Anyway. Can you get me a cobalt velvet, please? Sure. Cobalt velvet. One, two. Since you're happy, you get the biggest. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All on the rocks. And mix. Sir. Here. Thanks. Are you meeting with Say today? She should be here in a bit. She told me she wanted a drink here, and since I was coming here too... Sadly, I can't stay for long. I have some errands to run. How has she been lately? She's better. Her wounds have been healing really nicely. If only she stopped scratching at her bandage so often. What about her eye? Eye? Oh, hers. Sorry. Um. It'll take longer to heal, but... As long as it keeps uh, clean, there should be no problem. But to be honest, I'm more worried about her emotional wounds. She doesn't show it, but she's had depressive bouts from her life from time to time. Uh, and who can blame her? Her life changed completely. The job she loved no longer exists. She was used as a disposable pawn in the whole bank affairs. I'm afraid it will all make her go back her old ways. Old ways? There was a rough spot when Say was a teen. Her mom's clinic was about to close. Then her biological father, who was an asshole, showed up. And the teachers at, at her school didn't help. Say is not a slow learner by any means, but her way of learning stuff is different. She needs equivalences to things she knows. Uh, you need to get a bit in her mindset. Once you get this, she's a fast learner. But schools don't have that kind of patience. They basically branded uh, her a failure. She's even dropped out. I would have suggested a special course uh, somewhere else, but that would have that would have offended her. She's always been against being labeled as special or different. Anyway. Say was totally different during that period. Foul mouthed, short fused, always frowning, the total opposite of how she is nowadays. From time to time, I see that old look across her face and it scares me. You're comparing her to her teen self though. People mature. Maybe she'll show signs from time to time. But I bet Sane knows better than to go back to that. I hope so. Get me something cold and sweet, will you? Sure. Cold and sweet. I think I've heard that one before. Uh, wait, no. By... Uh, sweet. Uh... 
Piano woman. Please. All aged and mixed. Never mind. That's unfortunate. Uh, what was it? Sweet. Brantini. God damn it. Flavor sweet. Moonblast. All on the rocks. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. One, two, one, two, one, two, three, four. On the rocks and blend it. There we go. Moonblast. Here. Thanks. This is the kind of stuff Faye asks for, you know? Now that you mention it. So, I take it Say's family situation isn't exactly fine and dandy, huh? It's a mess. They've tried to fix over time, and I'm glad to say they've actually done it. Say's mom had a really abusive relationship with Say's biological father. Sadly, like many women in that situation, she just tried to justify his actions. But apparently, things got nasty when Say's mom, Miss Emmy, got pregnant. At that point, she had an epiphany, one could say. She didn't want that guy to raise her child, so she finally sought help. Things weren't so easy, though. Before the authorities uh, could take him away, Miss Emmy got a serious beating from him. She still uses, uses a cane to walk, thanks to that. She moved here. Say was born. She started her veterinary clinic. So did he come back? He was drunk and couldn't find any drugs, so he made it to the city. He caused a ruckus for a couple of days until Say managed to scare him off. How? She beat him near to death three times. Sorry, I shouldn't laugh, but... Oh, don't worry, I laugh too. <laughs> the dramatic irony there is delicious. <laughs> I've been wondering, can you really be so calm in, that, uh, in the lower parts of the city? Hmm? I mean, the streets are not exactly safe. And a cat boomer is sure to become a target. Uh, well, I have my security staff with me at, at all times, so there's no need to worry. There's no problem. And besides, this part uh, of the city is is comfier. Come again? Sure, Uptown is cleaner and maybe more secure, but it's also too sterile. Around here, you can actually feel the warmth of the people. You f uh, of the people, uh, you feel there. Uh, there are people living. I especially like uh, going on a busy food stand. I feel like a warmth there that Uptown doesn't have. It's also easier to walk to talk to people. You finally came. Welcome. Try to talk to someone in the upper part of the city. You either shrug, they either shrug you off or flat out ignore you. People around here are a bit wary, but they're also more likely to talk to you. Not that things are nice there, though. Can I get you something? I feel like having a beer. Make that two. <laughs> but I just want one. I'm asking for one for me. Adding one to your order. To your order. Oh, that, right. <laughs> two beers for the girls. Okay. Booyah. One. M make them big for both, because I love these two. Three, four, one, two, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and mix. Beer. Let's do the exact same thing.
and mix serve here thank you thanks say you should have seen the kids after you left they were all playing with the toys you picked you nailed it again this year they were all asking where's say where's say Why do they call you just say when they call me Auntie Stella? I don't look that old. <laughs> don't worry, they still like you. Sorry I had to leave, but mom worked overtime that night and I couldn't leave her alone. What happened? Well, there were fireworks and some dogs thought it would be safe to hide in a jar. The little guy managed to get his head and a pause uh, inside uh, before getting stuck. And it was plastic, so they couldn't just try to break it. That's messy. She needed someone to hold the dog while she worked. Poor fellow was scared. Well, I'm out. Oh yeah. We'll have a New Year's party this Saturday if you wanna come. Sure. It's better than depressing myself and my dad's uh, woos about the next the, uh, the next fiscal year. I'll be here. Bye, Jill. Bye, Say. Careful. Please come again. You wanna come too? I'd love to. I also make up for not coming last time. How was the party? Pretty nice. We played Trufa there. Had some fun. Broke some glasses. Ate lots and lots of food. Seriously, looking back, the amount of food was ridiculous compared to the number of people who were there. Better leftovers than left hanging, don't you, don't you think? Yeah. Can I get you something? Let's try something classy. Okay. Something classy per se. I type classy drinks, Mercury Blast. One, two, three. Three. One, two, three. Wait. One, two, three, four. On the rocks. Blended. And now we wait. Okay. Oh my. Okay, hold on, my arm is starting to hurt. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, I forgot the bronze. Oops. One, two. One, two. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four. Ice. And now we can... Blend. I was supposed to blend. Better not be cut for my pay. There we go. Something classy. Yep, that's that is the thing. So I came in quite cheery about Sunday. This Sunday? Oh yeah. Well, you know, her birthday. Her birthday is actually the twenty fifth. Really? There's a weird story from when she was a kid. She heard Mega Santa's story and somehow. She got into her head that being born on the 25th, that by being born on the 25th, um, she was the spiritual reincarnation of the original Santa that made her start giving out gifts like crazy. She got over it, but the gifting stuck to her. Spiritual reincarnation? Well, the story said the Redmond family destroyed Santa's spirit, and that Mega Santa was reborn as a manifestation of the Christmas spirit. She thought 
She was the old sense of spirit in the new body. Heh, <laughs> that girl was delusional as a kid. Huh. Speaking of things... Uh, th speaking of things when you uh, did when you were young... Stella mentioned she... Uh, Stella mentioned she's worried about you going back to your old ways. Something about a rough period where you were angry or something? Oh, that. It's sweet that she's worried. But I won't go back to those days. Uh, I won't go back to those days just like that, though. Even if I face the same situation, I'm more mature, you know? I'm not a teen anymore. Expecting as much. Told her as much. Hey, can you get me something bubbly? Sure. Fringe Weaver. One, two, one, two. Uh, all age and mixed. Serve. Here. Bubbly, bubbly. Hey Jill, this might seem a bit random, but... Do you remember the first time I came here? Yeah, you're the second white knight I served. I remember, why? Precisely, because of that. I've been meaning to ask you about that story. How's your other experience with, with a white knight? That's but it's simply the total opposite of you. Oh? She came here as a uh, part of her work, looking for information in some case. Uh, I went through a motion of bringing her a drink and all that, but she came only for her job. At first, I thought she just, uh, she was just another private eye, but she showed me her badge and all. What kind of case was that? Um, I wouldn't know. She never told me, but she asked if I saw some people. She got pretty intense when I told her I had no idea who she was talking about. I suggested she asked the vending machines outside. And they told her the suspect climbed on them. She got her info and she left. Pretty professional, if a bit intimidating. She seemed personally invested in the case, though. The way she lost her cool was suspicious. You seem to be pretty good at reading people, Jill. Makes me kind of jealous. Nah, I'm not good at that. It's just a coincidence that I noticed it. But you noticed But you noticed it. I'm not good at reading people. Even if the cube was thrown in my face, I wouldn't be able to see it. I'm sure you can compensate with another skill. Any particular reason you asked me about that event? Not really. I just found the fact that I was the only other white knight you've served weird. I mean, really? Just two? Weird, I know. I've always spent most of my life with almost no interaction with white knights until I met you. It means you've had a nice life then. That sounded creepier than I thought. A bit, yeah. Well, I'm done for today. Thanks, Jill. Please come again. I'll go take my break, Jill. Sure. Save here and I'm actually going to take my own break cool let's go just yep let's keep serving drink and drinks and saving lives um I, I I left my glasses somewhere again. All right, well, let me grab. Thing. Um. Wait. Oh no, that's no. What the fuck are my glasses? Where the fuck are my glasses? Oh, 
Wait, found him. I found him. Oh my god, I can't believe it, I found him. I wonder if I left food for, uh, for four. Okay, I'm hit. Uh, um, Dorothy? You won't get through the bar anytime soon. You can stop walking. Ah, honey. You want something? The usual, I guess. Usual, us. Oh, wait, usual. 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 The usual. What is wrong with her? Uh. You, wait. What is the usual? Usually she either gets a sugar rush or a. Or a blue fairy. I guess sugar rush? One, two, three, four. One, two. Um, and as always, all the karma train. Serve. Here. This is nice. Nice. Mm, nice. Mm, nice. Okay, you're freaking me out. What's up with you? Hey, honey. How do you know what's real? How so? I mean, how do you know if what you see is actual is an actual thing? How can you tell if what you see around you is actually happening? What tells you everything is not actually a fabrication? What tells me I'm not just a simulation in the computer? And those ponderings brought you to the bar? What? Oh, I'm in the bar. Am I? Dorothy. So you're having a... Solip... Solip... Stick... So solipsis solipsistic crisis of sorts. Solip what? Solipsism. The theory that the self is the only thing that can be known to exist. See? That's another thing right there. That word. Solipsism. What does it even mean? What the hell did it come from? Well, solace means alone and ips means self. Yes, but how did it come to be? Do you expect me to believe that a lot of people just randomly decided to make noises? And decide, hey, let's make this noise and mean this. It doesn't make sense. Words don't make sense. I've been repeating words for a long time and they've stopped making sense. Why? I've actually wondered about that too. Like, how do languages come to be? <laughs> Calm down. That's just... Sem semantic se 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 satiation. Okay, that's just semantic se se semantic satiation. Stop making up words, honey. And then there's this counter. How? And there's this counter. How can we be sure the counter is really here? It is. Please stop tapping it. Hold on. Just making sure. Can I make her a drink? At the very least, I'll have something to throw at her. <laughs> What's the next? Oh, wait, actually. Um, give her some rum. Sure. Stop tapping the counter so much. I'm this close to throwing this at your face. Sorry. <sighs> so let's start from the beginning. Since when did you have this ex existential crisis? Since earlier today, I think. But I don't know, it was all too sudden. I was thinking about everything that happened from a week ago until now. 
how much fun I was having. How much I loved everyone around me. And out of nowhere, the thoughts started piling up in my mind. What is love? What is fun? Are those feelings real? Is all of that real? Am I real? What tells me I'm actually in a body? What if I'm just some computer somewhere thinking it has a body? <laughs> what if I'm just a human girl in a comatose dream? What tells me that you're real? Eh? For all I know, I might just be a, a figment of someone's imagination. Or even just an AI simulation, some computer that thinks it's a human. I've been there, Dorothy. That existential doubt and crisis, that uncertainty about whether or not things are real. It was a couple of months only, but I remember having panic attacks and scratching my arm to feel something. That panic attack gave me a, ru a rush of adrenaline, so I couldn't feel the scratch and the, f and the fear got worse. What did you do to get over it? Oddly enough, I read a book. The Last Rain in the World, one of my favorites. At one point I cried with the book and I realized I was crying over fake things. A story and its characters. I didn't care less for them because they were fake. Why not think of reality like that too? Even if I'm a figment of someone's imagination, I'd still care about you. That's what I told myself at least. It wasn't immediate, but that focus helped me. Huh, I like it. Hey, can I take this drink? I made it for you. Thanks. Okay, then. <laughs> well, she did it in the end. Phew. Why did you throw it on your head? To feel something you made. And? It burns. And itches a bit. I'll get you a towel. Delivery for Dana Z- Oh, I've been here before. Mr. Mario, welcome back. I have a delivery for Dana Zane. Who's that? She's my boss. I'll get- uh, I'll get it for her. Right, send here please. It's a big package. I wonder what's inside. You should open it. If it's something- uh, perishable. Maybe it'll need to be refrigerated. Let's see. It's a wiener. A really big wiener. Hey, honey. Hmm? The big package had a big wiener inside. What will your boss do with such a thing? I don't know. She'll cook it. Perhaps she'll, sh she'll chop it. Honey... Seems the wiener is too big to eat correctly. Stop. Maybe you could prepare some right now. What do you say, honey? Do you want some of your boss's wiener? I don't. <laughs> Seriously, Jill? She's the... Uh, making, making the jokes. And you're the one trying not to laugh too hard at them. Anyway. We all know if we dare... Wait. Anyway, we all know if we dare cook this without permission, she'll hang us upside down. Or she'll hang me upside down. Hey, Jacket Boy, what's your name? I'm Mario. Come on, Mario. I'll buy you a drink. Hmm? He might have another delivery. Uh, he might have another delivery, you know? This is the last one, actually. I'll accept your offer. Uh, I'll have um, um, a Sunshine Club. Sorry, what? 
I think he said Sunshine Cloud. Did not. I'm Mars Blast. And you? I'm fine, I'm fine. Mario asked for a Mars Blast. I think he said Sunshine Cloud first though. Yeah, you know what? He's a bit too undecisive. I'm just gonna give him the first choice. Bitter, girly, soft. Yeah, he, he likes the girly and soft drinks. Alright. Let's make it a big one too. Four. Four. Um, on the rocks, and let's just add a bunch of alcohol in it because what else is new? And we need to blend it. Uh, what did Dorothy say she wanted? Oh, here. This is not what I. It totally is. Hey, um, call me Dorothy. You can also call me Darling for the right amount. Yeah, Dorothy, why did you buy me a drink? Just to let you know, I don't swing that way. What way, L What way, Lilim? I I'm a man's man. I like men, okay? Not that there's anything wrong with liking women, but... Oh, don't worry. I wasn't hitting on you. I was think I was thanking you. Thanking me? Your package let me see honey here laughing like an idiot. <laughs> it's easier than you think. That made me happy and uh... I don't know. It, it fit with uh, what she was telling me earlier. I'm more calm than when I'm in... Than I'm, blah, blah. I'm more calm than when I entered. Glad to help I guess. Well, duty calls. Bye Mario, bye John, bye honey. Enjoy your big wiener. Out with you. She seems like a nice girl. I don't mean it to sound like I... I get it, I get it, don't worry. You're like, guys, it's clear. Speaking of... You like motorcycles, aren't you? I do, yeah. Have you been to the motor district? I spend all of my free time in the uh, in the motor district actually. Why? Is it true that they say... Is it true what they say uh, about all the illegal races going on there? Hmm. You're not a cop, are you? As far as I remember, no. Well, I mean, there are illegal races, but... There's also a semi-legal league going on there. Semi-legal? The authorities acknowledge that there's races going on. They don't know what goes on in them, however... Modified engines, casualties, substance, ab substance abuse... The illegal ones end up being safer in the end. Huh? Have you heard about a biker called Christian Lo uh, Christine Love? Miss Love, of course. Everyone knows who she is. What about her? Is her gang as dangerous as they say? I don't know. Nobody knows. Excuse me? They look intimidating enough, but the truth is that nobody has faced them directly. Moreover, nobody wants to be the one that got beaten to a pulp if they turn out to be what they seem. So their gang is just there, menacingly doing their th own thing, not bothering anyone. Oh. <laughs> Oof, do you want anything else? I have a piano man. Alright. Piano man for Mario. That's the first time he hasn't changed his answer. No, I don't think I can. I don't think I can make this big.
Uh, all on the rocks and mixed. Channel map. Here. Yeah, this is nice. Hey, you two an item? <laughs> what are you trying to say with that laughter, Jill? No, we're not. What's wrong with you? Eh? You work with this hunk of a man and you don't feel the least bit tempted? How can you be so calm with his smell so close to you? Ever heard this? Ever heard the expression, his past is a fucking weight I don't want to carry? Because his past is a fucking weight I don't want to carry. If he even has a past at all, I'm having my doubts. But I'm, I'm, I'm having my doubts lately. Are you implying he's not a good game? Oh, don't, mis don't misunderstand. Jill is good game. Hold on. Wait, hold on. I gotta troll someone real quick. He's not bad looking. He's a gentleman. He's always attentive. But he's also distant and will take many steps back when he feels like he's getting close to somebody. You don't have to marry him, just push him into a closet and... Eh, I'm not interested. You annoy me, bartender. You don't see what you have right in front of you. I'm out. Please come again. Ah, Joe. You heartbreaking fuckboy. Mac, did anything happen? I discovered I have... The sense of humor of an eight-year-old. Did anything new happen? <laughs> hey. They brought you a package. Ah, yes. My curated wiener. It's a gift from my folks. It was delayed in customs, but here it is. You guys want some of it? That's a new one. Total bonus. Oh wait, total funds. 4k. Okay, I'll take that. Have some pocket money. I'm out of excuses. <laughs> uh, Vent is due on the 30th. Please make sure you're okay. Yeah, has necessary, yeah. Um, I only have two days to get to there. I might be fucked. Um, you've been chuckling since yesterday, Wiener. Well, let me. Oh. So I could have just used this. To save that one time. Good to know. Good to know. Good to know. Oh. Go to work. Wednesday, December 28th. Good evening. Ah, Jill. I'm about to get firecrackers. Firecrackers? It's New Year's, right? We need some. Wouldn't firecrackers scare off the... Uh... Yeah, good idea. Go ahead. I'll be back in a bit. 
Even for a cat lover, you sure get excited about firecrackers a whole lot more than when dogs are involved. I know how hypocritical it sounds and I don't care. Ah, Jamie's here. Greetings. Anyway, let's start. That was an awkward transition, just have like him appearing and disappearing. Time to mix drinks and change lives. Ah, the guy that wouldn't come back twice. Yeah, yeah, shut up. By any chance, did something fly over here two weeks ago? On Friday? Yes. There were lots of weird explosion noises throughout the night. But as far as I understand, those were made by a flying drone or something like that. So it flew by here. I take it, you know what made the noise? Let's try to keep it up whatever drone story you heard. Right. The noise got annoying after a while, I must say. So I remained in the vicinity? I don't know what counts as in the vicinity, but yeah. This an explosion all night. Interesting. So it didn't... So it didn't get far away. Hmm. Um, now gave me a Mars Blast. A Mars Blast for the guy that wouldn't come back twice. Alright, Mars Blast. Six. One. One, two, three, four. One, two. Okay. Here you go. Oh, you didn't mess it up. Sorry if I may interject. You're looking for a fight? Most certainly not. You really think you'd stand a chance? You're like half his size. I can fight dirty. He kills people for a living. I can fight dirty. <laughs> Jill, please, you make me sound like a savage. It would be like... It would be like me saying that you get people drunk for a living. It's not wrong, but there are better ways of saying stuff like that. You're right, sorry. And like I said, I'm not looking for a fight. I just noticed you seem to like strong drinks. What about it? Well, to be honest, it's a rare sight in this bar. I'd even come to believe I'm the only one here who enjoys them aside from the owner. May I suggest you try a suplex next time? It might be to your liking. Hmm. Okay, let's try the suplex thing. Right. Let's give Ingram a suplex. Wow, that sounded weird. <laughs> suplex. Let's make it big because I'm pretty sure he wants it big. Eight. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. All on the rocks. And mixed. Suplex. Serve. Here. Good stuff. Like a less burning but punchier pi pile driver. Say, your face looks somehow familiar, mister. Call me Jamie. And you are? I'm Ingram. Anyway, I think I saw your face somewhere. Maybe when I... You need to look for a specific file that, um, Did you perhaps go through a nanomachine exp expunge? I did, actually. Figured as much. Only a handful of people do that. And almost all of them are people with nanomachine rejection that feel oddly suicidal. So why go through the whole thing? Rejection? Need to hide something? The second one. It's easy to remain undetected when they have no means to track you 
uh, or your activity. I see. How does the X uh, X sponge work? You lie in the pressure chamber and they give you a special TV solution. It causes nanomachine rejection while giving you the antibodies needed to prevent them from getting back in. For five hours, you're trapped in bed while horrible pressure builds up in your body. And nanomachines are forcibly out. They're like little needles all over your body. You feel them in your eyes, in your gums, in your toes, everywhere. And after all of that, they need to implant you with a mechanism that constantly releases the same antibodies. Ouch. What are you having, Jamie? This is a gut punch. Yeah, I should have figured. Hey, give me one of those. Sure. Let's give him a gut punch. Again, that didn't sound right. Gut punch. One, two, three, four, five. Nah, let's just make it. Cool. One, two. And then... I mean, we might as well. All aged. And mixed. Gut punch. There we go. Serve. Here. Yeah, I love these. Looks different from yours though. I had a couple of extras in the, in his actually. So where's the antibody unit that you stuck with? They stuck you with Jamie. Uh, inside, like all other maintenance systems, it can be troublesome at times. But the perks of not having nano machines in the body outweighs the cons. And the rest of the enhancements, uh, were you reconstructed uh, or have you been adding them over time? Over time, either by getting a bunch needed enhancements or through fixing injuries. I see. Well, it was a pleasure, Jamie, but I gotta leave. Nice meeting you, Ingram. Please come again. Don't count on it. You said that twice. Shut up. Seems like a nice guy. Right. I won't call him a bastard, but he's not the nicest in the bunch. Maybe you cut him on a bad day. Nah. I think you're just that good at bringing out the nicer side of people. Oddly enough. That guy tries... That guy tires the hell out of me. <laughs> Someone's in a good mood. Give me a bad touch, will you? That way you'll be in a good mood too. <laughs> a bad touch for Alma. Bad touch. One, two, three, four. 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 Yeah, it's just. All on the rocks and mixed. Bad touch. Here. Jill, you have such a petty sense of humor. Go discharged. So, what put you in a good mood? Oh, yeah, that. Today, my sister was supposed to be in court for all the custody procedure procedurings. Of course, not only does she show up later than her husband and drunk at that. But also dressed like she got fucking she got fucked in the back of a parking lot. And to top it off, she forgot uh, to even 
and top and to top it off, she could, she forgot to bring e uh, to even bring her kids. Oh my god! Luckily, my parents brought them to court. The judge assigned the kids to my parents for the time being. So she really messed it up, huh? When they come back to the house, and Anna started throwing a temper tantrum. She said it was lucky her husband didn't get the kids because uh, we angst would make her jump onto the highway. So Eva comes and says that make sure it kills you because we aren't dealing with you as a cripple. I shouldn't reinforce that behavior, but <laughs> I don't know. Maybe it was the timing, but I've been laughing for an hour now. Build quite the animosity for Diana, don't you? She and I used to be the closest friends uh, when I was 7 or 8. We played all the time, we even slept on the same bed for a while. Then she turned into a teen. We stopped playing. She had other things she wanted to do. I couldn't forgive all of that. I mean, the age difference and all. But there is something in particular I still can't forgive. It was a day she invited her friends to that to the house, and I went to ask her something. As I was leaving, one of her friends asked if I was her sister, and she said she had no little sister. Ouch. To think that was the moment that finally broke the pedestal I held on her I held her on. I admired her as much as a kid could admire someone, you know? Little by little, that admiration wore off until we finally reached that breaking point. I felt betrayed. And you haven't been able to forgive her after 40 years? Hey. It's not that I still hold a grudge against her, but rather... The Diana who said all those things so many years ago is the same Diana that I know today. Not so. She hasn't matured one bit. She's still as selfish, childish, and immature as she was back then. When you see her, you don't see an adult, you see an overgrown horny teen. So aside from destroying any admiration I held for her, she's made sure not to fix that impression. Huh. But enough about me, how are you? Everything's fine, aside from this note. A note? Remember how I told you I, la I lashed out at my dead girlfriend? Dead ex's sister? Yeah? I got this note from her. Let's see... Wow, she must really feel bad about the whole thing. As do I. So what's the problem then? The same fear that drove me away from her in the first place. Right. Give a... Give a Brantini, will you? There's a little story I want to tell you. Right. A Brantini. Alright. One, two, three, four, five, six. Can I? No, I can't. One, two, three, one. Wait, maybe I can. Oh, I can. One, yeah. Four, five, six. One, two, three. Yeah, make it big. Uh, all aged and mixed. Brantini. Here, this is the thing. Let's start. Boo. Oh, hell no. This is the story of a girl who grew disillusioned with one of her sisters. Soon, it became animosity. And not long after, she distanced herself completely from said sister. With time, the girl should become attached to her elder sister, looking up to her achievements 
And all I can look at right now are those boobs. Not now. Said sister, would you have married the girl's best friend not soon after? And after the girl went into college, said sister would quit her job. The sister was worried sick about leaving her baby kid alone, prompting her to quit her high-ranking job. What if I hire your high-ranking lips? Shut up. The girl, even as an adult, felt betrayed. Her role model sister went against everything she held in highest, in high esteem for. She was no longer a child, and yet she felt like a part of uh, a part of her had crumbled. Hey, Joe, can I lift her sweater? Do you want to see? I bet you want to see. All right, enough. Enough. Shit. Peace out. Uh, I mean, I know the girl is you and the sister is your eldest sister. Uh, please get to the point. Right. The point is, if you don't face her, she will be heavily disappointed. She's trying to make amends with you. That must take courage. Lots of it. Yeah, you're right. Well, that's dry. Can you get me a beer? Right. A beer. Man, am I going cr- Oh, a beer. Man, I am going crazy, aren't I? Alright. Beer. Beer. Make it a big beer. All mixed. Serve. Here. Thanks. So tell me, did you and this Gabby girl get along? Oh yeah. I never had brothers and sisters. But once Lenore introduced me to her as her sister-in-law, she got so excited about having a new sister that she clung to me a lot. Uh, I helped her in her studies. Read uh, books with her, played with her a lot. She was pretty much my sister, too. I have to leave, but I'll tell you this. As both a big and little sister, if you don't grant that, girl's, that girl the chance of talking to you, I'll never forgive you. Yeah, yeah. Oh. There's a small New Year's party. Uh, small New Year's party. This started if you're interested. Oh, sure. I'll be there. Remember, I won't forgive you. Yeah, yeah. I'll go take my break. Alright. Well, you were here? You were quite absorbed in the conversation just now. Jamie even said goodbye to you. Didn't you hear? Uh, anyways... Call me if anything comes up. Alright. Save. Oh, my back hurts. I'm back and my back hurts. That's fantastic. Okay. Um, it's not safe to keep playing. As always. It's less chilly today. Oh, that's it? Alright, cool. Jill, a kid's looking for you. Oh, shit. Hey. Ah, Norma. You. You're back. Oh, fuck you. You do know I'm not giving you any drinks, right? Oh, crap. Oh, crap. I said it out loud. Yeah, um, actually, I wanted to thank you. Ew. She thought it was for her. Thank me? Well, first, by not letting me drink the whole thing, you didn't let me get home smelling of alcohol. I mean, even though you served me the alcohol. Oh, but when I do it, you get all suspicious. 
Oh, oh, wait, that's that's Anna. Oh, but when I do it, you get all suspicious. Not now. I kind of faced my mom and told her all about the pressure she was putting on, putting on me. And I said I wanted to figure out what I wanted to do. And, well, she didn't speak to me for two days. After that, she told me that it'd be a waste to spend money in the university just for me to not give it my all. So she told me to still get a college course, but that I was free to explore. Glad to hear that. And well, I wanted to thank you for that. Me? If I was just rushed headfirst into my original plan, things would have gotten ugly. And you're right. I would be hurting her if for the sake of hurting. So thank you. Don't worry about it. I'll leave before it's too late. I'll leave before it's too late outside. Be careful. Aw, so sweet. Shut up. Hey Jill, mind helping me here? Sure. Make a be make a bleeding Jane, please. On a a bleeding Jane a, a bleeding Jane for Jill. That is a almost a tongue twister. Um uh, bleeding Jane. Let's make it big because yes. Three one, two, three, four, five, six, four, five, six, and blend. Okay. Stop. Serve. Thanks. Hey, Joe, do you hate me? Hate is a harsh word. It's not against you directly, but rather the fact that I that only I can see you. Like I told you, if they wanted, they could see me. And why can I? You're the main character? No, no. What are you? A cute girl. Right. You okay, Jill? Making a lot of faces there. Um, yeah, just remembering stuff. Could you give me a hand here and serve a beer, please? Sure. A beer for Jill now. Who is he serving these two? Let's make it a big beer. Just for the boy. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All mixed. Sir. Thanks. Would you lighten up if I showed you I can interact with the environment? Maybe it'll spook me, but let's try. There. Oh, wow, I actually changed the layout. I actually prefer this layout. Keep it that way. Can't see anything. You know what? Yeah, actually, it's harder to tell the ship, but... You sure? Yep. Weird. Nobody expects the Dorothin question. Quit. Wait. Dorothin Quie. Oh, Dorothin Quisition. What the fuck? I thought, like, it was, like, Dorothy in question, but, like, with the E in question, like, swapped with an I, but no, it's Inquisition for some reason. Talk normally, you bitch. Dorothy Inquisition. Dorothy Inquisition. Dorothy Inquisition. Ow! I pissed my tongue. I can't believe I'm using the spare tongue so early in the night. Ahem. Honey! Uh, hey Dorothy. I'm making a quick stop for a drink. Can I get a fluffy dream? Sure. Fluffy dream for the Dorothy on the go. Fluffy dream. One. Two. 
One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. All aged. Let's obviously give her all the possible karma train, train, whatever the fuck. And mix. Fluffy dream. Serve. Thanks. Oh yeah, before you leave. What? Are you guys throwing a New Year's party too? Yep. Sure, I'll be there. I'll, I'll be here then. Well, I've got things to do, so... You do? Who does what? Sorry, I sneeze. Weird sneezes. <laughs> Anyways, I'm out for now. Oh yeah? Oh yeah, Joe? Take care of Becky, please. Who the hell is Becky? Who's Becky? Who's that? You said... I said nothing. Okay, fuck that noise. Fireworks are sold out everywhere. I need to get them through more shady means. She's gonna buy them from the internet. She'll find them and put us all at risk of burning. I'll make sure there's an extra extinguisher at hand. Please. Well, I guess that's it for today. You sure you're fine? I am, don't worry. Hey Jill, mind if I ask a, a silly question? You've seen my clients. You can assume I don't mind silly questions. Silly answers can get on my nerves though. Sorry, what did you want to ask? Uh, do you know why they call them cat boomers? I mean, I guess their second set of ears looks like a cat's, but the word boomer seems so out of place. Not so much when you consider that it's not them, but their parents who were called such. Oh? Let's go a bit back first. You know why cat boomers look like that, right? Uh, because they went through some anti machine rejection treatment while they were still a fetus, right? It's called the Yamazaki Romanova treatment. Or was it the Romaneko Yamada treatment? The Roma... Let's call it the catification procedure. It was not only the first successful genetic treatment on a fetus, but also the first way to uh, fight nanomachine rejection. Moreover, that research had a bit of a rocky story. Funding got cut in the middle of it at a critical point that could make or break the whole thing. Not to mention Zybots Corp's record of not addressing nanomachine rejection at all. The rest of the research was funded by Maki Sten... Stengovic. Was it Stengovic? Let, let's, call his, let's call him Stengovic for now. He's a businessman whose unborn daughter got diagnosed with early nanomachine rejection. Stengovic funded the research and in a desperate move his wife offered herself and her daughter as test subjects. Of course the experiment was a success. The girl, Sylvia Stengovic, didn't die, she became the living testament of a scientific breakthrough. But then, the story of how things played out for Sylvia got sensationalized in the media and created a weird fad. Parents made their unborn children go through the cat, uh, the, cat, cat huh, the catification procedure, even if they had no ailments at all. All because one particular girl whose life got saved through that treatment became a media darling for, it, for a bit. A whole generation of kids with those cat-like protrusions got born. And their parents got called cat boomers? A generation of parents obsessed with those cat-like features. 
The fad quickly passed, but the term remained in use. Eventually, cat boomer just started being used for people with the protrusions instead of their parents. I was wondering that. Okay. You keep calling them protrusions. Why is that? Because that's what they are. Eh? You didn't think things on those things on their head were ears, right? Sure, they can be moved because they're somehow they're somehow connected to the uh, facial and ear muscles. Thus, they can uh, move like a cat's and react to their mood. But in the end, they're just appendages with no real function. Huh. It still surprises me a bit though, that the biggest mutation they get after the treatment is just that. It's just that. Those ears are a small miracle on their own. People have been born with no eyes for less than in intrusive procedures. Really thought they were functional ears, huh? Let's say I learned quite a bit today. Thank you. Don't worry. I feel like I should apologize for talking so much instead. And keep in mind, I'm fucking up the terms. I don't want you saying someone got protrusion because of a catification procedure. I'll keep that in mind. Wait. What? Yeah, the guy's name was Sangovich. Huh? I just remember Sylvia Stangovich was around my age when I was a teen. Uh, there were some TV specials featuring her. And I just remember that I had the biggest crush on her. <laughs> now that I think about it, that crush had me very confused back then. And did you need to shout just now? Sorry. In any case, I'm out for the day. Alright, careful out there. Uh, yeah, I'm fucked. <laughs> yeah, I'm getting evicted. <laughs> yeah, I uh, I don't think I'm making it around that at that time. Oops. Well, been talking a lot with that Alma girl. Jealous. Mm. All right, let's go to work and probably get evicted afterwards. Good evening. Hey. Okay, so we've got almost everything, but we're still missing a couple of things for Saturday. And so, I designate you, Jillian Applegate, as official guy who goes to buy the rest of the stuff. Applegate? I have no idea who that is. Why me? I could send Jill, but I wouldn't dare to send the lady by herself. And I could go with her, but I believe the bar should have at least two people in the vicinity at all times. You're not gonna say anything, Jill? If it means not being a delivery girl, I'm happy to fake... I'm happy to fake helplessness. Ah, <sighs> fine. Give me that list. I'll be back sometime. Something tells me you're planning something, boss. What gives you that impression? Call it a gut feeling. Did you know Gil has a crush? He... what? A client of his. A girl that owns a bazaar. She's been coming on, on to him for ages. And he's only started... Uh, opening up. 
But he's taking steps backwards and I'm not gonna let him. He's opening up for fuck's sakes. And so the errands will take him to the bazaar, I take it. That's right. Huh. Alright then, to the office I go. As for me... Time to mix drinks and change lives. Go with a crush, huh? This place... Great! Oh, if it isn't... Hey Jill! Sorry, but is there anywhere I can hide? There's an unpleasant guy on my trail. Boss! Stalked woman incoming! The door's open! Go ahead. The door to... The door to the left. Thanks. Hello there. Oh, hi there. The other one. That's the bathroom. Wait. What's the dog doing in the bathroom? Now, where did she... Oh, the hellhole. Perfect. Hey, kid. I'll have the usual. Right. Huh. He remembered me after two weeks? Mr. Donovan's usual, usual drink, huh? That's a beer. A big one. Here. This seems right. The paper's been a mess lately. You'd think with all that's happening, they'd stay and do more reports. But they're all asking for a vacation. I can't afford to be under understaffed. So I had to So I had to come up with some sort of reward for whoever produced the most reports. I see no difference in my feed though. Mr. Donovan, I don't mean to sound rude, but... You do know the infamy of the augmented eye of the general public, right? A shitty page that will over-sensationalize anything and report useless things? Of course I know. Then why not try to rectify that image? Put it simply, I'm being clutched by the balls. In a non-pleasant way. Zybots Corp and company have an eye on every publication they haven't brought yet. Report on them once, and they'll find something to find you with. Twice, and you'll find your resources severely cut. Anything beyond that, and the best case scenario is that they'll buy you the damn operation to keep it quiet. I know there are more newsworthy things than whatever it is Lackey's picked out that week. But if I ever slap my ass on is on the line. Huh? Glad to see this hellhole is still in one piece. But BTC has been going apeshit closing bars lately. Oh yeah, that. Yesterday they closed one that served as a key part of a drug trafficking ring. And last week, they closed three small bars that uh, served as illegal chicken restaurants. Huh? Not to mention, there are like a hundred people who have BTC certificates but never use them. Instead, they keep those credit cr credentials around to stoop police from ringing their homes or warehouses. I don't know about you, but it's obvious to me that some... Restructuring will begin at the BTC after this whole thing. Man, shit ran deeper than I thought. No news outlet talks about that. Alright kid, let's have a moon blast now. Come again? Hey, even I have to break the routine from that time from time to time. A moon blast? That's that's a new one from him.
Okay. Um. Hold on. I got a message on my phone. Um. Uh. All on the rocks and blended. serve here now let's see what the rock is about um so what brought you here all right didn't you see a little coming in here blue hair big tits she's the one from the encore concert coming out not really did she jump to the roof then why were you looking for her did you want an interview? Not really, just hitting on her. Hey, I said hitting on her, not hitting her. Stop glaring. Why though? Are you that bored? Don't you have like a family or something? Have you seen that girl? Hot ass tits. Oh, wait, hot ass tits. Also, Hot ass and tits. I'm suffering the weirdest combo of being hard as fuck and curious as shit right now. I want to know just how detailed those King Class Chia models are personally. So you followed her. I've yet to meet a woman that can resist the charms of Donovan D. Dawson. You're in front of, you're in front of one. I'm guessing you have quite the selective memory. Like I said, then you have a family or something, a wife. But that woman cheats on me as much as I cheat on her. In fact, I'm pretty convinced she gets off on the thought of me cheating on her. So that little isn't here, huh? I have to find a busty enough replacement tonight or I'll explode. Hey, after you're done glaring, please serve me a pile driver. Right. Let's get him a pile driver, literally. Pile driver. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All mixed. Ball driver. Here. All right. Well, seeing as she's not here, I have no reason to stay. Maybe I'll find someone that looks a bit like her. The guy left. Oh, all right. Thanks for sheltering me. Uh, thanks for sheltering me, Dana. Hope your sister likes the, likes the video. No, thank you. Seems you had a hearty talk. Your boss is such a fun person. Her sister is a fan of mine. So I recorded a small video for her and took a couple of photos. How nice of you. It's nothing, really. And she did hide me, so it's the least I could do. But well, we're here already. Mind giving me something sweet? Sure. Miss Idol wants something sweet. Flavor, piano woman. Piano woman is sweet? Okay. Two. Three. 
four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two. One, two, three. One, two, three. Three. Um, all aged and mixed. Channel here. Thanks. So, you know why Donovan was following you? I don't, but I wasn't in the mood to deal with him. His questions were a bit over the line last time, too. Not the worst I've dealt with, but I just didn't want to humor him. I see. Seems like he was just trying to come on to you. You don't say. Well, not like he'd have a chance anyways. I'm not into older guys and I'm already committed to a relationship. Big way you are? That's not common knowledge. And the ones that hear it try to dismiss it as rumors, but... I've been in a relationship with my producer for a while now. Really. We were both single, and that kind of stuff is bound to happen when you spend so much time together. But it all starts when you read an entry I made in my blog about wanting to experience love and the like. He offered to help with that after he read it, and I thought, sure, why not? I already knew him well enough. It wouldn't hurt to try. How oh, nice. He's a stick in the mud where planning is due. But he's a sweetheart otherwise. I see. You know, I met two fans of yours lately. Really? Both of them were so excited when they uh when they were talking about you. It was amazing. Yeah. <laughs> I don't like the term fan too much. Check me as a bit pretentious in my opinion. I have many fans. I have many fans doesn't sit so well. I like many people who like my music better. Fan evokes an ugly or more pretentious image for me. Do you like uh, what I do, Jill? Do you like my music? To be honest, I haven't had much exposure to your work, but the few things I have heard are really good. I'm not gonna lie. Having talked to you, I, I feel like I would support you even if I didn't like it. So nice to hear. Hey, this will sound familiar, but do you have anything like tea? Let me see. Something like tea. If I remember correctly, something bitter but girly is fine too. Girly. Sugar rush. Maybe fluffy dream? No, that's girly and soft. Type. Girly drinks. Blue fairy? No. Better. Sunshine Cloud. Bitter, girly, soft. Okay. So. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. On the rocks. And blend it. Stop. Serve. Here. Yeah, this works. Hey. You're a King Class Chia, right? That I am. May I ask you something about your model? Sure. Are there any differences between you and DFC 72? 
Hmm. We both serve the same purpose, but the FC seventy twos have uh, have the port on their heads, which makes them more versatile. So there's something I need to see really quick. to tell my line lacks that uh or the resilience of the dt 01 ds um we're a tad more polished elsewhere more specifically our voice emulators are more advanced and our movements are smoother A trade-off of functionality and power for appearance, you could say. Ah, I see. So, anything new for this concert? Hmm, well, it is an encore, so we're trying to make it the same for those that couldn't go to the first, f first one. Uh, but we always try to spice it up. Like, maybe with a surprise song or something. There was this one time I sang a cover of my song by B-Link. Of course, in return, they sang Your Love is a Drug. Ah. Huh. You know the B-Link girls? Really nice kids. You'd be surprised how different from their onstage personas they are. Really? Susie, for example, can be really childish at times. She also laughs a lot, and loudly at that. Meanwhile, Ina is a party girl through and through. If they're not on tour, she spends her time uh, partying like crazy. Huh, hard to believe. I mean, their image is that of stoic, of stoic girls with literal expression. Almost like living Victorian dolls or something. Well, they wanted to pop out in the public. They once told me if we want people to notice us, we have to break the cutesy idol concept. And so, they took the opposite round by becoming cool beauties with melancholic songs. I wouldn't say they went the opposite way. The opposite of cutesy idols would be unkept, tone deaf girls spewing uh, vitriol and hate. True, I guess. Sorry, I might need to bash my head against the cupboard again. Well, I gotta go. Let's have a sparkle start. But, but let's have a sparkle start first. Alright, Sparkle Star for Miss Idol. Two. Aged. I might as well see a drunken idol again. I love that. Uh, aged and mixed. Sparks are here. Sparkling. Well, so it's a pleasure, Jill. Please come again. We'll do. Oh, the oh the handsome bartender. Nice to meet you. Um, huh? Boss, Jill's back. I'll take my break. All right. Oh. <laughs> um, I should take this opportunity for me to take a break. Um,
All right, let's keep going. Note to self. Buy oil for the... Buy oil for that door. All right, then. Jill, you're in my spot, please. Oh, sorry. Also, you're cleaning one of boss's uh, chicken buckets. Did boss ask you to do that? If I told you she did, would you believe me? Without a doubt. Let's go with that then. Right. Greetings. Ah, Stella, what can I get you? I'll go with a Bleeding Jane today. Bleeding Jane for Stella. As always. Let's make it big. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm gonna have to look at my other phone just to, just to, like, turn off some of the alarms because, uh, I, like, to wake up last, like, yesterday I put, like, a bunch of alarms and none of them woke me up. So, yeah, I'm gonna have to, like, pause, like, do an awkward pause just to turn the, like, the fucking alarms off. Uh, what are they doing? Bleeding chain, right. All blended. Uh, yeah. Here you go. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. What brought you here? What brought you here today? What did I say? I came by myself, actually. I was in the, I was in the area and stopped to say hi. Oh, it's pretty interesting, though. When I first saw you, I doubted you'd ever come here again. Well, this place is comfortable, I must admit. So quiet and secluded. It's also clean, really clean. Gil is the one that can... Uh, Gil is the one you can own that, owe, owe that to. The guy takes pride in how, how clean he keeps things around here. If you ever need cleaning stuff, he's a nice pick. Really? Hmm, 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 hmm. He's a bit out of it today, though. I see. Hey, Jill. Have you ever heard of the new gold rush in the city? Gold rush? Everyone is paying small fortunes to get their hands on a piece of white gem knight suit. Of... of what? Did I just say white gem knight? What is this, Yu-Gi-Oh? Oh my god. Of white knight suits. I think I heard or read something about that. I think I heard or read something about that, 
but I'm having doubts, so probably not. In any case, how is it a... Uh, what is this? Wait, what, what is this? Wait, <laughs> hold on. Yes, we're getting someone on call at, at some point. Uh, I'm not sure when. We're, we're getting... Oh, Thursday morning. Next Thursday mo Oh my god, next Thursday morning. Oh my god, wait, that's... <laughs> oh, fantastic. Okay. Um, well... What did I expect? <laughs> All right, next Thursday morning. Oh wait, it's Friday. Wait, since when was it Friday? Hold on, what has it been? Fr what? It's Friday? Since when? Well, since technically now, because it's eight a.m. But uh. Wait, it's Friday? I just realized that today is Friday. When did that happen? When did that happen? <laughs> I, I, I'm, I'm genuinely curious. When, when was... Did, did streaming so... Uh, I get I have no sense of time, but like... <laughs> oh. Okay, apparently it's Friday. Okay, sure. In any case, how is it a gold rush? Well, the tech behind the suits was always safely guarded. But after the events at the bank... Sorry. After the events at the bank, the security were remotely shut down, breaking many of them in the process. Many units dropped their armor right there and fled when the lynchings went on. Uh, any white knight still stuck in their suit had to take the armor off manually to run away. It all happened in the middle of the lynchings, so they'd be sitting ducks if they don't. Some weren't that lucky. They got beaten up while they weren't able to move. Wait, I need to buy a game real quick. Hold on. I just got invited to play a game. Because I'm gonna be streaming for like my whole life. But wait, Konami Pop. Hold on. There's a on on Steam. There's a Konami Publisher sales, and the screenshot they use is the Bonds Beyond Time movie. Excuse me. Hold on. What is there? A, is there? A, is there a game I don't know? There's. The Legacy of the Duelist game, every single way too expensive DLC.
and there's like wait ninja turtles is a konami game what the fuck there's there's like castlevania Why do the screenshots show Bonds Beyond Time? The fucking Bonds Beyond Time movie on Steam. Yo, I think Konami's clickbaiting. Uh, anyway, what was the game? Uh, Duck Game? It's nine, it's ten pounds. Ten pounds. Uh, apparently it's what, uh, thirteen dollars? Yes, nine pounds seems right. All right, let's get this fucking game. What am I gonna use this money for? Food? No, I'll probably just buy more beer, probably. So, eh. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna need to... Prove... There we go. Okay, got a new game in the library. My back hurts also. Which is fantastic. Alright, um... Okay. Finally gonna have someone in call to keep my sanity in check. Um... So between the suits becoming glorified paperweights and many white knights going on the run... There ended up being a lot of junk lying around. But the whole scientific community is rejoicing. They're on a race to reverse engineer the suits that take as much technology as possible from them. And of course, even single pieces of the armor fetch a high price these days. Could anyone see any profits from that research to justify those experiments? E expenses? It's new tech. A whole new field ripe with uh, patent, pa patents. Pa patents. Pa puh. Just open for many, so I'd say yes. Huh. I mean, BTC is literally a a conglomerate build upon upon patterns and trademarks. I can see how. There is one weird case though. Hmm. There's this guy named Jack. He's the captain of a very unique Blitzkrieg Corps unit. Unique? He's the guy. Wait, no. The guy had a really small unit. Five people, including himself. The aesthetics of his unit's armor was heavily modded to the point that they look like a squad of henshin heroes. Hen what? Um, they look... They looked really gaudy. Wait, hen henshin heroes? Isn't henshin like... Erotic, or am I am I forgetting, or am I remembering wrong? I don't know. But it turned out that the guy actually broke through the software and disabled the remote switch. He has one of the few, if not the only, suits of armor with the OS int the the OS intact. To say they're amongst the most wanted people would be an understatement. You know a lot about this. It's interesting, the, am the amount of things you hear when dealing with drunk people of all kinds in the same place. 
It also helps to uh, put on a front that makes people lower their guard. That should sound familiar to you. True. Wait. Here's a freebie, a fun fact. The failsafe was originally going to involve the armor blowing up and leaving no traces. But regulations and laws didn't allow that kind of technology near civilians. So I guess even Saibatsu Corp has its limits, huh? People love to demonize Saibatsu Corp because, let's face it, they are far from innocent. But they're not evil overlords. They're just greedy. They're just a big corporation. They just so happen to have control over what Tantamus Tan Tan Tantamount over what Tantamounts to a city. What the fuck? Did um, girl, speak English, damn it. Um, but corporations will naturally resort to draconian methods. I've heard horror stories from people outside the city about trying to use product placement. If so, uh, wait, if you so much as hold a bottle the wrong way or get in the way of a logo, you'll be in lots of trouble. And that's not start with the theme parks or the like. Those are dystopias of their own. Then again, most of the demon de demonization is due to Quincy being such a clown. He has no power anyways. He's just the front that whatever council behind Z Zybotsy Corp cho chose. He makes a fool of himself and the attention is taken away from whatever it is that Zaibatsu Corp is actually doing. <sighs> yeah. Uh, so that you were actually saying is that Glitch City... Wait, so what you were actually saying is that Glitch City is basically a huge theme park. I've called the White Knights glorified mall security in the past, so yeah. Huh. No, seriously, hen what? Um, <clears throat> Can I get a Brantini? Can I get a Brantini here, please? Sure, sure. Let's give her Brantini. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6, 1, 2, aged, mixed. Renty, serve. Here. Thanks. So I take it you're in a good mood today. Does it show? A bit. Yeah, well... I managed to nab, to nab a couple of tickets for the Kiramiki Encore concert. Nice. Alright, as it turns out, she was just here. Again? I'm um, sorry. Again? Can't believe I just missed her. I was surprised too. I was more surprised she remembered my name though. And like last time, she was quite the graceful client. Man, so those rumors about her being really nice in person were actually true. Amazing. I mean, you always want the famous people to be nice in real life. But having such a... Having such backing to that claim to hear that she is nice to everyone. It's nice to hear, you know? In fact, many think that's what made her so famous so quickly. 
Uh, now she's down to earth and totally accessible, making her someone everyone wants to root for. I see. Yeah, I mean... I guess you don't want to feel like you're supporting crappy people. Although, to be honest, I never put much thought into that one. Hell. Oh. Hell, oh, half the time, I just have no idea who made what I use, nor I, nor do I care much. Being a nice person will take you far enough. Well, being a nice person will take you far, though. My dad always insisted insisted that being ruthless in the bat in in the boardroom doesn't mean being an ass. And he was actually, and he actually, and he, and he has actually managed to get certain contracts over other more powerful people. All thanks to being a nice guy overall. Sounds like good advice. But more importantly, Daddy. <clears throat> do you really believe me saying? Do you really believe me saying she was just here that easily? You're not the kind to lie about stuff like that, so sure. Thanks, I guess. That said, can you go to the con- Uh, can you go to the concert so easily? What about security and the like? My dad always has a unit keeping an eye on me from a distance. And you'd be surprised at how easily I can disguise myself with just a different hairdo and cap. I see. I wonder if I could get into the disabled line with Say and her wounds. Although she'll probably nag me about how she doesn't need it. Uh, and we shouldn't abuse it. And she'll abuse that. <laughs> hey, can you get me a classic drink? Sure. Something classic. Type classic. Frothy water. Some frothy water. All aged. And mixed. Here. Thank you. Do you have many servants around the house, Stella? I do, but they've been with us for so long, they're pretty much family. My dad has always said that if you earn someone's trust, they'll gleefully work for you and, tr and everyone wins. We even had a young gardener that left to study engineering and he actually came back we still he still comes by every weekend to tend to the plants man that sounds nice let me know if you're ever in need of a job i might find you something thanks for the offer wait hmm? i just realized something's off with the whole tech gold rush story what would it be wouldn't all that tech be patent patented anyways? I get trying to crack it in the first place, but that would be true. If the tech was patented in the first place, it isn't. Zaibatsu have been so paranoid about making the white knights untouchable that they never patented anything. A patent would be in a database that someone could hack and retrieve valuable info from. Not to mention, they've been using tech from other companies without any authorization. And no patent registry in their right mind would approve of that global shutdown signal. Let alone how it how it immobilized everyone still inside one of those suits. 
so the ones that were upholding the law did so using suits that are by all means illegal the irony runs deep wouldn't you say why do it though when you have so much money you can start thinking you can screw around with the rules all that power makes you think you're above every law there is And this city is what happens when those with money start making the rules. I'm curious though. Have you even covered up any fuck ups by using money? I think we've all done things we're not too proud of at some point in our lives. Well, Jill, I gotta go. Always a pleasure. Please come again. Ah, uh, Alma. No, hello? You're pretty insistent on that one, aren't you? It's basic court- it's basic courtesy. Something I will fight to uphold. First, the greetings stop when saying please and thanks. First, the greetings stop. Then you say please and thanks. Stops. And before you know it, boom. Total anarchy. You're exaggerating. I'm not. The fact that... In fact, I'll go through that door again. And I experience... And I expect you to properly greet me this time. Fine. Hello, Jill. Once upon a midnight dreary while I... Pondered weak and weary over many a quaint and curious volume of foreign love. While I nodded nearly napping, suddenly there came a tapping. As what as of someone gently rapping rapping at my chamber door. Tis some visitor, I muttered. Tapping at my chamber door. Only this is only this and nothing more. You overdid it. You totally overdid it. Quaff the bartender. I did not. So you like poetry? I had a phase. Can I get you something? Let's start with a big Cobalt Velvet. Sure. Big Cobalt Velvet for Alma. There's something I've been wondering about for a while. Hmm? Does the name Shadowmaster 69's Chronicles ring any bells? Wow, you went pale. N no, the name doesn't ring any bells. May 22nd. Today, my daily card reading told me that I'd meet great change thanks to an old man. My biology teacher told me that I've been picked for an inter-school contact contest with my latest essay i just knew a scientific theory on the idea of auras wasn't as revolutionary as i thought soon i'll bring the world into the occult science singularity later entries don't even seem to have gone that well though Mentions of being laughed at, being lectured on why that essay was wrong. Jill? 
I made sure to delete that vlog. No evidence should be left. I can think of at least six different sources off the top of my head that have that have all that stuff archived. Why? Why? Jeez, relax. It's not that bad. What do you mean it's not that bad? Don't you realize how embarrassing it all is? We've all been young, Joe. Relax. It's not like you're still like that nowadays. That would have been embarrassing. You're not still like that, right? Gods, no. I gave up on that whole occult stuff. It's just that remembering all that stuff is... Brrr. I don't know. I like the way you looked. All dressed in black. With the rare accessory popping out. Thanks to the colors. I mean... At least you had the decency to use makeup and take care of yourself. So you have a pick. Oh god. You have a fucking pick. Why do you do this to me? Why do you dig out the sins of my past? I was bored. Last Friday I had to take my mind off the whole Diana thing. So I ran a small background check on you. Simple stuff, just checking past internet activities. Please don't run background checks like that. I just used a search engine, you know? I didn't request documents or anything. What led you to the page? You do realize your main mail account everywhere is still the one you used back then, right? Like I said, relax. You're obsessed with occultism and I wanted to kiss all the boys. And I kind of almost accomplished that in middle school, which still sort of haunts me today. <laughs> Never underestimate the length old classmates will go to track you down. Especially if they think you're still the girl that kissed them for fun and they're lonely to boot. We all, have, we all have some things we're not too proud of as adults. <sighs> now I know how criminals feel when evidence is used against them. I have to ask though, why the 69? It was supposed to be 69, not 69. Like, in reference to uh, the lovers and the hermit. I was convinced it meant wise choices. Jill, there's nobody that would read that as 6 9. I I was a 12 I was 12 at the time. Even at 12 I I fucking knew what 69 was. Just how innocent were you back then? You have no idea. Well, let's sweeten up things. Let's sweeten up things a bit. I have a sugar rush. Sure. A sugar rush. Are you trendy now or something? Mix it, stop, sugar rush syrup. Here. This is the thing. Say, Alma. Speaking of the past, what was your last long-term relationship like? That started... Oof. You dug through my past. 
I've earned the right to dig through yours. Fine, fine. Long lasting relationships, huh? Romantic ones, I'm guessing. Yep. Hmm. Well, I've had about four boyfriends who I'd describe as such that I've introduced my family to and all. The first one was in high school. I broke up with him because he cheated on me. I remember the other girl trying to pick a fight and me just saying, keep the fucker. <laughs> the second one was during my freshman year. I broke up with him after he thought it'd be funny to punch me in the arm. <laughs> 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 he starts with a friendly hit and before you know it anyways the other guy I met shortly after I dropped out he was interested in marriage but he wanted to get married after only half a year or so of knowing him and then there's Richard who? I spent almost four years with him. We got along pretty well. We had awesome chemistry. I truly loved him. But as time went by, there was a rift that started separating us. He just didn't like my family. He didn't? Moreover, he wasn't a family person. He distanced himself from his own and voiced that he didn't want kids. Which, I mean, fair. Who, who does? There was a part of me that wanted to believe, even if it was just for a little bit, that maybe he'd change his mind. But as much as I loved him, not one detail brought a growing gap between us and at one point I just had to break up with him but I'm not here to depress you bring me a beer will ya? sure let's bring her a beer Thanks for telling me that, by the way. Don't mention it. Okay, one more question, and we're even. Oh, you really are embarrassed of that blog, huh? Sure, ask away. At what age did you get those implants in your boobs? Jill, I love you, and I know you're saying that in jest... But I've lived through so many rumors about me getting plastic surgery that I can't and won't take it as a joke. As such, and honoring our friendship, I'll just say this. They're real, and they're spectacular. Now ask the real question before I slap you. I'll grant you one, and only one chance to call me by my full name uh, as a compensation then. I gladly take your offer. It's funny that you mentioned slapping because my real question was why did you get your hands chopped? <laughs> chopped. Well, there's a couple of reasons. First is that I spend lots of time typing and these replacements help me avoid carpal tunnel syndrome. Oh. There's other utilities like how I can interface with many devices. For example, there's a tiny computer embedded in my glasses. If I move my index finger, finger it acts like a, the computer cur the computer's cursor. 
There's lots more, but there's small things that don't sound that impressive when I say it out loud. How did your family take the operation? You took it well enough, except for mom. She freaked out for mumps. <sighs> she even went to the hospital to ask to ask for my hands. Didn't you miss them? Sometimes, but just during emotional moments. But as luck would have it, someone else has them. Shortly before my operation, there was a, an accident on the highway. One of the victims was this young lady whose right hand got completely crushed. I told him to check if we were compatible and all that. I mean, implants are not everyone's first choice if they can get natural replacement. A bit of cosmetic treatment and it could pass off as her original hand no problem. Last I heard, we were compatible and the family agreed to the donation. I don't know what became of her, but I hope she's fine. You didn't tell your mom about that? <sighs> Oof. I didn't want her pestering the poor girl. So are we cool now? Are we even now? Are we? You are pretty pissed about my commenting regarding your boobs. Again, I'm sorry I sounded a lot less rude in my head. Yeah, don't worry about that. Besides... I get your call... I'll get to call you Julianne once. Now... Now you don't. Eh? Why? You just called me by my full name. Are you serious? One chance and one chance... One chance is only one chance. And you just mess and you just use that up. Damn it. Surprise. Hey Elma, this might be a weird tangent, but do you believe in ghosts? Hey. Not particularly, no. Although, there was this paper I read once that was quite interesting. Hmm? It proposed a scenario where nanomachine clusters would leave the body after death. And then acted as a collective hive mind through residual brain waves. Wait. Then act as a collective hive mind for residual brain waves. The result would basically be an image, not unlike a hologram. The result would basically be an image, not a, not a hologram. First typical hypothesis fell because such an animachine density is imposed in my body. In jump five, the amount needed is enough to make the blood too dense for the for one heart. And it's got and it's not like brain waves are potent enough to create those reactions. <laughs> Still an interesting read though. I see. Hmm. Don't give me that look, it's not my fault if you're com if you're you've convinced yourself that you're crazy. 
No. No, then let's see. Yeah. See ya. All done. I am. What about Jill? For some reason, the idle girl left. Left him like that, it seems. You think? I might have been... A while. Since he was out. True. Hey boss, you're a fan of wrestling, aren't you? I mean you were uh I mean you were a wrestler, so that I am, yeah, why? I was wondering, isn't wrestling fake? Aren't twin tail for little girls and teens in 8th grade? With 8th grade syndrome? 8th grade what? When you get down to it, wrestling is as real as a soap opera. I mean, you don't really expect a legal lawsuit to be fixed in a ring, right? Sure, in any in in my ideal world you would just solve your problems through good old wrestling, but Um <clears throat> No seriously, eighth grade what? But you don't go around calling soap operas fake. It's a show. It just so happens to use fights as an expression. You might as well see it as a unique form of theater. Besides, considering... Besides, considering the injuries many wrestlers suffer, it's not all fake. No. Oh, that's a hit. So, what, what happened? Hopefully, that didn't just dox my shit. Let me let me open the stream real quick. Should be fine. Uh, I didn't think about it that way. Sadly, I won't stand for anyone bad mouthing wrestler, wrestling. So now I have to go and break Jill's back to make you humble. Oh well. Wait, what? Come here, fuck boy. Fuck boy. Eighth grade. What? Who would have thought we'd get a comp bonfire idol at in the bar? Damn, we're so close. Just need 2,000 more. Reverend contract is now invalid. Please vacate the place by February or discuss a renewal, renewal with your landlord. Pay her rent. This will distract her work. Distract her at work. Have a nice day. Shit. I think this is like an ending, huh? 
Hold on, let me go and refresh because I'm. I need to wake my ass up. Hold up. I have just a thing. Hold on. Hold on, yeah. Cool. Uh, still feeling tired. Fuck. Um, let me use my other countermeasures. Hold on. It wasn't that. Those are the beer bottles that I have over here. I don't know. I don't just throw them away. Actually, that sounds probably like a better idea, huh? Right. Then think about that. Okay, hold up. Alright. The alley where you found me is pretty comfortable. Why hit you? Speaking of comfortable, I kind of want to... I kind of want to lie down for like a few seconds just to remember what it feels like. Alright, let me do that. Uh, hopefully I won't fall asleep in those few seconds. Alright, let's see. In fact, I won't even mute. If I get doxxed, I get doxxed.
Yep, I can confirm the bed is a death trap. All right. Let's go. Okay. Okay, let's see. I think these funds probably uh have changed my ending. December 30th. Good evening. Mm-hmm. Jill, are you humming Shine Spark? Ah, hey Jill. Are you okay? Are you in love maybe? Hmm, nothing of the sort. I'm fine. Right. No, seriously, did you fuck? Men only get so happy after they fucked. That's not... Oh my god, you totally fucked. Was it Alma? Did you have seven minutes in heaven with her? No, I didn't. In any case, congratulations. I haven't seen you this happy since... The... Well, never. Today is... Uh, is... Today's escapades will bring us to a familiar place and... Shit. Jill, I'm out. I'm gonna... Not so fast, flat bartender. If that's... If that's even your real name. Last time my viewership had... Had, had a weird peak while I was passed out. So I'm here to find... Find out what made people so interested. Eh? Hmm. Do I have something on my face? This guy totally fucked. No doubt about it. That gleam in his eyes is unmistakable. Oh, whatever. Just keep it down. Ah, Jill. You're hit. Isn't that the passed out girl from two weeks ago? I'm not here. Oh, sorry. I'll be back in my office then. Anyway. Time to mix drinks and change lives. Um. You are too happy and you are too mopey. What happened? I was right. Eh? That Laura girl. Uh, was head over heels for him. I was right on the money. Um. Say, that girl. I'm not here. Sorry. Isn't she the one that passed out last time? Anyways. Betty was right. And that deserves a beer. And you? I'm fine. Holy shit, that's a new love. Evicted. Holy shit, that's a new love for me. This one's new. Hold on. something out oh I put three of this one two three four what happened here what 
I swear I put two. Oh my god. It doesn't register sometimes, I feel like. Now, please. Thank you. Sir. Here. Woo. So, the girl was actually infatuated with him? Should have seen her screaming from the top of her lungs that she liked him. And him just standing there thinking. Just like that. In retrospect, it was a tad too cliche for my taste. Brrr. Wait a minute. Oh, yeah. Okay. Still, I knew she liked him. I was right, I was right. He didn't seem particularly happy. He never is. Unlike your co-worker. Holy shit, did he fuck? You're making it too obvious, Gail. Jill. How? That beaming face is unmistakable. The face of a guy that got some and enjoyed every moment. Back to Dio though. Like I said, he seems lost in thought. Victories like these are few and far between. Let me enjoy myself. <sighs> Gonna get something non-alcoholic here. That's not how you should drown your sorrows, piece of scrap. I have a bloom light. Alright, bloom light. I shouldn't have skipped November's rent to pay that mobile game debt. So, bloom light. What, wait, what happened? Um, uh, on the rocks, yeah. I fucked something up. I'm not even gonna bother. What am I fucking up? Oh, aged on the rocks and mixed. Something non alcoholic, right? Um,
Uh, sorry, I was half asleep. What was I doing? Non alcoholic? Mercury glass. No. Bleeding Jane is an alcoholic. Oh wait, it was right. Wait, what? I thought I was... Um... What was the first one? I don't remember the order, that was... I'm, I'm, I'm half asleep. Um... Where are, you, where, where are the others again? Did she just want the beer? Did she want... Let me look back at the stream real quick. Oh, uh, uh, Bleeding Jane. Right, 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 right. Or was the... No, no, no. The Bleeding Jane was the... Was the one that... Was the non-alcoholic one, right? Oh, bloom light, bloom light. That's what it was. Uh, hello, Fazan. How you doing? I am. If if I'm I'm gonna be a, I'm I'm gonna be a little slow, and that's because I haven't slept in a little while. Um, but yes, I I I, rem I remember what it was. It was it was this one two. Three, four, uh, aged on the rocks. Okay, this, one, two, three, one, two. Uh, and mix. Yes. Here. Thanks. Same. Sub so, you want, but I'm freaking out here. I know nothing about relationships. I have no idea what to do. But how are you doing today? Well, for starters, what do you think, Jill? Me? Her? Betty, I've seen a few of your relationships, remember? Aside from Veronica, there's Angela, Pamela, Sandra, Rita, Monica, Erica, Tina, Mary, and Jessica. Or should I say, didn't share the bed sheets, snores like a pig, cold feet, shampoo, waster, chocolate addict. Too religious, fan of the wrong rugby team, T 
T. 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 Whatever the fuck that says. And chews with her mouth open. What do you think, Jill? That must be quite the heartbreak to have so many relationships in a period of time. I mean, about a piece of scrap. I mean, about a piece of scrap situation. And thank you. I'm not the right person for this. Um, Jill? Mm hmm. He's. He's still on fucking Cloud Nine. Or is it fucking in Cloud Nine? What about. <coughs> sneaky, sneaky. Mm -hmm. I'll be damned, she actually hides pretty well. <sighs> For starters, how do you feel about her? I don't know. I don't know her that well. You could start there. Ask her out sometime. Get to know her. Maybe she'll change her mind. Maybe you'll change yours. In the end, you lose nothing by... What? I'm just realizing I'm giving love, love advice to Lilim. So I don't know how well it applies to you. Eh, these things... These things are humans in all but organs nowadays anyways. Even if that's the case... It's interesting that she felt that way towards him. Why wouldn't she? Uh, this fella is... Is a good catch if I do see so myself. And like I said... Humans and all but organs. You've surely encountered Lilim that me that you sometimes forget are not humans. Well we live in weird times, but hey, it only makes them more interesting. It's odd going on other cities and seeing the same integration of Lilim though. I'm thirsty. Give me a second. No, hold on. Back. All right. Yeah. Well, Good City is pretty much the cradle of society experiments involving Lilim integration. So, hmm. Anyway, just try to get to know her. You'll find out how you feel. It you feel afterwards. Yeah, I think I'll try that. It's quite done. Inspired advice, if you ask me. Anything else? Let's commemorate the occasion with a piano man and piano woman. <sighs> Loving my land, lo my, my landowner. Have to wait at least a month for a new contract. Alright, so piano man. One, two, one, two, three. One, two, three, four, five. Uh... One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. All on the rocks, mix. Next is a piano woman. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two. One, two, three. One, two, three. Aged and mixed. Here. And now we reach a stalemate. I normally take the piano man, 
but I feel like there's a symbolic value in taking the woman. Hmm. Why are they like that then? Hmm? I hate Laura. You what? She's gonna take you away from me. You're my piece of scrap, not hers. You're mine, mine. Betty, you don't own me. Besides, I can't for the life of me leave you alone. I feel like the moment I let you out of my sight, you'll just crash. <laughs> That's not a laughing matter. It's on making sure you aren't kicking people. That's not normal, you know. Besides, it's not like I have something with her. You're right. So you won't leave me? <sighs> I'd ruin myself sick if I left you to your own de devices, honestly. We should leave now. Oh yeah. We're holding up a, a small New Year's party tomorrow. I don't know if you want to come. We'll come. Are you sure? We will. Fine. We'll be here, Jill. Anyway, see you then. Bye, Jill. Wait, does that say Bill? Please come again. Party, I'd love to go. But I told everyone that tomorrow I'd end the year with a party myself, so... Sorry. I totally forgot she was already here. Man, that was such bliss. Still, I can't see how traffic spiked. Things can get fun. Things can get fun here. And just like the last time, I need to show my viewers something fun. Give me something nasty. Something nasty. Uh, I guess something manly. Let's do curve spike. Is this something manly though? Nah, eh, fuck it. I'm committed at this point. Yeah, get drunk and die, you. Um... All blended. Here. This is the... <coughs> Hold on. It was nasty, alright? And now it's time for me to be a nice person and give you something nice. Huh? It's the second time I'm here, so it's only natural you get your own copy of, the, of my theme song. No thank you. Don't be shy, let me give you one. I mean it, no thank you. Well, it's too late. It's already in your players. That can't... How in the ever-living fuck did you do it? Magic. That's bullshit. Video editing magic. Did you just hack into the music player? Let's move on, shall we? <sighs> yeah, whatever. Hey, weren't there dogs? Last time we talked about this place, we talked about this place like it, like it was this uh, zany heaven of sorts. But I see the same shit. Seriously, no decorations or anything of the like? Good question. Where are the dogs? I either haven't paid enough attention to their arrival or they haven't come. Idols, newspaper managers, talking dogs, and yet this is the same old bar like last time. I might sue you for fake advertising, you know? 
Now that I think about it, maybe boss just donated mine to this zero thing. And then trick the dogs, the dog into coming here as a part timer for kicks. Oh well, anything interesting lately? I mean, it's not like I miss them, but they should at least show their faces. Hello? Sorry, what did you say? I was asking if there was any new stories. This is not a newspaper, you know. No one's had a crazy stories on demand streaming de device. It's a big fat lie and you know it. Shut up. But I said nothing. <laughs> I meant... Uh, so shut that idea up. Yeah, the... I won't. Last time I came here, I'm... the viewership peaked for some reason. And I want to find out why. Because you got drunk as shit and almost died. Maybe Pretty Boy over there can tell us the story of who he fucked. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. He's so distracted, he won't even make a retort. Amazing. I guess there's something worth saying, but... I want to hear it. Well, Kiramiki came yesterday again. You're shitting me. You expect me to believe she came all the way here again? Do you even have proof? Like the glass from last time? Well... If I may interject... You've been listening, boss. You've been listening, boss? The walls are pretty thin. Oh. Anyway, she did. I even took a pic with her. She did what? You knew, you knew she did. Let's see. <sighs> why, why, why? I tried to make an appointment with her and she's always busy. But you sit there and just come watching over. But you just sit there and she just comes waltzing over? It's not fair. Hey, if I knew... Hey, if I knew how the hell stuff like this... Stuff like this... That happened, I'd share my secrets. Uh... I was just as baffled as you are right now. Yeah, but I bet... They're not even that much of a fan anyway, are you? You're not wrong. Can you just tell me how nice she was as a client? Very graceful. A very graceful client, much like the last time. A really nice girl. I'm gonna give you my number. If she ever comes back, you let me know, you hear? I'm not gonna let you keep her to yourself. I really doubt she'll come back again, though. She already came twice, I'm not taking any chances. Ah, I need something to drown this anger with. Give me something girly, will you? Okay. Girly drinks.
Um, on the rocks, landed. Okay. Oh. Stop. Sun cloud, sir. Here. You. Let's just chill a bit. It's still not fair. You know, you're boring today. You're not chatting that much, nor are you doing anything funny. Maybe the whole pick your ship thing. Maybe the whole peak viewership thing is just you. Yeah? Maybe this bar and me both had nothing to do with the spike. Maybe you were just that good. Are you hitting on me? I'm not. In fact, I'm kind of trying to get you to leave pronto. Don't be so hard on the girl. She's fun. Another nuisance shows up. Wow, Joe hates me. It's not hate, it's just... Wait, I'm not having this conversation again. Boring. Hey, hey. You are curious, right? About Fuckboy's partner. Wanna know who it was? Do you know? Maybe, maybe not. Uh... That may be... That maybe not settles it then. Not taking any chances. Oh, come on. Hmm. Bartender. You're making lots of faces there. It's nothing, really. Did the two bartenders break or something? Should I call the manager tech support? Hey, Joe. Inner and outer voice, remember? Fuck. What? Who fucked? Aside from that guy, I mean. Um, uh... Say, you're hardly calm today. Well, I've been getting more sleep recently. <laughs> Lucky you, I wish. That, that way I don't feel like if I stop speaking I'll die. Crash is one hell of a drug. And wouldn't you know I can actually make make a premium time if I if I go commando, huh? Yes. But come on, I'm getting bored out of my ass here. Do something. I'm not a dog. You can't ask me to roll over, you know. Mind if I entertain you a bit then, boss? You and Jill take a break. I'll entertain the Missy here. Alright. Oh no. OBS disconnected. What happened? Why did OBS disconnect? Oh my god. OBS disconnected. Oh my god. That is annoying. That bothers me so fucking much. Anyway, I need to save, and it's important that I do it on a different file. Um, I need to, like, wake up in some way. I don't know how. Yeah, does anyone know, like, the secrets of waking your ass up when you're like dying okay um want one hmm no thanks i don't smoke all right i got a text from alma boss alma and gil didn't fuck well that's a bummer she is sending congratulations your way, though. Tell her I said thanks, I guess. So, who was the lucky girl? So, it was a guy? I know, I thought he swung that way. It wasn't a guy. So, it was a girl? 
and you did fuck? I don't feel comfortable talking about that, you know? You gotta make things easy for me, though. Also, I mean, you're pretty hard to get close to you, you know? You never talk about yourself. You're talkative so long as it doesn't involve you directly. Teasing you is literally the only way I know to get through to you. You make me sound like some weird loner. You are a weird loner. Oh wait, you make me sound like a weird loner. You are a weird loner. Um, at least tell me if you enjoyed the night you spent with whoever it was. I did. Good for you. Why are you having Sunshine Stone so much though? Well, after that idol came yesterday again, I looked, to, I looked up her discography and I can't stop humming or listening to them. Right. Oh god. You didn't fuck the idol girl, did you? No. Why would that be a problem though? I don't know, it just feel weird. Well, that's that for the break. Let's go back. Right. Oh, and Jill? Hmm? Keep in mind that what I said about opening up more, I mean it. <laughs> that way, it won't tease you so often. Listening to what you say, that has to be the weirdest thing I've heard this year. Shut up. Uh, I wonder if Alma finds uh, Jill attractive. And that's that. Back. What were you two doing back there? Fucking. Oh, so just chatting then. Mm-hmm. Holy crap. Didn't think you two really fuck. Did you two really fuck? John has a Facebook man who fucked to death recently. See, Jill? You're making it too obvious. How? Um. What will we have today? I have a gut punch. Coming right... Eh? What? Nothing. I shouldn't have skipped October's rent to buy that Wi-Fi router dildo. Excuse- Uh huh. Um, anyway, gut punch. Aged and mixed. Here. Stop looking at me like that. Sorry. Are you okay? It's worth you to order something like that. Yeah, I'm just trying out stuff. Did you know Lilim tongues are designed to identify food using the chemical components? Our tongue were designed uh were designed with the human ones in mind. For example, the first flavors that we detect are sour and bitter, just like you guys. I checked my personal specs and apparently my sensitivity is set to 1.2235 times. That makes me hate those flavors because I feel them harder. While well, that exposition, I mean, I'd lie if I say I wasn't interested, but why? Well, after last time, I got curious and started checking how many my, of my system, systems worked in detail. For example, the tips of my fingers are so sensitive to vibrations, you can make them a, seismon, a, se, a, se, a seismograph with them. I don't know what that is. Huh? And checking that, 
I found that it's all based on how humans work. And I don't be thinking about what you said. I mean, for my humans to work, humans had to understand how they work. Uh, and after all, those discoveries, they're not any more or less artificial. Why should I be? I don't know. I don't know, looking up how that suddenly made me feel. Recently it was the opposite of what I felt last time. I feel like I'm here right now. Love to hear that. Alright then, let's just something sweet now. Something sweet. Just make a piano woman. Uh, what is it? All aged. Wait, no, 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 no. Do not reset, do not reset, please. Oh, thank you. Um, yeah, mix. I fucked it up. I had the maged. I don't know, I fucked something up. Um, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. One, two. One, two, three. No, only aged and mixed. There we go, service. Here. Ah, nice. To be honest, it's a bit surreal for me. What? I'm here talking to you and you're answering like any human would. You're even expressing happiness. I remember when I was a kid, I was... I usually try to strike conversation with AIs. But after I did, they just start looping through their built-in answers, repeating over the same things over and over again. That, that always made it crash. That always made me crash back into my reality. When I think back to, when I think back to that having such advanced AI like you here, adva uh, right now is amazing. I don't know. It makes my inner child happy to see something she always dreamed of. It helps when I feel particular. Particularly cynical. Now you flatter me. Besides, I've always thought about humans like nature's lilum. Uh, the method might have been different, but we too evolved from a more simple four ages ago. If Lilith managed to create biological life years from now, we will all have come full circle. Uh, so what should I take care of from this? Dorothy, you love me? Oh wait, you love me? Don't ever do that. Anything else? 
Let's go with a sugar rush. Okay. Okay, sugar rush. Here. Even in doubt, my love for these is real. How romantic. Man, that go is a blast. Don't you feel like taking a bit more of a... Taking a bit more of, with Didi? Didi is too much of a prick and Gogo is tired. Besides, I want to talk with the bartenders. Oh, fuck. Well, I tried Jill. I'll be on my way to... I'll be in my office. Cute little girl, Lillian. Camera girl. Ooh, fiddle six. What's your name, girl? I'm Dorothy Hayes, at your service. Do you come here often? Are you hitting on me? Hey Dorothy, I'm the middle I'm in the middle of a live stream. Do you want to participate? Sure, sounds fun. Okay. Let's take recommendation from you. What would you what would what should I drink next? Let's try sugar rush. Bartender or sugar rush over here. Bartender. Sorry, what? Sugar rush please. Right. Here Good choice, Orthy Yay So what are you doing in my So what are you doing in my turf, huh? Streaming Chan Yes No, I mean That's what she calls herself Man That's a tacky name yeah, but it was my tacky name. Actually, that's not really my name. So <sighs> say your name on stream, you got docs. What's your real name then? Behind the streaming chan's awesome mask lies the humble Nicole Chen. Humble. not call yourself streaming Chen it's funny that you mention that you see when I started I called myself Nico Nico Chen I changed websites so the name felt a bit out of place thus I became Chen oh so she streams on Nico Nico is that what they're telling us Uh, everyone nicknamed me Streaming Chan though, so I just went along with it. Oh yeah, I get it. At one point I was gonna call myself Dol Dolores Hayes. I realized the name was as subtle as a brick to the face. Anyway. I'm here because the last time I came here, I ended up with a greater number of viewers than usual. And so, I wanted to treat my loyal audience again.
Oh, I see. Oh, well, it's the right place. Especially if you're looking for some comfy fun. Honey, here might seem harsh, but you just need to crack her shell. Shut up. See, you just need to say the right thing and she be, she's... Oh shit, um, see you just need to say the right thing at the right time and uh, she becomes a sweetheart. Quiet you. Don't play hard to get, you know it's true. Hey stream girl, that's me. I regret this but don't you have a sponsor? It's, it's weird that it's been this long without some advertisement. I have, you see. Uh, the contracts between... Between them... Expired. Actually, with them... <sighs> expired, so Marvin... Uh... The business guy... Or whatever uh, had to make a new video. He was gonna send a draft to his lawyer, but as he had a couple of additions, but um, let's say he forgot, he got too excited with my VR model and forget how to contract became reliable. Uh, let's say he got too excited with my VR model and the contract became unreadable. You're gonna have to excuse my awkward pauses. I, uh, I, I'm trying my hardest not to fall asleep. Oh, so he had used the contracts to... Yep. He cut into a pair of panties and rubbed it vigorously on his penis I mean you'd expect certain principles to be upheld even in the adult VR industry I reported him and he got fired but now I can't uh... Oh, um, I poured him and he got fired, but now we're making, we're looking for a new business person thing. Honestly, I think the, the paper cuts all over his dick are punishment enough. Oh god. I don't mind, I don't mind if he jacked off to an image of me, but the contract, that's money that you're soiling right there. I could have gone back to the deal. It's not the owner paying me a visit and I should apologize profoundly. fastly. Some people, seriously. Ah, thick paper cuts. I've done enough crazy teacher fantasies to know how they can be a problem. I don't think you need to have... I just learned to understand that. That said, Jill's been grimacing for a full minute now. 
Let me go over a scene. Huh. Shimin chan, do you know I like you, Dorothy? Why don't we celebrate with beers? My tree. Alright. Two big beers, honey. Um, two big beers, she said. Damn it. Because I, I can't do it. Hold on. Hold on. Let me like. Okay, I think I'm good. I think I'm good. Hold up. I just need to not get too comfortable, which is really hard when you're when you when you're like sleep deprived, but it's fine. Okay. Um. Four. Two of. Uh, four of these. Uh. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Next. Okay. Here. Okay, here. Cheers! Cheers! Alright. I'm not feeling my tongue or my feet. Time to get lewd. Did I hear lewd? Do you have any stories? Hmm... This would be a treat for non-premium users. I once met a guy that insisted on doing it in the jacuzzi. He didn't mind being uh, in premium time, so... I started setting up the cameras and man was it a challenge uh, I wasn't just gonna start screen I was, gonna, I, was, I was just gonna start I wasn't just gonna scream over the water I wanted some un underwater action too what did you do with the bubbles and all Uh, that was just the least of the problems. We turned the jets off. That was the... wait. He isn't good with cameras. You tried chilling the cam a bit and putting it in a bag with some filling? We made something more convoluted. Streaming... Uh... We took a small cooler 
open a small cooler. Open a hole for the lens and sealed it with plastic. I made sure things look good through the cam and started recording. They threw in some cooling packs and sealed the fuck out of the cooler. Did it need any weight? Yep. Luckily the guy on the second building he used so he he, he used the uh, uh, the uh, what am I dreaming with my eyes open? Oh my god. It was also ripped as fuck. That's another story. It was all a, a, a it was all success, but it's also the last time I ever had sex in a jacuzzi. Blood rushing, hot water. I feel like I was dying midway through it. Thank God you decided to resume the action out of the water midway through it, but or I I would have surely died. At least he didn't burn himself. What do you mean? Last time I had sex on a jacuzzi, my body was so hot the guy almost burned his dick. I considered I considered investing in a cooling system, but it's so situational and expensive that I'll pass. Besides, these cooling systems require too much maintenance. Wait, I think I should leave, but care to join me in escapades for the rest of the night? Can I plug my services at the end of the night? Sure, and count me in. I've got the perfect stories. Let us be on our way then. Goodbye, bartender. Bye, honey. Well, let's start the story. See, there was this mega Santa. Wait, seriously? They left. Shit. A pair made in hell. At least they look like they're having fun. That method of filming underwater sounds convoluted as fuck though. But I guess it's hard to keep a cool head when you're horny. We're done, boss. Man, don't you just feel great? Were we in the same place? Here, Jill. What's this? A bonus. Today, I got a taste of the kind of clients you deal with and... Keep it up. Well... Tomorrow's a big day, so get ready. I guess for both of you. You have no fear. Happy New Year, Amelia wishes. Wait, I'm not evicted yet. I still have my funds. Um. Hold on. I think I need to go... I think I need to go take a shower. Because... I, I don't think I can continue reading. Like I have been. With, like... With just sheer power. I think I need to go take a shower to wake up. And then... I guess, I guess I would need to dry my hair. No, no, no. but I, I would need to spend time drying my hair. And I was thinking, oh, maybe I can just use the hair dryer to wake up. But no, the hot air will just make it. Uh, will just make it so that. Uh, will just make it so I'm even sleepy. I'm pretty sure. I have, I think what I need to do is, 
I need to go do laundry, take a shower, and then come back. <laughs>